57 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family good morning hochanda it's been a while i'm glad to be here i'm joined by the lovely alex and paul's going to be here as well look good morning hochanda we've got loads of deals for you and we are going to have a giggle don't go anywhere it's your perfect start to the day Between two roses. Well, well, I would say a rose right between out. two no, thorns. No, yeah. no, it's not. Rose, How much love have you been getting for that shirt today? I know. I know. Yeah. This is a very yeah, nice. Shirt. Thank I you didn't much. realize we were stepping up the game on shirts. <laughs> wow. That's it. Next time you're in, it's I'm raining go outside, so. It's horrible. Yeah. I so walked here so. with my samurai no, you umbrella. You didn't walk here. Yes, I did. In from that rain. From, I nearly said where I stay. <laughs> from the place. Which room? No, don't go there about rooms. How did you find? Why? What's been going on? with your rooms? Do you not know? No. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Cool. Hilarious. <laughs> Missing all the stories. All the stories. Ah, now, Paul, we're glad you're here actually because Thank you. deal of the day, Yes. if anyone can talk about this yeah. from an informed start, this is great value. So we're getting, uh, this is pick and pick mix. And mix. Two. Yeah, so there's four different designs. Yeah. These are 12 by 12 papers uh -huh. um, designed by Barbara. So you've got Indian Summer, Lovely. Rainbow River, Shenandoah and Northern Lights. Okay. Each pad has 48 sheets, wow. 12 different designs, and you're going to get four of each different design. Mm. Um, normally, these are 17.99, and we're doing them on a pick and mix option, two this is for 24.98. So okay. normally you pay 37 pence per sheet. Yes. Today you're paying 26 pence per sheet. 26 per sheet. That's crazy. Incredible. Absolutely crazy. This is going to sound a little bit silly. No. But I'm familiar with the designs, but yeah. seeing them on a larger scale, they look different. Mm. They do. I mean, they ha the images haven't been distorted, so when you compare it to an 8x8, yeah. it looks exactly the same, so there's no blurring or anything. Now, not only is it great for you scrapbooking yeah. and you matting and layering and sort of all that type of stuff, Ooh, look at but that. they work fantastic as inserts Ooh. in the fresh cut aperture dies. Oh no. See? So these are the ones that Maria had on yesterday. Mm. Okay, and what I've done, I've just cut this down so that when you open it up, you've got a beautiful luxury insert on the inside. That looks incredible. So effectively your backgrounds are done. Yeah. The fresh cuts giving you all that beautiful detail. Instantly Instant. yeah. done. And nice. depending on the colourways that you use, uh -huh. I mean look how beautiful that one looks. Um, with the, just the, the colour tones. Where a lot of these are designed is to give you a context, mm. so yes. a landscape as such. And I know that Barbara was very keen and when these were being designed to give you that space in the centre as well. That's right, because originally the papers, the 8x8s, were designed for using for parchment craft yeah. originally. And then the demand was there, people wanted it bigger. Um, but for me, it's just that luxury finish mm. to your card. I mean, that adds so much more money, especially if you're selling your cards. Yeah. Um, so you can use them for the inserts. So obviously, you can. Get, these are the uh, five by five card blanks, uh -huh. and obviously, you can go up to the six by six mm -hmm. yeah. um, because obviously, it's a twelve by twelve. Um, and then this, nice this you can make little boxes out of them. Oh. And this, I'm going to show you how to do oh, at nine o'clock. Give some jewelry or something. I know. Um, 
and I'm going to show you how you can use the papers with the groovy plates Beautiful. that we've got good. on the show. Are you a fan? I know. Look, Alex, we all know as a lights. crafter. Are you a fan of a twelve by twelve? Yes, I am. Yeah. Oh, but I do actually have this one. But oh. not the twelve by twelve. I've got the You've eight got by eight. You've got the eight by eight. Yeah. yeah. Hinty hint. No. Oh, hint. I haven't no, got the twelve by twelve. Oh. No, none of that. <laughs> no, I've stopped doing that because I got told off. Oh. Uh, look, these ones are really, really nice. Look at these. This is nice. Beautiful. So right, this is. Oh, um, oh wait, wait, go back. Go back. Okay, go, go back. This is one of my faves. Is it the, this one? That one. That. Yeah. So Northern Lights was the, the original one yeah. that Barbara first created. Um, and then Indian Summer came along, Rainbow River, and mm -hmm. Shenandoah. Now Shenandoah have got real sort of light areas in the middle. Um, yeah. Especially Barbara created these for the, the parchment craft to have that light area. But these, the colour tone, that that's one of my favourite ones out of um, mm. the Shenandoah. Now, look at and that. then you've got these What scenes. do you see there? It depends what way you hold it as well. Um, so you've got you a beautiful landscape on there. Um, see, so look, it looks completely different. Yeah. So if you are into your scrapbooking, this is great because mm. I've seen scrapbook pages, just a single sheet, selling mm. for sort of like a pound a go. Absolutely. I see a pound a go. A pound I a see it in the centre of a volcano. It's like oh. Dante's yeah. Inferno. Ooh. Very um, nice. And then look at this one. You've got a beautiful lake. Oh, I see rainforest. Yeah, oh, that's sort of nice. looking through all the foliage. It's, oh, now what do we see I, here? I love caves. this one. Yeah, I this see is caves. Great. And you've got the lake in the background. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those, is it Rorschach? You know, the ink blot tests where they, they oh, just put know. smudges and see what you see. Oh, hey, I like doing yeah. things like yeah. that. Or yeah. just staring at a clown. Oh, no, that, that that's one that's is amazing. Shawshank, isn't it? Rorschach. No, Shawshank's a film. Yeah, <laughs> Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> what? Like, I did my ear. Wow. Shawshank, that's a movie. You're not helping me at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, then, so you pick two out of these four. So you've got your Shenandoah. You yeah. can see all the colours there, just in case you're not sure which one to go for. And on the back, yeah. you've got a little key as well. Excellent. Oh, that shows nice. there. The quality and... It, just what you always get with clarity. Oh, absolutely. Quality is exceptional. There you go, that's Northern Lights. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which one have you got? Rainbow River. I, I have to say, I really struggle to pick favourites because no, I, I do love them all. I mean, I think at this price, I think we'll find that a lot of people will go for oh, all four up. of them. Well, why? Absolutely. I mean, perfect opportunity. I and mean, look at the savings. So double up. For twenty four ninety eight to get two is exceptional. Mm -hmm. And then Indian Summer. This is my favourite one, I think, out of all four of them closely by Shenandoah. Yeah. It, it really is hard to sort of choose. I um, tell you, as crafters, mm. I've got it. Yeah. So if I was to say to you, now Alex, as yes. a, purely as a crafter, for £12.50 mm. to get a 12 by 12 of this quality, and a lot of sheets. you bite my hand off. I'll yeah, quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but seriously, so that's effectively what you're getting here. Twenty four ninety eight. You pick your favourites, but effectively each one twelve pounds and fifty pence. Yes, mm -hmm. I know. We're very and busy for this, by the way. I'm hearing. And I mean, if you've got a friend, yeah. because you've got four designs uh -huh. in there, mm -hmm. uh, twelve designs, but four of each sheet, you could actually split that between a friend if you wanted to. I mean, I would. Which, which one would you? Which one would you like? If I was to treat you, Secret Santa. Uh, Oh, oh I know. Secret Santa Gate. Um, <laughs> I, w I would Ooh. go for. Yeah. I think I'd do Indian Summer as well, actually. Okay. Yeah, that, that one. Indian Summer? Yeah, mm. Indian Summer. That was Rainbow mine. River? Indian Summer. Oh, here we so go. I've already got Northern Lights, so. Rainbow, oh, Rainbow See, River. See, Rainbow Shanta. River's really nice. You've got some really. Sort mm. of yeah, those two. Go for those oh, two. Go for yeah. two. <laughs> he said one, Alex. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I was just wondering. But look, Secret Santa Shana at Dull. that price. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Yeah, but look, treat yourself. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, we are very, very busy for this. And ultimately, just go back to that fact. Just one of those pads, 12 by 12, 1250, is an utter bargain. Uh, Paul, when are you on today? Nine o'clock. I've yep. got the one day special with the lovely Alex. Oh. Should have a sneak Dream peek? team at night. Now, that definitely one to lock into the diary. Mm. Uh, and the one day special, oh. lying. Half price. It's more than a one day special. What? That was We've a never done no. a oh. half price one day special before. Well, we're we're going to be talking about the one day special in just a sec. We've got houses and crackers and stars. Oh, wow. This is, these is are incredible. Jane, 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 Jane. Oh. So these, this isn't the one day special. What? The one day special yeah. is 130 sheets of A4 parchment, 26 colours, yeah. five of each colour, uh -huh. plus two A4 storage folders. 
hundred and thirty okay. sheets. Five. Which we normally sell for a so pound a sheet. With each colour, you're getting five of each? Five of each. I watched you with yeah. Catherine yesterday. Um, and you've got some beautiful, beautiful colour tones in mm, here. That. Um, and because you've got the storage folder, it's going to keep it nice and pristine. Oh. So, how much? Wait, one day special. $77.91. Yeah, and it's on two flexi. Wow. You are saving as much as you're spending. Yeah. yeah. That is incredible. And right. two flexies of £38 and some change. So stock up. That's basically your year's supply, really. Well, stock yeah, up now. Exactly. Yeah. Because traditionally, am I right in saying you'd be paying about a pound per sheet? We really? said, yeah. I mean, if you was to buy, say, like, for example, the Wisteria and the Iris pack on the website, mm -hmm. you get five sheets of each. That's so ten sheets and it's £9.99. Mm. Okay. okay. The folders are twelve ninety eight each. Yeah. Okay. And then, so we give you the two folders That's because right. obviously it, it runs worth. over. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah. So it runs over. But then you've got lots of empty pockets in there. So I've put my clear parchment in there. And then we've also got on the show these A4 templates. I know, okay. and I can't wait to see these. What did you make last night? Last night at six o'clock, we did the Christmas tree mm -hmm. that yeah. sold out, I'm afraid. Oh. Right. Um, and then at eight o'clock, I did a Christmas cracker. Which, oh, is there. Which is there. And then at nine o'clock this morning, we're going to do the box. Um, so the box, and I'm going to show you how to use the 12 by 12 papers with it as well. Mm -hmm. What I would say with these, because a lot of uh, viewers at home love doing their parchment cards, but yeah. what about taking all that beautiful artwork and working in a totally different way, mm. adding it to a cracker? That is it's, it's a cracker. It's a cracker. Look mm. at that. Do you know, only, <laughs> only a certain generation will get know that. They'll know this. Yeah. 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 There we go. That is stunning. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, they're all saying it's going over oh, their heads. Head. Oh, you're <laughs> too young in my ear. I don't know if you're so old. Don't. Just we start don't. Start saying references. He was a comedian, uh, a comedian uh, when we were younger. Frank Carson. Speak to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Frank Carson, wasn't it? Huh? Was I Frank think it was, Carson. yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And look, look, the little house. Let's have a look look at this. So the house template, um, you can make the Tudor cottage, yeah. then you get the border to make this one which is the Swiss cottage, and then there's another border that makes a little gingerbread house. Oh awesome. Putting a light in there. Yeah, oh, lights in there, on. chocolates. Um, Catherine wanted oh, to make several uh, several of these and string them on the LED lights. Mm. So make they're a like little, little lanterns. A little village. Yeah. Yeah. Hang a star over it. And that's the smallest star that you can make. You can make two different sizes. Really? You can make a yeah. star to put on top of your tree. Yeah. 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 But these oh. are great for kids' mobiles over yeah. a cart, not that just for Christmas. That, as a star, that is beautiful. And with the parchment, it works so exactly. well. Exactly. The work's you know what, all done. What's quite surprising is how mm -hmm. sturdy it is, actually. Yeah. You'd think with parchment, it would be flimsy. It's all in the fold and the yeah. construction mm -hmm. of it. it, it well, the, it, parchment does give it a different dynamic. Mm -hmm. It does, yeah. say. Uh, I'd like to give a warm welcome to everyone who's watching right now. Because, you know, we've got viewers in the UK. We've yeah. got viewers in Europe. And we've got viewers in America watching Diamond. right now. Diamond's watching. Yeah. Uh, yeah so We've got lots of viewers watching worldwide. Wherever you're watching, you are part of the family. Can't wait for you. I'm going to sit and watch. I'm on a break, but I'm going to have a cup of coffee and watch a 9 o'clock show. It's going to be good. Excellent. Thank Excellent. you very much, you're Paul. You're welcome. We'll see you at 9 o'clock. Here's the website so you can check out exactly what we've got on the show. Uh, so uh, now, with the sunrise specials, the prices will go back up at 8 o'clock. Uh, so check out. Here we go. We're showing you them in advance. Um, and we're going to launch the. Well, they have launched actually. Um, are we about. Are, are we. Uh, can we get the tablets? That would be jolly marvellous if we may. Oh, no, not at the. Not at the. Uh, for when we uh, sit back down. Yeah. Uh, do get ahead though. I know a lot of you are shopping on the website. What are you going to be discovering? What are you going to be popping into your baskets? Alex and myself, we're giving you a first sneaky picky live our sunset specials in just a moment. So, as Alex said, all the prices will jump back up at the end of the hour. Alex? Yes? Now, I've heard tales, yeah. fables of your fabric stroking. Well, fabric wafting. No, 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 wafting. waft. I'm waft. a wafter. We can had we, this conversation Can we see yesterday. this? Can we see the, the, the classic patented waft? Are you ready? Go on. Let's have a look at this. Oh. Oh. That, now, can I... This is very important. If anyone's watching at home and you do buy these fabrics, don't just go straight in with an Alex Waft. She's honed her skills over years. I don't want you to hurt your wrists. But beautiful colours, the so candy collection. So you're a stroker. I'm, I'm, I've always been a stroker. And 
<laughs> now, if you do want to go double up on your order, it will be cut continuously. Yes, it will. Do you know, though? Go on. You've been outstroked. I know, and I'm not going to even compete with Scott. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you know I've who heard. I, was I know. About. I know who, and I know when I've been beat. So he look. He has got the. the we. I want to say the behind the scenes at Ho Chan, but there is a little cup for the best fabric stroker. He's got the cup. He's got. The I cup. can't compete. Oh, I feel like, who? Who's? I feel like Tim Henman. Oh. So close, but you're so not going to be able to come again. No one. No sure idea. You know Tim, Tim Henman. Oh. No. I was going to say Andy Murray because he wins. Yeah. Uh, okay. So. Here, Tim Hemmel was a very good player, uh, by the way. So, we've got beautiful colours here. Instantly, I'm thinking quality. Oh, we absolutely. It's Mill Shop online. Yeah. It's kind of got, I want to say, I'm looking here, it's saying cotton, but it, it feels like a heavyweight. Yes, I know what you're it's saying. It's not a poplin. Oh, yeah, 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 it's not yeah. a poplin. So, it's got some durability. Imagine making cushions or... Good fun, though. Good fun. I think breaking it up. So if you've got, uh, if you've got m more of a busier mm -hmm. print, yeah. this is nice to break it up with some colours. Nice for colors. lining. What do you think? So you, get, you open up the bag and you go, oh, pop yeah. of colour. I like it. Yeah? There's something about, a, a, especially on a day like today, and it is horrible, horrible, driving into work. And we would walk, I can't believe you. You should have called me. I would have picked you up. All right, we'll do next time. Do. <laughs> but you know when you just want to add a bit of colour onto into a miserable yeah, day? Yeah, absolutely. Lovely way to do it. Very nice indeed. So this is £15.95, massive £34 set. Sorry, I didn't mean to stroke. I meant you're, to waft. A, you're a waft and you, you're, a, you're a patter. I'm a patter now. A waft <laughs> and a pat. Uh, £15.95 <laughs> your price. You are saving an awful lot though. £34 saving. Should we open one up just Go to have then. a look? So half metres by 54 inch. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Ooh, look how bright that is. It's fantastic. Ooh. Very nice. Look at that. So you are getting an awful lot for your money. Fifteen ninety-five. You're getting all four of those. It's effectively two meters. Very, very good. Uh, mm. Two zero five zero six zero is your item number. I'm so bad at following oh, you, fabric. Literally, you can't be as bad as me. No, I am. There we go. Between okay. us. Who? Yeah. yeah Apparently, yeah, everyone yes, thought. Yes. Why? Why would everyone think I'm a good folder? I don't know, your crisp okay. shirt, oh, something well, to do with that? I maybe, know. maybe. Yeah. All right, we're going to move on. We've got some lovely papers for you. These are your Foundations A4 paper. You're getting 100 sheets in total. What I will say, when we're having our meeting, Alex did something. She picked it up, mm. and you just felt the quality. And they yeah. are very good quality. It's got a nice Double weight Double-sided. Yeah. Mm. Look mm. at that beautiful script on one side. And then you've got a subtle print on the other. Uh, you've, got so, you've got something for everything, really. Yeah, look, I think this is nice for gents and ladies, mm -hmm. you know, with these stripes and these. Oh, this reminds me of jumpers. Yeah. Jumpers, that one. Oh, that, that one, one there. Yeah. See. Very nice. Beautiful. Any ones that really Ooh. jump out at you, what would you be... Uh... Um, I like, I do like the first one. Mm -hmm. I do like the jumpery one. How about these? Yeah, that's quite quirky, isn't it? Oh, there's smaller circles on the other side. I imagine that as a background. Yeah. Or a map, layer. I might colour the circles in. And it is nice, oh, for construction as well. Mm -hmm. Having double sided but the same theme. So you imagine that on the outside or vice versa, and then you open up and you've got the large circles. Yeah, I like double sided. That's yeah. nice. The script's nice, look. That, I like that as well. Yes. Mm. yes. Oh, this one's good. Look, just show you. Now, th this is very hard on camera, so I won't show it like that, but I know, I'm sorry. But that's cool. Yeah, I like that. Very oh, nice. nice. It's bit, they're quite regal designs, do you think? Oh, that's a good word. Thank you. Re they're regal indeed, but not regal price. Twelve ninety, twelve ninety nine for a hundred sheets, pattern paper. Very good. Uh, we're saying paper. It is cardstock. Yeah, so yeah. Gonna say. Uh, so yes, good, good, good value there. Saving thirty seven pounds and one pence. Mm -hmm. Six five five two one two. Your item number. Now. Katie really a, likes this. Our this is a good bundle. And Isn't wait, it? But look, look. I love the little uh, dustpan and brush. Just mm -hmm. to sweep your gems in as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. But this is our bead storage collection. You've got mats, uh, you've got storage, you've got a dustpan, and you've got a brush. All different shapes in there too. I like the too. stars. You've got stars, you've got flowers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can put your little beads in there. Yeah, absolutely. Big these different colours oh, and different these are pots. magnetic. Are they? Yeah, so you've got oh. the magnets on there. And then you've got your uh, individual sections. Let me just open that up. Why would you have them as magnetic? Not that I well, mind. Because you know what you could do is put it on the wall uh, if you oh, wanted. Oh, that's a good idea. So you know, mm. Nice. Um, the mats, they're two different sizes. Or stick sizes. them together. Look, because they stick. Storage, yeah. Together, not going to knock it's over. Good, it's good if you're, if you're taking it places, aren't they? It's a good, strong magnet. Isn't it? Look at these little 
Um, Look, you've got your uh, mats. Oh, oh. Is it Close soft? your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. And then give it, give it a feel. Hey. Oh, it's super soft. Oh, I want it to is. snuggle it. Mm -hmm. So great to work with, especially if you are uh, jewelry making. It is nice, right? God, there you go. I, I've got makeup on. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, I've got makeup on. That's right. It's it lovely. is very, very soft. Mm. So two sizes of bead mats, mm -hmm. and you've got all of the trays. I mean, for twelve fifty nine, considering what you're getting, this is this is. I wait, the team are asking for. We have to just just so we don't shine. Just a bit of powder. That's all. Translucent powder. It's not like I'm contouring or anything. Um, this is quite nice. Just as a little <laughs> sweep up. Yeah. I like what it. What was that about eyebrows? <laughs> I like, I like to to oh, yeah. I've got a story about eyebrows. Go on. I'm doing that face again, David. Right. <clears throat> Go on. Is this an about ex, your eyebrows? An ex-boyfriend yeah. said to me, do you know, you've got eyebrows like Vlad the Impaler. I mean, Look he's a, up he's a smooth talker. the picture of Vlad the Impaler. That is all I am saying. Why would he X. say that to you? I don't you? know. He apparently thought this was a compliment. Look, right, oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, they, He's a child, they're, they're You look like Vlad the Impaler. They're looking on a search engine. <laughs> He's really got the... McDonald's eyebrows, other, bra other, brows, <laughs> other brands available. Yeah. <laughs> I need to see this picture now. <laughs> but wait, I can't. Push it. Let's see. You've got good eyebrows. You know, Alex, some people kill for your eyebrows. There we go. <laughs> Are you looking it yeah. up now? I want to see. I want to see. <laughs> oh, wait, we can see. <laughs> it's in the monitor. I mean, AD, he's kind of got a point. Shh. He's got a point. I'm only teasing. 1259, I'm kidding. Uh, 1259, your price, 890511, your item number. You look nothing like Vlad the Impaler. Come well, on. I don't now. have a beard for a yeah. start. <laughs> nothing. I don't know what this guy was on. Uh, do you know what does irritate me? What? Is when guys, like, do their eyebrows and manicure their eyebrows to an inch of no, their No, I don't like that. Actually. It just doesn't no. look right. No. I don't know. Uh, something that does look right is this beautiful brushed cotton. Look at this, two meters. Very it's nice. fun. Now, obviously, the actual pattern, uh, this is for, a, it would work well with a younger audience. It would, wouldn't it? But we do need to say, because it's brushed cotton, just for health and safety, don't make kids' clothing, pajamas out of this. So uh, that's just a, a general rule. It's not written on the actual, sometimes with brushed cotton, it's actually written on the oh, uh, fabric. I didn't realize this. Yeah, they'll yeah. say, don't make the kids' clothing. Right. It's not, but we would here at Hochanda always like to err on the side of caution. But cushions, great. I like the idea of a play mat, they're saying in my head. Mm. Play mat would be fantastic. And then you could put um, like a vinyl surface over so it's wipeable. Well, I tell you, this is uh, to gauge mm. this. I know AD's got a, a lovely little daughter. She'd like this. Something yeah. like that, yeah. Mm. It's colours, because kids are, um, are engaged by bright colours. Yeah. And, and look, you can start teaching them. This is where it's quite fun. There's a zebra, a little toucan. Toucan. Mm -hmm. Toucan, you've got a crocodile. Toucan play that game. Toucan play that game. <laughs> got, oh, is this what you do with your daughter? Hey, do you, he, was, he was doing this. There we go for the crocodile. Oh, really? What about yeah. the shark movement? A baby. Oh, the oh, baby shark. Awesome, yeah. Yes. Oh, you've, you, you set them all off. Well done. Uh, 10 pounds is your price. Is that grandpa shark? Yeah. Uh, 10 pounds for price. You're saving 12 pounds there. 646. Uh, 615, your item number. Bit of MDF. Oh. Now, Alex, you would be. Oh, we're just showing oh, you. Oh, sorry. The, sorry. Um, oh, I did it again. I've sorry. been told off for this. Sorry. We, I was doing so well. We, we all do it. Don't worry. No, so there's a fabric. So well. And uh, we're going to get on to our next sunset uh, sunrise special. You can tell I haven't sorry. done sunrise special for a while. Why? Um, what did you say? That's a sunset. Yeah. <laughs> Though, Alex. Mm. You'd be all over these yes, techniques. Yes, I love, I love MDF because they will take your paints, your alcohol markers, your rice papers, your everything. Mm. And you're so right about good to practice techniques. Mm. So I've got this really cool um, MDF Halloween set. I know Halloween's gone, but I don't care because I really like Halloween anyway, yeah. so it's all year round for it's me. It's all good. But I don't want to go straight in with some powders and some things uh, straight in on mm. the design. So this is great to practice on, so you know what colours you're doing. I mean, you're getting a lot here. Mm. And that's a really good point, Alex. It is, it is just that experimentation coming through. Oh, going for the spin. No, now, staying. just imagine that 
I feel on like your we're at a casino. Desk. Well, <laughs> go, I'm, I'm going all in. Um, <laughs> but look, so you, you're trying different techniques, and Alex, you, you said it exactly right, mm. that they will take anything you have uh, in your crafty stash. So yeah. think about your stencils. Think mm. about uh, working on, do you know where these are really good? Where? Because it's a similar principle to artist trading card. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's sharing techniques, but if you watch Hochanda and you see a guest, we've got Joe coming up today, Joe Rice, we've got Paul. Mm. Uh, if they show you a technique, how about just giving it a little go? Yeah, so that's maybe exactly creating it. a background yeah. on there, using your papers, stencils, your structure pastes. Mm. Ball balls, they're saying. Oh. Yeah. Decorations for the tree. Decorations, if you want to. You might have to drill a hole in it, okay. which is easy to Punch do. Punch a hole, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So that. that is just nine ninety nine for all 50 of them. Item number is 221992. And if you do have any, I know we've had stamps for the ATC coins. Yeah. Work perfectly on that. Absolutely. Those. Yeah, yeah mm. lovely. You've had your eye on this. Pink frog. Pink frog goes through your printer. Inkjet mm. and laser. Um, what I like about these is, right, so they're 120 GSM, but I, I look at these as inserts to make cards more posh. Beautiful. Do you know what? I'll, I'll raise that, Alex, You'll because raise that. there's a gold inflection here. What about using these on your flowers? Ooh. Spritz them, spray them. It's six pence per sheet, but these would make the most decadent flowers mm. or inserts. You're absolutely right. Ah, I love it. Or wedding invitations, mm -hmm. you know, like inserts in menus as well, because, mm -hmm. of course, you can print onto them, which is nice. And um, the sheen, even oh, yeah. if you spritz onto them, you'll still keep the sheen. Yeah. Yeah. Which oh, I... actually, it intensifies a Ooh, little bit, too. Nice. I've seen it. Yeah. So if you... Say if you've got an orange, spray that on. Mm. I only know this because I've actually seen it and I've done it myself. Yeah. And that gold really does shine through. Pops. Words, what would you to describe these? What kind of words would you? What jumps out of mind? Decadent. Decadent's a good Luxurious. one. Luxurious. Oh, yes. Opulent. Oh, that's very good. Mm. All, all the words. Nine ninety nine your price. Look, genuinely, it is very good quality paper. Try going through the printer, actually. It's a really good point. So yeah. just for your, uh, if you want to put your uh, sentiments or verses on there, mm. very, very nice. 783-209, your item number. We've got some books. I think gonna, you're going to hear us saying this a lot more, but we are all now thinking towards Christmas. Yeah, we are. Those little uh, presents, Can't stocking avoid fillers. It. Can't avoid it now. Nine ninety eight for two books of this quality. Should we? I just want to have a you look. You have a flick through that one. I'll flick well, through first through. thing I do. Look, this one book alone would be twenty nine dollars and ninety five pence. Oh, it's fifteen ninety nine UK. That's it. I think. Where's yeah. it? Oh, well, well done. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> thank you. Good to see that. So, should we? Should we have a flick yeah, through? Yeah, have a see? look. look at Very good stocking fillers. These. Yeah. So this is all about your oils, discovering your oils. Do you know what those beautiful paintings? Have you ever gone? to an exhibition and seen oil, oil paintings and just thought, I wish my I could do that. My mum does oil paintings. Same, my, so does mine. Really? Yeah. We've got the whole house is covered in oil paintings. So I don't, well, well, really. I, I actually got a lot of my mum's work in my place. Oh, yeah. you need to take some photos. I will. Oh, that'd yeah. be so cool. Oh, yeah, I'll do that No, it's absolutely true. Actually, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I posted a picture last Christmas of one of my mum's pieces. Really? Yeah. How cool is that? So, look, beautiful. If you just want to start exploring mm -hmm. your uh, oil colours, because the thing is, there is a, a learning curve. Mm. So this has got your techniques, your foundation, it explains it, helps you with projects. And then we've got acrylics. So those are two big, oil and acrylics. Should we have a little flick through yeah, this go one? For it. Acrylics, let's have a little look. Again, same thing. It'll show you your techniques, mm -hmm. show you maybe what brushes to use, how to mix your paint colours. Nice. Uh, but again, really, really good price. Mm -hmm. Look how realistic that is. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, so the, t was that What's toast? That? Oh, it's bread. Bread, beautiful. Loaf of bread. So right. both of these, just nine ninety eight, nine nine one one zero nine is your item number. There mm -hmm. we are. Right oh, now. What's next? Final. Summary special. We got a mill shop stash bag here, uh, and with mill shop, it's one. Of the, it's just nice when you you have faith. You see a brand name, yeah. and you know that what you're going to get is uh, stunning. So assorted. So you're going to get a mixture of everything here from your planes. That's very very nice. That is a very good colour for you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I do. I do like blue. You would look really great with a shirt that colour. Every. Uh, th <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> have you got a favourite colour? Oh, oh, you all know at home, it's pink, purple, and blues. So you've got that. Oh, is that why with your I'm name? I'm literally Hachanda. <laughs> so when, 
when um, Haley made that we've got like storage boxes in the green room and she made our name tags on there and you've got literally all those colors you and said red as yeah, well. yeah in there yeah. Mm -hmm. okay nice didn't you know in a previous life I used to be a color analyst I thought I told you that didn't know this yeah. wait are we talking like previous job or a past life uh, no, previous job. Oh, As I, in, thought, oh, I used I to thought, run it alongside the acting. I life. thought you like did a regression. Like, that's really in random. Like, some people life. say I was like Cleopatra. I'm like, no, I was a colour analyst. Oh, there apparently John Lockwood, Lockwood said, John Lockwood said some crafters that he's met call me Cleopatra. You'd be a great Cleopatra. The, yeah. You would be a great... Because you know Alex is a very talented actress. You need to play that part. Seriously. Well, no, I'm not in your league. Uh, this is nice, though. Look, we've got a little bit of felt in there as well. Yeah, it's very nice. nice. Yeah, so there's just a, a really nice assortment. There we go. I kind of know the inspiration. Well, oh, I'm you get the bag. You get guess the bag. It, and you are getting the bag. Yeah. The inspiration behind this, because obviously, and Joe's in today. Is he in today or tomorrow? I know he's in this week. I don't know, but it is I, today. It is today, and yeah. And I'm still, what? am I still not working with him? No. He is one of the nicest people in the industry. I know, but, but he likes to craft with his daughter why and his son. I worked with him? I don't know. Well, 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 hey, you can come, well, you can watch the show. But look, the reason why I mention that is because Joe loves to do little crafty projects with his daughter. Oh, that's nice. So something like this is good just to add little stashes, little bits of uh, different fabrics, yeah. different designs, so you can just pick that. This would make a great lining. Wouldn't it? Mm. Good fun, this one. Yeah, I Fifteen like ninety nine, a 24 pound saving, 736334 is your item number. Next up then, we've got your deal of the day. Quick reminder, please don't miss out on this. Um, now, it's, it's a pick and mix. They're your 12 by 12 paper pads. You choose two. We are super busy. I'm not surprised because that's a great deal. Deal of the day price is £24.98. Uh, saving £11.377. So you pick two of your choice. I think we've got Shenandoah, Northern Lights, Indian summer and thanking you <laughs> Rainbow River that's what we've got for you 11 pound saving which is phenomenal but we are really busy for these um, so uh, next up Yanis is going to be talking to Joe well hello uh, yes because we've got a show in the next hour please if you can stick around it's gonna be a great one allow me to introduce you to the very talented Joe Rice hello good morning Joe I always know when I pick up an inspiration and it's done by you oh, I've got no genuinely I've got now um, an appreciation for your style you are very talented to be honest I just play and uh -huh. I enjoy what I do you're very modest but no but, but it's true I do think a lot of us as crafters and yeah. um, we just enjoy what we do yeah. and the more you enjoy it actually the better your work becomes yeah. You've got to have fun. That's only yeah. why, yeah. why do we craft? Is to have some fun. And i tell you who gets it right is uh, All In Create. Yes. So I yeah. really yeah. love the whole ethos of the company because they bring us some incredible guests uh, and also some amazing designers too. And so, international. Yes. But, well, that's that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, yeah. And all different styles. I mean, I teach a lot of workshops and I find that whatever the ladies style, mm -hmm. there is something with All In Create that they will like. Well, that's nice. And it looks a big compliment that you, you are here obviously representing all in create and on the design team so having a look now these are brand brand new, brand new stamps yeah, designed yeah. by Pasha, yeah, who's such a talented designer yeah, yeah from so Australia let me just whip this around and you see now this is how I've come to associate uh, designs all in create because even though we've got different designers they all share one thing in common lavish in detail yes yeah yeah the attention to detail is absolutely fabulous and um, but what's I think extra special about this set is that it great for male cards I mean oh, that's yeah. one thing I do here again and again of crafters is they struggle for male cards uh, you true, know if yeah. it's not the typical either red wine or football yeah. Maybe a few golf, but in mm -hmm. general, just a general mail card. Well, and these are perfect. I mean, look at these. Just showing you. Now, this could be, I mean, great for guys and girls, too. Yeah, yeah. But that, I, I totally see what you're saying there. That's nice. Look at that. You've got that. An and iconic very vintage. Images. Yeah. You know, th this stamp set is great if you've got, dare I say, an older person, maybe uh -huh. like me, who remembers vintage. Like Janet. Um, yeah. yeah. Or um, retro is very much in. So mm. you could do it for a teenager. Yeah. So you're covering all those bases. I always think if you get a stamp set, I don't want a stamp set that's only good for one use. Yeah. This is fantastic. Like you say, male cards, female cards, and again, it could be birthday. I think these are good to do that card, to have Spikori. in your stash, yeah. ready for when you need that emergency card. Yeah. 
But I like the designs, and there is something so appealing, and it does take you back to a different era. Yeah. Yeah. The generation, my, my nephews and nieces, I was chatting to them, my nephew and niece, uh, chatting to them saying about telephone boxes. Oh, and they yeah. couldn't believe, yeah. they're like, why well, need yeah. to use a mobile phone? There were no mobile no, phones. No, I mean, I remember no, a time no. when you went out and that was it, you were out. When I started, dare I say, dating my husband, uh -huh. we hadn't got a phone at home and I used to have mm. to go five minutes down the road to the phone mm. box to phone oh, him. Oh. How, See, how, then, how mad is that? My sons can't believe it. I remember a time when you had to research something. You had to go to the oh, library, yeah. go a through book. all the stills or yeah. read a book. Yeah, yeah. now it's yeah. just literally yeah. on your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Uh, but look, this is what it does. It taps you into a different era. The designs are beautiful. They're incredibly usable. And the fact that you're saying that it's that multiple use. So you oh, do workshops is. and I, yes. whatever style, yeah. Uh, yeah. whoever's come to your workshop, they will always find a yeah. use for the yeah. stamps. Yeah. That's a massive and, compliment. And as I say, the fact that you c we have cutes, we have ones for, for males, we have florals, mm -hmm. but also the florals, we have uh, botanical drawings uh -huh. that Olga does, but then Tracy does quirky drawings. So whatever your style, right. there's something. I just say apologies, we've just got a few gremlins in our system with regard to graphics. We're going to try and get them through. I hope uh, that's not me. Yeah. I hope you're oh, not actually, saying I'm don't a gremlin. <laughs> it's just because, no, no, not at all. Not at all. Uh, it's just getting the details, obviously, for, because it's the next hour, we can't put those yeah. up. Uh, but if you do tune in to the next hour, then you'll be able to shop ahead and find everything. Or if you do want to get ahead, you can always do it on our website as well. Brilliant. So yeah, honestly, these are, mm -hmm. I mean, it's like the journal by Anne. Absolutely fantastic. What, yeah. what a fantastic gift. Wow. Now, I want to look at this because this is a phenomenal gift. Yes. Someone, yeah. and you're going to be showing us something. It's not the same, but it's similar principle similar, yeah. uh, to this. So please tune in. So if you like the look of what I'm showing you right now, please tune in because Joe has got a beautiful uh, demonstration, and she's going to be sharing a wonderful inspiration with you in the next hour. It is well worth seeing. With Christmas coming up, yeah. it, as crafters, we just love to make gifts, and I think people that's love to right. receive things that, that we've spent time on. Yeah. And that's the thing, we've not just gone and bought it, mm -hmm. we're spending time that's putting our heart good. and soul in it. Well, when you give something to someone, for me, it's what 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 I like. It's seeing their re how they yeah. receive it yeah. and the joy yeah. you bring someone, yeah. showing yeah. that you've yeah. made yeah. it rather than just. And every time they look at it, it's like this journal. Every time, I mean, I was very lucky. Anne mm -hmm. gave me a journal, yeah. and every time I uh, use it, I think of her. Well, that's nice. And, and again, that's what you're doing when you're giving a gift like uh -huh. that. You really yeah. are putting your heart and soul into giving a piece of you. Mm. And, and I do think people really appreciate it. And in this day and age, when so many things are just thrown away. Yeah. It's important that we do make time. You've, you've hit on a really, and I never thought about this, but really, but we have become a disposable culture. Yeah, yeah. But if you make, because if I get something that of significance, I, that someone spent a lot of time making, it goes into sort of a, a keep keep chest. Yes. Uh, yeah, and I, yeah. I hang on to it, and that's what you're doing. You're yeah, so right because yeah, we yeah, have got yeah. into that habit of just throwing stuff away. But it is. It's so important. I mean, I've got two yeah. little grandsons, oh. and I've got boxes to make and decorate yeah. for their Christmas yeah. boxes nice. and you hopefully it'll be something they'll keep. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah, and, yeah. and I just think, I know my boys have kept things yeah. and I think it's important that we do invest time because time's so important and it's something that we don't all have. We tend yeah. to rush, we're busy. It's good for us to make things, but yeah. it's even better to give them. Said that so well. Yeah, so well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so please tune in the next hour. We're going to have a lovely hour with Joe. We've got some beautiful things, Sherry. Brand new stamps by All in Create and some old, uh, some favourites as well, some all time faves too. So uh, that's coming up next hour at eight, but we've still got plenty more left in this hour. Thank you so much, Joe. I'll we'll see you at eight. Looking forward to it. See you in a minute. Uh, we're going to chat about Freedom Membership now with Janice. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. 
Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge, and members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hochanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hochanda family. Hello, oh, we're back. Is this? Um, we were just chatting. Sorry, is there a thing spray. going out? There is. It, oh. It's there, but we're here. Oh, um, I was like, well, I'm so confused. It's okay. <laughs> we were talking because you, you were just uh, saying that you're going going to your mum's. So you can start doing the Christmas decorations, which you love. It's a yearly tradition. This is late for me. Wow. Yeah. At the NEC, you were at the NEC, right? What did you buy? So. Did you buy stuff? No. You didn't buy stuff. I know. I was very, very. You didn't good. even buy cheese. I went, uh, the reason I didn't buy cheese is because I went to help Catherine buy cheese. So Catherine said yeah. she doesn't like cheese. Oh. She spent £20 on cheese. Oh, hang on. Why? Because you got her to taste stuff. Well, she's actually started to come over to cheese and she's okay. like, actually, I, I like it. And the cheese there was incredible. I've mentioned this on the show before. I'm an expert at going for the tasters and I've got a routine down. You taste it. Oh, that, that's lovely. Have a little bit of a chat so you don't feel like, and then walk on. And that's it. So I, I think I ate my body weight in tasters of cheese. But the only reason I mention this is because we've got a show coming up next few days, and it's a cheese making show. You can make your own cheese. Cheese. I love. What kind of cheese do you like? Um, chili cheese. Oh. Yeah, anything spicy. I'm I'm a spice addict. Cheddar. Mm. What are we talking? Mild, medium, mature, extra mature. Now this is this will sound really weird. Yeah. Go on. I'd rather mild, but then with the chili. I know. A mild cheddar. Yeah. We'd like to know. Uh, put on Facebook. We will have a look uh, at the pad at some point. But let us know what kind of cheese do you like? I'm extra mature all the way. Extra mature. I oh, know so you're, you're extra, extra mature. mature. I know. This is just my face. Um, Charcoal yeah. cheese. See, that's one I didn't try. Oh. Was that, was that good? Yes, you must try it. Ah. It's black cheese. Okay. Yeah. Go try it. It's very nice. Now, something that a lot of you have been trying and loving is our deal of the day. We are busy to the point and this is a big statement from Go Katie on. our Go producer on. Katie knows she doesn't think this is going to last a full 24 hours there you go because it's like the one day special in the sense that uh, with our special offers they're around for the time period or while mm. stocks last while stocks last so this one is your Shenandoah oh, we like that as we have a little flick through double sided oh. of course I oh, look look at that that's like um the smell Alex give it a smell I know it does oh. have a nice smell to it do you know what it's like it's like a book that's nice. <laughs> Keep doing that. That's I'm worried I'm going to get a slap in the face with the papers. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> this is so sniff weird. Sniff that all day. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's nothing toxic. It's just like a, a lovely paper smell. Uh, so there you go. That is your Shenandoah, just so you're having a nice look through in case you're not sure which one to go for. Over um, to you, Yanis. Okay. Let's have a little look at our... This is our Indian River. Oh, come on. There's literally the first page. Now tell me you can use that. Double-sided, and this is important because you can see you've got your sort of real big, bold uh, pattern statement, and then the other side, it's, it's like a, a mm. muted. diffused, muted. Oh, no, I like diffused better. No, yeah, I, I, like that. I like muted. Very nice. Uh, I de yes, um, if you're my secret Santa, I, I would like that. Page. Okay, I'll I like remember that, that. I'll remember that. And then it kind of spoiled. Now I'm going to I'm gonna have to keep you on your toes because if I am your secret Santa, you'll know it. So I'm going to have to get you something else. Oh, this is true. So you, you, you don't know? No, because the um, because Katie and Emily might be my secret Santa. Well, they might be your secret Santa. So yeah. then it would be, to, I wouldn't know between the three of you. Wow, mm. that's very, very AD true. AD might be my secret Santa. He might, he's a very generous man. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> what would you use that on? Look at that, it's crisp. 
I love that. Wow. That, love that. That I'd use that on Christmas cards actually because it's that, that nice great? frosty yeah. colour. Yeah. There is something for literally all year round there. The the backgrounds are incredible. And when you use them with like the fresh cut dyes, fantastic. Beautiful. This one is your northern lights. Oh. This is the original original. Speaking of Northern Lights, some of our lovely producers and directors are mm -hmm. out in Iceland. Yes. yes. Wait, who? Um, Meg and ah. Jimmy and Matt. I didn't know this. Yes, they're out in Iceland. Yeah. So I can't wait to see the pictures. I hope they get some of the Northern Lights. You know my story in Northern Lights. What is your story? You know my story no, in Northern Lights. No, I don't Lights. know the story. I proposed under the Northern Lights. Did you? Honestly? Yeah. yeah. Really? There oh, that's go. so romantic. Yeah, but they, you know what? I'm just very lucky that we saw them. Oh, yeah, well, that's nice. Did you hear about Andy and Holly? I did. That's another one of the team they got. He proposed, he proposed in Australia. Mm. Oh, they are a lovely couple. Oh, right? they are. But look, here's the thing. Going back to uh, our deal of the day, if you use the papers behind the fresh <coughs> cuts or just matting and layering, I mean, they are just beautiful papers in their own right. But how great do they look Yeah. when you add them with the so fresh cuts? So stunning. What else have you got there? Oh, isn't that so pretty? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's really fiery, this one, actually. Yeah. That, mm. Now that, do you know what that looks like? It's, sort of a, it's very autumnal, mm. the end of it's the sun setting, you've got that beautiful, rich glow in the sky. Yeah. Stunning. Beautiful. Or, how about that? You see, each, each of the designs offering something different. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So you're mm. choosing two, any two pads. 26 pence per sheet that's what it works out at this is our final one then this one is rainbow river just want to say mm. and for me i had like that eureka moment when yeah. we were chatting with paul one of these like tw a 12 by 12 mm. normally you're looking at anywhere from 15 to 19 pounds Absolutely, 12 by 12. Yeah, yeah. when you're talking clarity 48 sheets 48 sheets as well mm. you'd be looking at the higher end effectively with the deal of the day 12 pounds 50 per pad look at the quality that you're getting here it is ridiculous ridiculously good it is isn't it oh i really like this one oh, secret santa can have this one as well if you're doing the two secret santa's gonna have to get you that, that whole <laughs> lot. but look that's what you're getting at such a good price mm, rainbow mm. river uh what we are noticing a lot of people are doubling up and getting the full collection you can either do that or you can just pick your favorite too the choice is yours but for 24.98 there is a reason why so many people are putting this in their basket great deal Marvellous. Now, of course, you are joining us this morning and we're very grateful that you're joining us watching uh, Good Morning Hachanda. I know you love your graphic 45. Leonie was on with it yesterday with Let Leonie Loose. Ooh, oh, I didn't know this. It was really that nice. That must have been a busy show. It was a supremely yeah. busy show. Mm. Um, you've only got, though, until the 17th, which is Sunday, I believe, to get mm -hmm. this. This is Club Graphic 45. It will be dispatched on the 28th of November. But Graphic 45 are renowned for not just their quality, but the really... I, I, I would say unusual, but in a good way, um, uh, designs that are on mm -hmm. here. You know, I know they're unique, very that's a good word. unique. They're very conscious of the colour palette as mm. well, so they stick to uh, a set colour palette. But what you're getting here, and the thing is, so many of us are guilty of Graphic 45. We've got the pads, we love our pads, mm. and we're paper strokers. Are you a paper stroker? Yeah. I am. Yeah, we know it. But here, with Graphic 45 Club, and this is what I love about her channel, it really uh, embraces the whole ethos of the channel, and mm -hmm. that is to inspire. And that's genuinely uh, why the channel was set up, to give that opportunity to inspire. So here, you've got two different projects. So you've got the trio of cards. You've also got the altered uh, box as well, mm -hmm. uh, Christmas box. So you're getting, and let me just show you, this is what you're going to be making. So it really allows you to use all the goodies that you're getting mm -hmm. dispatched. Uh, so it's going to be dispatched on the 28th. You can buy this up until the 17th. Imagine making something like that. Oh, it's stunning, isn't it? Look at this. And look at the papers again. Look at all the detail that it has. Lovely. And it will arrive before Christmas. So, you know, once it arrives, you can get going. Yeah, absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. So you're getting your blank box, obviously, for you to decorate. You've got your embellishments. I can't see what the, oh yes those are the foam pads yeah you've got your kiss cut designs you've got an ink pad and you're getting your 12 by 12. 41 pounds and 99 pence 322 425. Um, next up we have got a seven day saver for you 
Here it is. Uh, so lots and lots of cardstock for you. This is by Joy, um, yes, Joycraft. Uh, 60 sheets in total, 9.99. What's the saving? 13 pounds and 85 pence is your saving. Uh, now it's available until Sunday morning. What day is it today? Thursday. Thursday. It's because I'm on my long stint. Oh, okay. I have no idea what day it is. It just, but, yeah. yeah. Uh, four seven five eight five seven. Why are you chuckling? Sure, Chuck, your eyes are as good as mine. Yeah. You're like looking like how much saving is that? Uh, so that is our seven day <laughs> savers. If you do want to save, jump online. Uh, we got lots more to discover, and we've still got time to get a hold of your sunset specials. I'm just having to chat about my eyesight. Um, yeah, I have been to get my eyes tested, uh -huh. and the, la the lady said to me, she's like, like this. Now, Alex, mm. you know it's a myth. What? That if you wear it, your eyes deteriorate? Yeah. I don't. Th I don't believe that because everyone I know wears glasses. Every time they go for a checkup, their prescription gets stronger and stronger. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Well, let us know what you think. But yeah. it's the way she's. It's a myth. Yeah. It's a myth, Alex. No. You've not been wearing your glasses because I had my eyes tested like. 10 years ago uh -huh. and I got glasses and I just don't wear them. Do you know when you go to get your eyes tested mm. and I know we've got to sh have a look at the insects, I'll be quick. I don't like how close they get. <gasps> right in your eyes. They're, they're literally, they're there aren't they? I don't like that. Nobody should be that close to your face unless Hello. they're your partner. <laughs> like what? Are you going to kiss me? What's going on yeah, here? I don't like it. It feels very yeah. unnatural. Mm. Anyway, have a look at this because I do <laughs> like these. Uh, we are talking the mill shop online. You're getting 100% cotton <clears throat> fabrics. The candy collection. Mm. Mm -hmm. So bright, aren't they? Bright yeah. yellow, happy colours. Very happy colours, yeah. And you, know, you kind of see, like, you've got your lemon sherbet here. This is like your... Um, Lavender, the lavender. Oh, then no, that's a nice yeah. way to describe it. Uh, and then you've got your wonderful. If Paula was here, she'd be saying turquoisey. Uh, and then you've got this, like a hochanda pink. It is. Sorry, and now you've said about Paula with her, a, a lovely accent. Yeah. You know, she says yarn ball. Oh yes, <laughs> yarn ball. Paula, we've discovered, cannot say yarn without suddenly, but like she's in the deep west. Good night, John Boy. Yeah, good night, John Boy. <laughs> Another reference they won't get. There we no, go. No, I know. Oh. Uh, so, 50, I like the whole team. Like, who's John Boy? What? Uh, 15 95 your price. You're getting all of these. Look, joking aside, two meters quality, and they really are. When you get this home, you'll feel the quality. Yeah. That is a great price. Uh, 205 060, your item number. Papers. Yeah, very mm. nice. Foundations. You're getting 100 sheets. This one's my favorite, but obviously, you're not having yeah. to choose. Look at that one, really like that, and it's got script on the back as well. Mm. Lovely, it's, they are double sided, so just picking up the one that Alex's fave, having a look here, it's a nice soft design, and then when you turn around, you've got this beautiful script. Mm. Again, it's not overpowering, but if you do want something that is quite jazzy, Juji. Look at that. I, I like that. That's quite fun. Yeah, I do. You could colour in the circle. Now, imagine that on MDF tag would look quite cool. Oh, yeah, that'd oh. be really, really nice, wouldn't it? Twelve ninety nine. your price there. Another mammoth save. Do you know, the first two items have both had savings in the £30 mark. £37, pounds, mm. um, one pence. You're saving here. Monster savings. 655 212, your item number. Do you know what's been busy? Our bead storage collection. Bead storage. How many pieces have we got? So I look, look, they're hidden under here. 47 pieces in total from magnetic tins to just bigger tins to star I like shapes. Things. And look, with, with the actual, the shapes, so you've got different shapes. You've got stars, you've got flowers. Do you know what you could do? You could decant. Oh, I've had an idea. This what? is not my idea, actually. It's uh, Katie, a producer. So you know when sometimes we do techniques and we blend our, or contaminate our glitters? Good Create point. your own blend. Yeah, absolutely. That's mm. a really good point. And if you still got some glitter left over and you need to sweep it up, you've got your mini dustpan and brush. That's too cute, that is. That okay. is very, very cute. It is. I Did really like that? that. Yeah. Very nice. Ooh, it's very actually nice. very effective. That is a good brush. Yeah. That... Look, joking aside, to have on your craft, to clean up your craft desk, that is brilliant. Because I get, I get quite a little, a build-up of um, embossing powder. So you know we need to. What are you going to say? Well, I don't know. <laughs> you tell me afterwards. Um, you know when you you fold your paper and yeah. you pour your embossing powder back into the tub, you still get those little bits left. Yeah, yeah. So that's good for that. Brilliant. Twelve pounds and fifty-nine pence. Your I, I really like this actually. Uh, <laughs> saving thirteen pounds and forty pence. Eight nine zero five one one. Your item mm -hmm. number. Now we've got some brushed cotton for you. 
two meters worth. You're getting an awful lot for your money. We've got to be quick, so we are coming towards the end of the show. What mm. I'll do, we're just going to open this up very, very quickly, and then we'll move on. I just want to show you how much you're actually getting. Look at that. That's a monster piece. So two meters. Go on. There we go. Perfectly modeled by Alex. And oh, then. <laughs> Ba -ba. <laughs> we, we could go on Britain's Got Talent. Yeah. That would be it, though. That would literally be our whole act. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> um, so you are getting two meters worth. Ten pounds is your price. Because it is brushed cotton, we say that please don't make uh, child's pajamas or uh, clothing just for health and safety. Uh, we would say err on the side of caution. There we go. Right. We have got some more for you. Uh, just Wow, this is very nice. Actually. Turn around, Alex, and we'll just have a look at the design there. Well, you just just... There you go. We'll have a look at all the designs. So we've got the elephant, you've got the giraffe in there as well, the lion, the zebra coming through, the tort uh, tortoise. You've got the toucan in the mix as well. I love the little bird sitting on the rhino as well. Mm. There are actually more characters in there than we realised. Mm. Now, uh, we've got more <laughs> for you. <laughs> so Because it's, it's early. It is. <laughs> Uh, we've got these little Sport. medallions, MDF medallions. Uh, for, you're getting 50 in total. Perfect for, we, we talk about techniques. Mm. But also, introducing mixed media. Yeah. Turning them into a project. Yeah, why not? Oh, do you want a hole in it? Mm -hmm. You've got a little ball ball. Make a little album. Oh, that's nice. What, what could we do? With the fabric that I've got, make... Make a mobile. Oh, good idea. What with the fabric I'm wearing? Mm. Oh, I quite like that idea. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. Aidy's such a dad. Aidy's in the background. Aidy, you used to be really cool. He's there like fabric mobile. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, 9.99 your price. Saving 10 pounds. 221. 9.92 your item number. You're still cool, Aidy. You're still cool. Uh, okay. Now, we've got some pink frog paper for you. I know you love your pink frog. I do. I do love pink frog. Do you know, mm. I was, I finally worked with Karen for the first time. She's awesome. She is so awesome with her techniques. The paper, the cardstock they had on there oh. was awesome. And this oh. is no exception, of course. Ooh, look at this. This look is your the sheen. ice gold. So you've got a beautiful, subtle inflection of gold, and it kind of traverses and comes to life. Traverses. But do you see how you get that movement? What does that word mean? Traverse. It, it moves. It kind of it traverses across. Oh, I like that yeah. word. Travels. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I love the Katie. Katie She's like, it, it travels. Uh, <laughs> Nine ninety nine. Your price saving ten pounds. Seven eight three two zero nine. She your does have a number. master's in film. She, I know. She's a very, very talented young lady. Uh, okay, now we've got two books for you here. Just have a look at the price. Nine ninety eight. We explore oils and we explore acrylics. So these are two massive foundations in your art. But all the techniques you're learning here, yep. you can apply to your crafting, your cards. Absolutely. Like this. Yep. Uh, nine ninety eight. Yeah, sorry, nine pounds ninety eight pence. Your price. Look at that saving. Very good mm. saving. I would look at it, but I can't see it from uh, over there. It's, it's nineteen pounds. <laughs> you do okay. I. I you do need to go back to your optician. If you can't see that, Ali, we're going to have to go back. 991-109, uh, your item number. Your optician was right. Uh, <laughs> so this is a fabric bundle. Uh, it's just a lovely little array, seven pieces in total. Speaking of fabric, yeah. Adam, and Adam is writing Fabric the Musical. Adam Presenter, Adam? Yeah. Really? Yes. Fabric the Musical. Yes. So no end to this guy's talent. I know. Mm. Fabric. I can, imagine. I can see it in the West End. Yeah. Do we all get a part in this? Yes, we do. This is Starts amazing. Starts off in a factory. Okay. Yeah. I don't know anymore. That's it? Yeah. Well, you don't want to give away too much. No, I want I people to come in. Oh, I love <laughs> it. Uh, coming to a theatre near you very, very soon. Uh, we need to get him and Scott talking. I know, there right. There you go. Uh, fifteen ninety nine. your price for that. Thank you so much, Alex. I've it's had been fun. a blast. Cause ah. we, it's been a while, hasn't it? It has been a while. I yes. always enjoy working with you. Likewise. Hope you enjoyed it. We've got another fantastic hour coming up with All in Crate. Alex is back at nine. Yes, Yanis is with Joe for All and Create, uh, followed by Have a Clarity Christmas Party One Day Special, followed by Fabric the Musical. No, I'm only joking. Did you say you wanted 24 hours of crafting on your TV? OK, then. Calling all Freeview viewers from the 2nd of October, that's exactly what you've got.
if you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Good morning, everybody. I'm really looking forward to this hour. Can I introduce you to the very talented Jo Rice? Hello. Hello. Hey. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we've got a whole hour with All and Create. It's lovely to see you again, Jo. Thank you. Now, how many, is this your second show? It is. First for All and Create, though. Bless very you. nervous. Okay. I, I um, you know, want to do justice to this wonderful company. You so. will. And don't be nervous. Look, you're with friends. I you know. You're with friends. I know. Do you know what's nice? And Alex said this in the previous hour, that we hold up so many beautiful pieces of art and a lot of the time we hold up your artwork and yeah. I said it, I, I can pick up your artwork, you've got a distinctive style, you, you are very talented uh, and I know that you've really, we're going to introduce some new stamps to you, you you really like these. I do, I do, they're not the style I would normally go for uh -huh. which is what I love about All and Create because I think sometimes as crafters we go in our comfort zone, yeah. you know we pick our favourite colours, our favourite stamps mm -hmm. and it's good to actually um, use something that we wouldn't necessarily pick as our favourite. Yeah and I've adored using these. And discovering new ways, and you, you were talking in the last hour about this really takes you back to a different era. It does, it does. I think stamps like this are wonderful, great for male cards, yeah. I mean great for female cards as well, but also if you send in a card to a couple, yeah. you know, you need something. I mean these are not just good for cards, they're good for gifts, but think of if you travel to London, and you mm -hmm. want to do some scrapbooking, yeah, uh, journaling. These are perfect for that. I mean, how iconic is the the red telephone? Oh box? yes, I mean that's I mean, a big image. Yeah, I mean where I live, um, they've saved them all, and we actually have them as defib stations. Oh yes, Do you know I've I've seen that. Yeah, that's actually a very yeah, good idea. Very good idea. Perfect. And you know, it, it's things like that. So you could use these for an older person, but mm. also. Retro is very much in. Yeah. So a teenager, how difficult is it? Teen well, teenage boys are difficult anyway. Yeah. But but to make them a card. Something that because you, you talk about like pop art and it's it's yes. very iconic yeah. images. These yeah. are images that yeah. won't date, but you can definitely go in a direction. Now look, we're not just saying that these are for the guys. No. They're for no. everybody. Yeah. But what we are saying is that I have you ever ask the question like they're just saying I struggle making cards for could be uh, grandkids it could be for a yeah. uh, brother it could be for a son granddad these are great yeah. these are really good unfortunately for you men yeah. I hate to say it but you are more difficult than us females oh yeah no, I hear <laughs> you that know, we've, we've got to say it I, but it's the truth it, it, it is. is the truth and if you can have something like this in your stash you know you can go to it time That's and time again I mean, that's look at this really journaling. Cool. How oh. fantastic is this? This is by Corrie from this the is, Netherlands. That's lovely. Amazing. Well, what about just 
showing you here. We've got some fantastic samples. The design team have really done us proud. This See is Debbie. That, Debbie, Debbie Martin, that, thank you. That done. I love that. Yeah, yeah. You've got that lovely vintage feel, but that pop of red. That is really nice. Yeah. Or, now this totally is Totally vintage. That does take you Janet. back to a different era. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Like I say, whatever your style, these stamps mm. will just suit it. And look at this by Ooh. Anne. How stunning Ooh. is that? Ooh, yeah. That would look good on the wall, wouldn't it? That, that is wall art. It that, really is. It's, it's done on some, um, some board. Yeah. That is stunning. That's such a good job, but again, it's it's a real compliment to the actual stamps that you can go in so many different directions yes. with that. Yeah. So many different yeah. techniques. This is another. And again, mix your stencils. You can use the stamp on its own. You can use your arty backgrounds this or mix nice. in with stencils. That one's by Debbie. Love this. Oh, this quarry. Yeah, beautiful. Ooh, and we've got ooh. some glossy accents on here. Yeah. So again, just makes it more tactile. And oh. also, look how the stamps have been used in the background. And this one we shown, uh, we we showed actually the last two yes, we showed at yeah, good, uh, good Janet. morning. Love that! But look yeah. at, at these images. And again, we're, we're mixing the yeah. different stamps, the different images. So again, whether you want it clean and simple, or whether you want to put more stamping in, whatever mm -hmm. your style, these will go together, and they will mix with other stamps you've already got from yeah. the collection. We're gonna we uh, we've got such a great demonstration. We'll be sharing uh, shortly. We're just gonna go down the counter, have a, few, a look at a few other things. But this is brand new. We've not seen these stamps before. Designed by Papasha, they are beautiful, beautiful stamps. Twenty six ninety eight. You're getting both sets. I think that's a great yeah, yeah. price. You're saving three pounds. Zero one zero six five nine. Your item number. Now we've got some more for you. This is nice. And actually, both sets we've seen with the inspirations work so well yeah, together. Yeah. They work on their own, or mm -hmm. they work, as I say, they complement each other. Yeah. So you've got that is just an image in itself. Yes. Look at yeah, that. Yeah. Two fabulous stamps here. And again, you can use them as separate images, but also you can u just pick elements out. I mean, look at this a Christmas tag done by Anne. Absolutely perfect. It just shows when you have a large stamp, don't think you have to use the whole of it. That's just cool. pick out elements That's and mix nice. it with your other stash. Going through, I just want to show you here because I really yeah, like yeah. that as a scene. Yeah, that one's by Janet. So again, that's using the whole image, and hopefully at 12, I'm going to be doing a demo using that stamp, using the whole image, because a lot of people struggle mm -hmm. with what to do with it, where yeah. to go. Let's have a look. Again, this is look nice. at this. Yeah. So you can add colour like that, as Anne has done, or look at this one, where we've gone with the craft by Janet. Very it, different feels, yes, same yeah, technique. Yeah, yeah, and lovely to cut out these. Mm, Great like for, these. for decoupaging up, you know, you could bring your pattern papers in. There's so much you can do with them. I'm, and I'm, again, it's the detail. I can see you there yeah. looking at it. Yeah. And that's what we want. When we give a gift, a card or a tag, we want the person to, to look at it and mm -hmm. say, oh, how's this been made? Yeah. And it, all the layering's done for you. Yes. Having a look yeah. here, so you're getting both sets of stamps. Now, look at this as a, a strip border detail. Got, again, layers upon layers yeah. upon layers yeah. of detail. And again, you can use the whole stamp, like this mm -hmm. one by Janet, or you can pick parts out. Yeah, that's nice. It's kind of got... Uh, a travel theme, it looks yeah. like a circuit yeah. board, yeah. it could be so many different things. Again, how many people have a gap year from uni, yeah. go travelling? Yeah. You could make them a little um, a luggage tag to take with oh, them, nice. so they've got something yeah. to think of you while they're travelling. As a mum, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, I'd like want, them. oh, yeah. just think of me every day. Oh. Oh. But yeah, you could make them a, a travel tag with that and just hang it on the yeah. case. That'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, Thirty-three ninety-eight. Your price. You're saving three pounds. Two three one nine four seven. Uh, your item number there. Right. We've got some stencils for you now. Oh, I love stencils. So All in Crate have really built up a reputation for bringing some fantastic yes. stencils. Yes. This is and a nice collection. And we've got something new coming soon, which I can't say because absolute. Mm, uh, but honestly, on the stencil front, have yeah. you had to play with it already? Pardon? Play, with the stencil. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Oh. Honestly, now, it's so exciting. <laughs> it's going to be great. I like these. Talk to me about yeah, these, Jack. Yeah, yeah. So these are brilliant. I mean, brick wall. Again, yeah. great with the male theme. Yeah. But again, we can use it female, put the flowers in front of them, the florals. And also, we've got what I call an in and out Yeah. So we've almost got the bricks and the mortar. Mm. So that gives you a total different feel. That 
I like that because you 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 can mask off or you, you can, can you can add your texture paste in there. There's so much you can do with these. Look As I say, cost. I just adore stencils. I think they are such an important part of our crafting world, mm. and unfortunately, a lot of people forget to use them. I mean, yeah. again, put them through your embossing machine, yeah. and this is lovely because it raises that bit. Then add some uh, ink, and it gives you that again that t tactile part yeah. to a card. Like the of this. Yeah. Yeah. Is that by? Is that that's yours? by Janet. Oh, Janet, that's yeah, lovely. Yeah. Or I mean, what again, those? the cogs that's got paste through it. How wonderful is that? Oh. Sorry, there's no name on this one. So okay. whoever did it, it's wonderful. Really nice. Right, fourteen ninety seven your price there. Saving three pounds. Three one three eight nine seven your item number. Uh, we've got some more for you. Some stamps now, like these as well. These are. So these are by Tracy, and so, I've got to be honest. Mm -hmm. I snuck these in the show, so I'm sorry, it's my fault, purely because of this. I wanted the little bird as a robin. Because Aww. we tend not to do, as All in Crate, we don't do specific Christmas designs, yeah. it's great when you can use a stamp in another way. So mm. I'm thinking post box. So hopefully it I'm going to demo well. this one at, uh, at 12 o'clock. Can I just draw your attention to these two? Because I worked with Tracy last week, and yeah, she was yeah. saying, like for her, these are kind of go-to. Yeah. She has them out on her craft desk all the time. Real worker stamps. Yeah. I mean, again, the mesh is perfect for backgrounds. Mm. Again, I use it just time and time again. And the squares. If you've just got that space and you don't know what to do with it, yeah. and often we can stamp tone on tone. So if we use the same colour, it keeps it in the background mm. so it doesn't take away from the focal oh, image. Nice. Like this in the little faces. So you can put the faces in the flowers. In the flowers, or it could be like a mirror as yeah. well. Yeah. I like mean, that. again, fabulous for all ages. Just wanted to show everyone. Now, these are clear stamps, just for the purpose of anyone who might be uh, new to All and Create. Oh, I'm knocking everything down, sorry. Like but they are, a, <laughs> they are a clear stamp, but really good quality. Photopolymer. Oh, excellent, stamp. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, stamp really well. Look at that. Oh, that makes such a great background. Yeah. Yeah. And you can stamp it, repeat stamp it, so you mm -hmm. can have a large mesh. Yeah. I mean, again, if you, I hate to say it, but if you think of mail cards, fishermen, football nets. Brilliant. Yes. You know, all these things, it doesn't just have to be that background mesh, you can make it into something. I like it. You, you just have to think of these things. Yeah. Uh, 22 97 your price there, saving three pounds, one nine, uh, 169 374 your item number. Now, we've got some more for you. I like these too. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, again, another lovely set. Mm. Uh, the quirky flowers, I mean, these would go wonderfully with the stencils. Yeah. And so much you can do with them. So again, we can have a vintage feel, we mm. can use them as accessories or use the whole design around them. It's nice. A lot going on here. Wonderful thing. It's kind of got that sketchy feel. They're quirky. Yes, yeah. Quirky is a good term uh, that you use. Uh, and they've got that uh, individuality. They really do set apart. You get a sense that this is something a little bit different. It's got the all in create about it. £20, 98 pence your price, saving £3, 885-902, your item number. We've got a couple more options to show you before we get to demonstration. Like this. Lot going on here. Yeah, yeah. And again, you can use the whole stamp or you can use part of it. Mm -hmm. Playing cards. Yeah. Uh, look, playing cards never going to date. No, no, no. But also, you can use them as playing cards, mm -hmm. but also for an engagement, you could have the king and queen. Oh, yeah. So again, it's all that thinking outside the box. I like that. Spoken like a, a true designer, and you kind of you zero in, you get so many ideas, Joe. Yeah, and is that yeah, what you would yeah. like with a stamp with such lavish detail? Do you look at it? Do you stamp it out and then go from there? Or do you already have an idea of what you want to do with it? I tend to look at them, and it's quite funny. I don't purposely think about it, and I'll be doing something else, like, say, <laughs> making dinner. Yeah. And all of a sudden, my mind starts wandering, and I'm thinking, oh, I could do that, yeah, that. I could do that. And before I know it... You recommend Oh, it. yes, yeah. yeah. These are nice. Nice images. So you've got the uh, cards in there. Yes. You've also got the chess pieces. So if you know anyone who loves their chess. And again, like they chess. mix and match. I know I keep saying this, but all the designs do mix and match together. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you just want to show this. These are fantastic by Corey. And these are ATCs. Yeah. Oh. So perfect for your artist trading cards. These are great. Aren't they? Who did these? Corey. Corey, these yeah. are really nice. Love and again, that. it just shows you changing the colour tones. 
gives Change the whole feel. feel. Yeah, That's really yeah, nice. And yeah. I do love the fact, speaking of colour tones, we've got blue on our screen, which means there is a freedom price on these stamps. 21.23 uh, means that you're getting an additional saving. And of course, as a freedom member, your PMP is included. 633-653, your item number. Just going to show you this one. Having a look. So this is another op option. This is our Voyager. Like that. Again, fabulous. And if I can just draw your attention, mm -hmm. there's a little stamp here in the corner. And again, that's a fantastic worker stamp. The main images are brilliant, don't get me wrong, but that little stamp, that's one of the ones that I use again yeah. and again. When it's you just need that little extra. How a little stamp can have such a yes. big impact. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, 990, 9.99. So that's Fantastic that. price. Look at, I just want to show you something. I mean, the designs are beautiful, but if I just turn this around, let me just turn this around here. That. You're getting a lot of stamps yeah. there for your money, aren't you? Now, I want to draw your attention to the fact this is our happy hour for this hour. So the price, the saving, that £8 saving is only for this hour, but when you consider how much you're getting, and I've seen this stamp in action, I know yeah. how good it is. That is a phenomenal price for $9.99. I'm just going to put my hand in the shot so you can see how big that is. Done. Get in my basket price. That is seriously good value. It is, yeah. Oh, but remember, happy hour deal, that price is only here for this hour. Uh, I know we've got another hour with Joe at 12. We might have a different happy hour. That will not be at this price. Okay, final one before we get to demonstration. These are nice too. Oh, yes. I've seen these as well. Yes. I love. I yeah, love yeah. Angel wings yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Brought these back. These are designed by Tracy. Yeah. And again, so many different ways of using them. There's so many different parts to them. It's like the wings, you can use them as angel wings like this. You don't need a lot in the background. Look at mm. that. Beautiful. And there's a lot going on here. So you've got, look at that, angel yeah. wings. Yeah. And this that one's by Corey. Clever. Putting the flower yeah, with the hair. Yeah, that's by Debbie. Yeah, I like that. Ooh. Yeah. And I love this too, another one by Debbie. Another one by Debbie. Very different styles. Yeah. yeah. But again, that's what I love, and I keep saying it, that all and create, whatever your style is, there's something here for you. Mm. Whatever your taste, whatever the occasion, there's something for you. This is lovely. Really nice inspirations here. Twenty three ninety eight your price, five six four, five six four your oh nice. Five six four five six four. I like that. Yeah. Good symmetry. <laughs> uh, Got to just tell you, the happy hour deal is extremely busy now. Uh, the only reason I'm mentioning this is because we can see how busy we are. Happy hour deal, like the deal of the day, like the one day special. It's around for a limited time, so for this hour. Or there is an additional caveat: while stocks last, uh, I will keep you updated on our stock levels. But once it's gone gone, so don't miss out. Uh, let's jump on to. Oh, actually, we're going to give you a reminder of the deal of the day uh, because it's been a popular one. Clarity. Now these are Clarity 12 by 12s. Uh, pick and mix. You choose any two. Now normally it'll be 35.98. You're saving 11 pounds. So for 24.98, effectively 12 pounds 50 per 12 by 12 pad is ridiculous. Ridiculously good value for money. 377-266, your item number. The hardest part though will be picking your favourite. Maybe go for a double option and get all of them. Choice is yours. Okay, what are we going to be doing then? Right, so what I thought we'd do is, I love making cards, yeah. but I'm thinking, let's make something. This was another one of those moments, and it's daft. I was laid in bed, couldn't sleep, mm -hmm. and I was thinking, what can I do with these stamps that will really showcase them? Mm -hmm. And I came up, it was the phone that got me thinking, and I'm thinking, how often when you buy the phone do you need a piece of paper? Do you need yeah. something to write on? So I came up with this lovely idea that is a little notelet book. Do you mind if I show so if you one? Yeah. There's a pen in there, but I'll just take that out. So imagine this, and this is such a clever idea, by your phone. Open it's sort it of up. on the journaling theme, but again, I've put a bit of a twist on it, and it's got post-it notes in. Oh, you I have used stamped a few of them. There. I haven't stamped all the way through, I must admit. Love that. And it's a great thing to do. I do think it's to actually make something which you can give. See, I would... I would love to make some of this, but I'd happily use it in my home as well because it's yeah. so practical. Yeah. The amount yeah. of times I've been on the phone and then someone say, oh, are you ready? And you're, well, I haven't got a pen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where am I going to write this down? You find the back of an envelope or something. Well, I'm so glad you like it because I yeah. hope you don't mind. Mm -hmm. I've made you a gift. Oh. When I knew I was coming on with you. Oh. So, and again, it just shows the viewers at home. Joe, that's this so is, sweet of you. a little notebook that I bought. I love it. And I've just covered the front and the back. But see, 
I'd love it, and I would definitely. Thank you so much because I will problem. use this. Proud, I'm yeah. going to keep it by the phone. That is great, but that's the thing. And genuinely, I'm really chuffed by that. So Thank imagine you. you giving that to somebody. Uh, Joe, that's very sweet. We're going to start showing you how to make yeah. this. Uh, just want to very, very quickly the happy idea. I'm just going to flash this up for you because uh, we've only just seen it, and over thirty percent of the stock's gone. Look at this. I'm not surprised. No, no <laughs> way. At nine ninety nine, it's for all and crate stamp of this quality ridiculous price it really is and this should sell out I'm gonna say to it's sometimes you say we're not sure what's gonna go first the stock or the clock stock no way this is gonna last brilliant thanks Eddie cheers buddy okay right so what I'll do I'll just quickly tell you now this design and um, one of the design team Anne made a lovely birthday book and uh -huh. it was a large book and I asked her how she did it yeah. and that's the beautiful thing about this this uh, team that we all share inspiration but then we put our twist on it yeah. so Thank you, Anne, for that. Okay. And all it is, is the actual base is made with grey board. Uh -huh. And what I did was I got my notelets yeah. and then I decided what size grey board. Right. And all I've done is, sorry, Carl, but I mm -hmm. took this out of the garage. Okay. But it's just black tape and all you do is make a hinge yeah. by putting the black tape on. Okay. So I won't go into detail with that. No. I can always do a YouTube or vlog it if anybody wants. But I'd rather get onto the, the stamping yeah. bit. You so are, I'll, um, I'm thinking of your husband now. He's going to be like, where's where? I'm sure I had some tape around here. Uh, you got a lovely message from Julie who's saying oh. that it's wonderful seeing Joe on her Chandra again and she loves your demos. Oh, thank there you. you thank oh, you. Thank you. Keep the messages coming in. I am so honoured with, with the people I've met, the friends I've met. Good. You know, when yeah. I travel around doing workshops, it's wonderful to meet so many genuine lovely lovely yeah. crafters how can we follow you on social media if we want to go to one of your workshops um i have a blog yeah. jr crafts uh -huh. and i've started doing youtube oh amazing which, which I'd, I'd love doing and um i'm on facebook brilliant so have a look so out for joe that's wonderful. brilliant so it's joe rice yeah so as i say you've got the base here uh -huh. and what's lovely with this is you then just cut pieces of card and they're just going to fit mm -hmm. over there now, I've already done some, but I will show you one of them. I just thought you wouldn't want to see me doing all the pieces. Okay. I'm doing, you could do them different colours, mm. but I like, I'm a bit of a matching sort of person. Mm -hmm. So, what I've got is I've got um, a white cardstock here. It's smooth card. Mm. It's 300 GSM, but it's got a low chalk content. Okay. And that's purely, I like to add water. Mm. And if it, it's got a high chalk content, what happens is it goes pulpy when you add water. Ah. So I didn't even know card had a chalk content. Yeah, yeah. And there's a, a big difference. And if you find a card that's good with water, stick with it. Okay. There are quite a few on the market, mm -hmm. but I tend to, once I've found the good one, yeah. that's the one. That's stick it. with. All right, fair so what we're going to do first is some blending okay. and I'm just going to use two colours and I'm using the oxides. Mm -hmm. And Do you tend to go for oxides? Yes, just because I'd, I like them. Okay. And I'm a bit of a sort of a, a neat sort of crafter right. in that what I tend to do is I turn the lids round and put my blending tools like that and I have them in the order I'm going to use them. Nice. Also I like to have a piece of kitchen roll mm. only because these are dye based inks and they react with water mm. and when you're on live television you sometimes have sweaty palms okay. but what happens is then you could get fingerprints on your yeah. work. Okay. So I'm going to start with the blue. Mm -hmm. Now a little tip some ladies when they come to workshops they put new pads on and what happens is they get lines mm. with these pads the dare I say the older they are the better they are mm. and so they're well seasoned so don't think you're doing the right thing by putting a new one on each time okay that's a great tip actually it, it, well yeah, people I agree. think they're doing yeah. the right thing yeah. but actually, and then you think oh no the old one you got at home yeah. would have been far better okay. Also, when you're inking up, some ladies sort of do this and it doesn't get an even coverage. So I always recommend do circular motions mm. and you're almost starting that blending, blending with the yeah. ink on the pad. Okay. So we're just going to start, we're going to start in the corner and I'm just going to do circular motions. Mm. The other thing is sometimes if you get little bits, little lines, it might be that you've got glitter or embossing powder either on your pad or on your ink pad. Mm. So just bear so that in mind. So do bear that in mind, yes. Yeah. I mean, we are only making a background, and okay. one thing I do say to ladies is don't stress too much because it is just a background. Mm. 
So I'm just going to blend this end with the blue. And then what I'll do is turn the card round and I'm just going to move my area here. Can you see I've got some blue there? And if I blended there with my green, mm -hmm. I'd pick up the blue. So mm -hmm. I'm just moving it slightly. And then I'm going to come in with the green. Mm -hmm. And what I tend to do when I'm blending two colours is I leave a little area in the middle. Mm -hmm. So I've got my blue and I've got my green. Then I'm going to work on this middle bit. I'm not going to put any more ink on here. Just going to bring the blue over the green mm. and then take the green over the blue. Nice. And I'm just working on that middle bit. And again, no more inks needed. I'm just using the ink that's on there to just blend. And I'm just going to work in that area, blending. Mm -hmm. And then that gives me a nice blend. Um. In fact, I'm just going to add a little bit more blue there. Right, so I'm going to put the lids on because what I'm going to do is flick some water mm -hmm. and we don't want to get water on our ink pads. This goes beautifully with your top, by the way. Well, I thought I would colour coordinate. Yeah, I like it. So, I've got a fan brush uh -huh. and I'm just going to flick some water. Yeah. Make sure I don't flick it on us. Okay. And that will fold bleach. I did manage to get, I don't know how, but some gesso on my jeans. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why it, 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 it come off. You could be setting a new trend. Never Possibly. mind rich jeans. Now it could it's be gesso jeans. jeans. Yes. I'm just going to clean mm -hmm. that up. I'm afraid I do like to just clean up as I'm going. So what we'll do is we'll leave that to dry and here we've got the ones uh -huh. already done. And can you see they all blend see, nicely together? That looks like you look if you have a look here. It looks like a shop bought uh, you know from a paper pad background but which is what we want and just showing you just how achievable that is i mean that's stunning love your colors but then once you so you've created the background that pop of color when you put the stamps together magic things happen yeah, and that's the yeah, thing yeah so what we're going to do now i'm just going to block that so it just mm -hmm. dries a little bit quicker okay the next layer we're going to do is the stenciling yeah and then we'll get on to the stamping okay so we'll choose Let's go for the, the brick like wall. The stencils. And I'm just going to take it down one side. Yeah. So again, do I use tone on tone? Do I? Let's I go. I'll tell you so. what, we'll go for a green, but we'll just go for a slightly darker okay. one. Okay. Nice. Again, circular motions. And I'm just going to turn it this way because mm -hmm. I like to work. I was chatting to and What's nice is we've got different crafters of all abilities, and that's the whole point of Pochan, that whether you're just starting out or an experienced yeah. crafter, chatting to someone, don't be afraid to ask the questions, because they're embarrassed and they're saying, tone on tone, here is saying tone on tone, what does that mean? Yeah. Effectively, you're just playing with the same colour, but on different shades. So uh, you might see a slightly darker shade, lighter shade, tone on tone. It tends to take, keep it in the background. Yeah. It won't take it away from your main image. What I like to do with stenciling, when I get to this point, I don't want to take the stencil off because if I need more <coughs> colour, yeah. it's hard putting it back in the correct place. So I would always hold it and then just lift it like this. Oh, that's nice. So and, you know, that works really yeah, well. If I needed more, I could come in with more, but mm -hmm. I don't think I do. I think that. Mm, for me, that's, nice. that's lovely. Do you ever do um, hinge techniques? So maybe just use some low-tack tape and yes. hinge it down? Yeah. yeah, but I must admit, I tend to be in a little bit of a rush. That's right. And some of the low-tack tapes can stick a little bit. Yeah. So I tend to hold it in place right. and just lift Fair it. Enough. Now, okay. what I will do with this mm. is we'll give this... So that's little one spritz. background yeah. done. Yes, we'll do the old spritzy thing. This is what I love about stencils, because you can do so much with them. So you can use it. What Joe's showing you now is effectively turning your stencil into a stamp. It's a very clever technique. Now also this one, there's a darker colour there, so we may mm -hmm. see it. But the water will actually full bleach the ink that's already there. Mm. So if we give that a bit of a pad. Love the crafty rag as well. Oh, I know goes with me everywhere yeah. so if we peep underneath yes that's just starting we'll give it a little bit longer the beauty of this is you never know what you're mm. going to get 
So can see you that? see as it's that like a water starts, mark. if we just yeah. get it, yes. Allow yeah, me to give it yeah. a little. Can you give it a little wiggle? Yeah, I'll tell you what, if we come up this way, you'd be able to see it more. But it's subtle. Yes, but you don't but always see, want it nice. in your face. We're just building those layers up in the background. Wow. As Love it dries, that. you will see mm -hmm. it more. As we're doing this, I've got to go back to that happy hour till one because it is it's flying. I really am yeah. not surprised. Sixty percent of the stock has gone. Look at that price, nine ninety nine. You're saving eight pounds, and very very close to a fifty percent saving. And look at what you are actually getting. The stamps are stunning. There's a lot on and there. And these. Stamps, I remember we featured them not long ago. They are beautifully detailed stamps. You've got sentiments in their verses, detail upon detail upon detail. For $9.99, as a happy hour deal, what I would suggest, if you've never bought a stamp from All and Crepe before, great way to yeah. dip your toe into the yeah. world. Yeah. You'll never look back. I have to say the flowers as well. You can just pick the flowers out and cut mm. the flowers. So have you, there's have a you lot done that? I have yeah. done that. There's a lot on there. I've also stamped that whole image and just decoupaged the flowers. Oh, that's nice. Just coloured the flowers, left the rest in black yeah. and white. And I love the compass in there as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. This is and the sentiment. Do not try to fit in where you're meant to stand out. That's How good lovely. is that? Yeah, yeah. And also you can cut that up. Mm. You can just use bits of it. Yeah. Come through. That's what we want. It's all right. We want something where we're gonna we're gonna make it really unique to our uh, individual project. So I'm just going to add, mm -hmm. while we're talking, just going to do the other two. What I like about this is you've got four lovely little pieces of artwork mm. that you can play at. So if you've got, say, some new stencils, you could do four different stencils, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to go with this one. This is a, a, another fab stencil. Mm -hmm. And again, lift it up, have a look. Right, there's not enough ink on there. So... Nice. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring some of the... I like mixing colours as well. Mm. When you're using a stencil, you don't just have to use one colour. Mm. Blend your colours through the stencil. That's nice. Again, lift it up. Yes, yeah, so oh, you yeah. can see how yeah. that's really... It's starting to take now. Yeah, yeah. And again, we're only using a couple of different colours because sometimes I think we can almost panic. We think we have to throw everything at a project. Mm. So it's nice to do a project and think, yes, I'm just going to use the blue and the green. Nice. So we've got that one. Beautiful. I'll just that. show yep. what we've done so far. And I'll so. do this again. Those are three different details coming through. And obviously, we're working off the different sections of our project. Lovely. I mean, this really is a nice project for one mm. of those days when you want to make something, you're not sure what to make, you've got some nice crafty stash, mm. you can just sit, relax, cup of coffee, chocolate biscuit. Oh. Now we're talking. Definitely. There you go. I have bought some biscuits into the, the kitchen as well, you're yes. You're a good woman, Jo. You know, you know how to win over the team. I haven't quite baked them myself, yeah, that's but you all know right. I've... Anything, look. Hey, these off. There we go. Mm. Yes, yeah, you're still there. On your break. Oh, you don't get that. You're not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, not much no, water okay. on this, so I'll add a little bit more. Yeah. But you know what? Again, at home, if you don't have much water, you stamp around it. It, mm. it, it doesn't matter. We don't need a full background. Yeah. What I love about... I mean, I, I love watching her chander, and what I love is not particularly seeing something perfect, but if it doesn't go right, how do we get around yeah. it? Well, you, you were saying this is a really nice point because Joe is a fan of Hochand. You've been watching us for oh, years. for years. And I am that crafter that sits at home and talks to you. Ah, oh. oh, Joe, that's very I, sweet. I do, when I'm, I'm prepping for workshops, yeah. my iPad's on and I'm watching. Mm -hmm. And I do, and often when you ask questions, I'm there shouting the answer out. Oh. Or when you say, do you remember things? And I'm yeah. thinking, yes, yeah. I do remember that time. That's nice. But what's it like? So... When you, because I know this is only your second time coming to Ho Chan the oh, first time with All and Crate. Yeah. What was it? What you thought coming to Ho Chan Da? What's been your experience? To be honest, when people say, "Oh, it's a family and everybody's lovely," mm. as a crafter at home, I did sort of think, "Yeah, oh, yeah they're yeah. just saying that." Yeah. I've got to be honest, but yeah. it is. Everybody is so nice, oh. and I mean, I was really nervous and. 
I'm not very good at travelling. I'd, I'm yeah. not very, I'd not much confidence at driving. Mm -hmm. I um, was ill for a while and lost my driving licence. Oh, okay. So um, yeah. being able to drive again is brilliant. Yeah. But the nerves for just driving here. Yeah. But everybody's so nice when you get here and so appreciative of what we do. Yeah. And, and I think the it. crafters at home, uh, uh, the feedback I get is so lovely. It's, look, this is what I love about Ho Chan, the fact that we offer this platform to talented crafters like Joe who can come on, share inspirations and get you crafting. The whole point is we want to get you crafting, yeah. we want to give you yeah. ideas. Yeah. Right, yeah. so we've done yeah. our panels. So we've got our background. Yeah. Next bit is the stamping. Mm -hmm. Now again, we've got so many wonderful stamps. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take this. Right. When I started, um, I've got to be honest, I think because I'm little, mm -hmm. I'm a bit of a rubbish stamper. Right. Which, in a way, is good because I've come up with ways that make it better. Mm. So I find, for me, I just copy like paper. a pad of copy paper okay. to stamp on. Nice. I think it just do you ever <laughs> use um, Do you ever use stamp platforms? I do, but... I almost think if we're not careful, they can make us lazy oh, that's a because good it's okay. almost getting us into bad ways of stamping. Yeah, okay. I've noticed ladies at workshops don't ink up properly because they go, "Oh, well, I can always do it again." Uh, I hadn't so thought it, of it that it's way. Yeah, almost that double-edged sword. Okay. I have got one yeah. and I use it a lot, okay. but only when I necessarily have to. I try right, and do stamping in a normal way if I can. Okay. Yes. So one thing I will point out: what we're going to do is we're going to put the lovely um, phone. Box uh -huh. image. Now, what I would do is because we've got these four backgrounds, mm. a great way of deciding which one to use. You have the acetate, oh, yes. and it's got the image on. This is a fantastic tool. So again, that's a good idea. You see, if I put it on there, I'm going to lose. So I'm, I want to keep that bit. So I'm looking for one. What I'm thinking is hold it the right way that helps mm -hmm. you see again I don't want to stamp it there because I'm completely mm -hmm. over so I don't want that one I'm thinking mm -hmm. this one mm. definitely that one I want to keep that Funny enough that was one I was thinking so, as well yeah, yeah yeah so again this is so useful okay so we'll put good. those to that one side that is a very very good tip by the way and now, you'll find that with all the stamps from all and create again um the acrylic blocks mm -hmm. are absolutely brilliant, but I tend to lose mine. The see-through. Uh -huh, yeah. So I have to put little well, marks good. with a, a Posca pen on mine. Okay. just makes it easier yeah, to see, see where they are. Mm -hmm. uh, apologies, we have got queues on our phone lines. I promise we're going to try and get through to you as soon as possible. If you do want to jump the queue, you can always do that by going onto our website, hochanda.com, or using the Hochanda Go app. Uh, with regard to our happy hour deal, and we're just flashing up the details, we are over 70% of the stock. I really am not surprised It's not going to last the hour. The next time you hear me mention it, we will be approaching limited stock, so I'm just putting that out there. So when you're inking up, mm -hmm. plenty of ink. Okay. Now I tend to stamp a large image this way. I find it right. easier. Yeah, than I, I heard you say that before, actually. Yes, yeah. So I'm just going to decide where to do that. Beautiful. And again, always keep one hand. Mm -hmm. Now, these acrylic blocks from All and Create mm -hmm. are flexible. You've probably heard Abs when he's on saying how flexible they are. So mm -hmm. you can actually lift them up. Mm. And this helps because often with a larger stamp like this, it's the center that people would have trouble stamping. Oh, so by lifting that up, you're so just increasing you're the just pressure. Increasing in the, center, the pressure yeah. there. And also, don't be in a rush. I do find, um, I adore stamping, but a lot of ladies, if they're nervous, because they're nervous, they tend to lift the stamp up too quickly mm. and they don't give the ink chance to so actually absorb. soak in. Yeah. yeah. And it's worse, obviously, we've just added water to some of these, haven't we? Mm. So obviously, if it's not completely dry, it, it won't stamp properly. So you have to bear that in mind. So don't rush. No, no. Take your time. Mm -hmm. So if we lift that off, look at oh, that image. Now look. I'll let you. And the thing is, that is a very, very detailed stamp. But you've just seen how effortlessly Joe's able to get every last scrap of detail from there. Look at that. I have to say, creating that background, that looks stunning, Joe. Thank you. But you see the details, the splats, yeah, yeah, the words. Yeah. You've got your sort of main focal image. I love everything about this stamp. Brand, brand new design by B. Pasha. Lovely. Lovely. So what we'll do now, 
will just stamp the back. So on mm -hmm. the back, I've put this, this stamp on is there as well. Great I, image, I love yeah. this. Yeah. So let's have a. I'm conscious of time. I don't. So we'll, we'll go for this one. You've got plenty of time, don't worry. Good. It's like everything. There's so much you want to say, and so mm. much I want to. Mind you, my husband says I talk too much, so maybe I shouldn't. No, I'm saying. <laughs> I think that's a, a prerequisite on TV where you can talk as much as you like. When I was a little, one of my nicknames was Chatterbox. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you the kid in class that um, you weren't afraid then to answer questions and oh, put your hand up? No, I don't like speaking out and I wouldn't put my hand up. Oh. I'm a very shy person. Oh. Very shy. But when I'm, if it's something I love, I, I could just talk for England. Yeah. Um, and I have to say, you know, stamping, mm. um, I came into this to do with ill health, I yeah. was medically retired, mm. I was um, a therapy radiographer at the Christie Hospital, oh, wow. and do you know what, it's amazing to think what's, you know, every cloud has a silver lining, mm. and I can't believe how I, I adore what to do, and there's so yeah, many new things to learn. Mm. And there's nothing better than if somebody's struggling with a technique and you help them. The face when they do it, oh, oh it's, mm. it's just wonderful. Nice. Right, so I'm just stamping this image. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Lift that up again, beautiful. Nice. So if I just show you the two images that we stamped, and we are very busy uh, for our new today. So brand new stamp collection. And you can see, see this is why we're busy because beautiful images, extremely versatile, they kind of embrace the whole ethos of All and Create. Be connected, I love that. Such strong images, but different images as well. So what I'm going to do mm -hmm. now is on the actual finished little book, if I open it that way, mm. there's just... some wording on here. Yeah, the ching ching. Yes, and I like to bring something across all three, so that's what I'm going to do. It's the wording, mm -hmm. this it's like little the phone sentiment. Ringing. It is, yeah. Tring, tring. Although now it doesn't tring tring, does it? No. Again, I think we're showing our age. <laughs> do you? Re I remember the phones. Do you remember the phones where you put your finger in and dial it, dial around? Oh yes. And take forever yeah. to dial yeah. one number. And, <laughs> and the emergency number was nine nine nine. Yeah. And that was the longest one to go around. <laughs> Why did they do that's that? That's a really good point. I never even thought yeah. of that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, somebody's having a heart attack. Oh, oh, ten minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it is weird the way my mind works. <laughs> That's a good point, though. <laughs> Need your own stand-up, sorry. So, mm -hmm. we'll stamp the sentiment there. I mean, great if you know somebody who lives in Tring. Yes, okay. yeah. They've got a really good uh, museum, Natural History Museum there. Oh, so there really is a place called Tring. Oh, I thought yeah, you just... No, no, no. There is a place called Tring, and it's in... Uh, I'm going to Google that. It's in Hertfordshire. <laughs> I know, because it's not too far away from me. And we'll put that on there, and then we're just going to stamp it on the spine as well. Nice. So, and I'm just going to roughly put it at the same sort of uh -huh. level as these. Yeah. I say roughly. It's, do you know what, the, the small little touches, yeah. like the little um, sketch lines going in there that tie in the whole theme, it, so much thought's been put into these stamps. I love them, yeah. I really yeah. do like these stamps. But you see how this almost could be a triptych? Yeah. Yeah, you we, we want a bit of continuity. You don't want, if you're doing something like this or a journal, mm -hmm. you don't want the back to be completely different from mm -hmm. the front. So while we've got different images, mm -hmm. we need a bit of repetition. Yeah. You know, we've got the same colours. Mm -hmm. We've got the, the what we're going to do now as well mm -hmm. is, if I just show you, on this wonderful Fly Hive yeah. stamp set. Uh -huh. Well done, you got it right. I know I did. Yeah. <laughs> My ladies will know what I, I <laughs> I, I'm calling this, but we'll yeah. keep that between us. Um, it has some numbers here, can you oh, see? Okay, yeah. And of course I'm thinking phone and everyone. numbers. If you want to show it off that as well. So you've just got the little numbers in there. And then if I yeah, show you there. Top and bottom. Are. There we go. 
coming through. But actually, getting my hands on the stamps is just a nice reminder of the quality yes. of stamps yes. that you are getting with the All and Crate. Would it be all right, Joe, if we had a really quick recap, only because we're well over halfway through the show, just yeah, for the yeah. purpose of anyone new, and I promise we'll get straight back to you. What I'll do is mm -hmm. I'll add a little bit of colour just with pencil to the phone okay. box. That would be perfect. So you're not going to miss out on anything. All Joe's going to be doing, if yeah. you have a look at the phone box, she's just adding a bit of colour. So there's a phone yeah, box. Just, just with pencils, okay. nothing so difficult. We will, I promise, we're going to get back to Joe as soon as possible. Let's jump onto the website and have a look so you can find everything on the show on our website. So do have a little explore. Um, where's, where's the happy hour deal, Katie? Because uh, I told you the next time I mentioned it, it will be approaching limited, and that's exactly where we are. Uh, don't worry about finding it, Katie. Oh, there it is. Uh, so look, five star review. Now, normally, you'd be paying $17.99 for this stamp set, it's $9.99. That is our happy hour deal. Once it's gone, it's gone. Either way, though, at the end of this hour, the price will revert back up. But I don't think, uh, all right, we're green on the screen. We've only got 10% of the stock remaining. It's not going to last. So this is effectively uh, your last warning if you do want to get hold of it, because I think it's not going to be long before I'm saying it's gone. For $9.99, utter bargain. Right, I just want to talk to you about our brand new release. So Bybee Pasha, beautiful stamps really tying in to a different era and just seeing Joe working with these I was sold on it I love those images so whether it is that phone box then you've got the globe you've got those old style phones you've got a beautiful sort of traditional scene the post-it scene in there um, the old phone I can remember this and then you've got another set as well look I love receiving fan mail. Me too. I just don't, I love it. I just don't get any. Uh, you've got, look, the old uh, envelope in there as well. But if I just show you here, now look at that. Imagine giving something like this to somebody. And Joe very, very kindly has given this to me, and I will love it and I will use it. But you can see how the images look just decoupaging uh, the phone, that the, uh, the actual handle of the phone works perfectly. Or what about something like this? Play around with your colors, but there is just so much going on here. Or making something like that. So that was by Janet here. This is by Cory. Is that stunning? Or if you want to go to town, another one by Cory using that iconic red. So there's a lot to play around with. Now we've got to get back to Joe. We are very busy for this brand, brand new. Not seen these before. Twenty-six ninety-eight. Your price. You're saving three pounds. Uh, zero one zero six five nine. Your item number. We've only got a handful left of our happy hour deal, so that is about to go. I'm just putting that out there. Something else that's very, very popular is our deal of the day. Take a look at this. The so deal of the day. You are getting Clarity twelve by twelve designer paper pads. It's a pick and mix. You're choosing any two for twenty-four ninety-eight, saving eleven pounds. Effectively, it is. Uh, £12.50 per pad. £12.50 per pad. Ridiculous. Uh, 377 266, your item number. 20% uh, by the way of the stock of our new stamp sets gone. And I know you've got another show at 12, 12 as well, so it's yes. been very yeah. popular. Yeah. So what I've done now, I've very quickly added a little bit of colour to the foam box just to mm -hmm. make it pop. Just normal pencils, they work really well on top of the ink. What I'm going to do now, as I say, mm -hmm. I love the thought of the numbers because I'm thinking phone call, yeah. numbers. It's just got that and I want theme. something to tie all my pieces together. Mm -hmm. So what I would do like this is put them together and I'm just going to use the stamp. I call it organically because mm -hmm. in my head it's just natural. Nothing added, yeah. no stamp block. So. Nice. I'm just going to take the number a little bit and stamp. And again, I'm just using oxide on oxide. So it's there, but it's not too obvious. Mm -hmm. We've got some here. So I'm going to go in this corner. I have a thing about diagonals. I don't know mm -hmm. why, it's just in mm -hmm. my head. And so for me, that balance is better. So I'm happy with mm -hmm. that. Nice. Then I have to use this. So mm -hmm. I'm actually going to use black. Now I know we knock stuff back, mm -hmm. but because we've got, I just feel I need a few little touches of black. Mm -hmm. But again, don't overpower this. We don't want, I call it a pizza design. Okay. You know where you've got pizza topping over yeah, the yeah, whole pizza? Yeah, yeah. We still want some of this, although don't it's colored, it's yeah. white space. Mm. 
so we're just going to add a little bit and I do want just a little bit so if I bring some here that's just that's so effective though a little bit and you, you, you see that balance yeah. of the, the black and you can over stamp so although I've put the numbers here with the oxide mm. just going to add a little bit mm. you make such a good point Joe, because it is that point I think when we start out we can be guilty as crafters, and I, I did it myself when I first started. You feel you have to cover every last yeah. scrap. I'm stamping everywhere. Blah, 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 blah. Don't worry about uh, leaving just that bit of space because you want to obviously showcase the background as yes. well. Yes, yeah, yeah. And it is that thing about, as I say, this is totally covered, but we still want mm -hmm. the areas of interest, but also some space. But we also want it to flow. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is the bit that I love and a lot of ladies are scared mm -hmm. of, and it's the black pen. Okay. Now, I'm just going to add a little bit of doodling here. Yeah. And for me, I always start in the corner, mm. and I just do this. If you spend too long thinking about it, it won't look right. No. What I like to do is make it look as though whoever receives this will not know whether I've drawn it or Pasha stamped it, made nice. it in a stamp. Yeah. So I do a little bit of what I call a heart monitor, mm -hmm. and then some of this, and then... Done. And so we'll just join mm -hmm. this up here. So again, if we start there, mm -hmm. and we'll just join that to there. Nice. Uh, just let everyone know, we are into single figures with regard to our happy hour deal. We've got the details at the bottom of your screen. I will keep you updated. But when I say fi single figures, I'm talking... Uh, uh, so if you do want to get a hold of it, next time I mention it, it will be gone. So I'm just going to show you very, very quickly. That is the happy hour deal. In its own right, it's been a very popular stamp. At that price, nine ninety nine. Look at what you were getting. So you've got sentiments, you've got your feature, your hero images in there. This one stamp alone, I know Joe said, is just such a fantastic stamp to have. Just that little bit of like a magical sparkle coming through. And that really nice real sentiments too. Yeah, it's fantastic. It is for nine ninety nine. that is a great buy. It really is. But say, uh -huh, and now we've got even less. So it's, it's going to go. It really will go in, in a few moments. So I've done doodling the corners. Mm -hmm. So, do a little finishing tricks, and these are the important thing to me. Um, don't leave it half finished. Yeah. White pen, and we're just gonna, and again, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about this. We can overthink things. I mean, on the one here, if I bring this in, mm -hmm. I would also colour this area, but I'm leaving it on this yeah. one. You don't have okay. to. You've got seven minutes, so don't, seven don't, minutes. don't worry. Roughly, thank you. So what Joe just wanted to show you, so here, just with the pencils, she coloured and lifted that area, and they just had yeah. a few white accent points, which we can see around. Okay. So again, just going to add some white. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is add the splats, the Tracy splats. And mm. this is all Tracy's fault. The Posca pen. Posca pen. Have to do it. Mm. And again, I'm putting the three together. Yeah. Try not to obliterate the image, and we'll yeah. get some around. And that's just enough to lift it yeah. without having too much. Again, remember the pizza thing. Yeah. Don't cover it. Less no. is more. Yeah. Other little thing I'd like to point out is mm -hmm. when you're doing something like this, it's nice to have a decoupaged, erased mm. image, but don't do it on the back because Won't obviously the right. back is going to yeah, sit flat. So a little tip for doing that, I'm just going to put these to one side. Mm -hmm. So I've used, where's it gone, the phone, which I have, uh -huh, there we go. And a little tip, you don't need to ink up. This is great for if you've got little scraps of paper. Yeah. So what I would do at home, just ink up the phone and then take the, the paper, the card, to the stamp like mm. this. OK, so you're really isolating. And yes, yeah. A, there's no need to ink up the whole stamp. But also, as I say, it's great for those little bits of card. Mm. I do do that with images. You know, it's like this one here. I love the plane. Yeah. So I have here, look. 
You know those days when you mojo, a lot of ladies say, my mojo's gone, I mm. want to craft, oh, I've got so much stuff, I don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. I often look at stamps and just do this with little areas. So and again, you can lift up. Yeah, colour it, cut it out. Everyone. Yeah, and then you've got your own embellishments ready for when you do make a project. So there is, uh, now we've got a different uh, stamp, this different option with stamp set, but same principle just lifting yeah. up that plane and so there's you can something imagine about that. making your own embellishments yeah love that uh 33.98 if you want to get that set and details are on your screen right now lovely so this is very easy to put together yeah. all i would do is glue how long have we got left five minutes five minutes i would glue that and then i've got a phone here mm -hmm. which i would decoupage on there And okay. then the inside, as I say, you post it notes. Again, you've got these mm -hmm. to stamp up. But I just want to show you a mm -hmm. very quick technique with stenciling, if that's okay. okay. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. Let's do it. Just to show the completed yeah. uh, inspiration. So, uh, Joe's showing you all the techniques. Just having a look here. And this is what you could be making for someone. Can you imagine giving this to somebody? Who would you give that? I think this is the perfect stocking filler or gift for any friend because it looks fantastic. It's a little, oh, it's a great way to share you up, but I guarantee, and I know this from a personal point, because Joe very kindly gave me one, I'm gonna use that, I really am. It's so, uh, it's funny, because the other day I had a call and they were saying on the call, oh, can you write down these details? I don't have anything, so this is brilliant. Just leave it by the phone, everyone will use it. Okay. So, just one little thing to point mm -hmm. out. Tracy often uses spotlights, which is where we use a circle. Yeah. What I've done here is made a panel. Mm -hmm. And again, that's very easy to do, and it just gives you more interest. So you spotlighted the whole area Almost. rather than yes. just yeah. taking yeah. up one area. So I've taken a piece of card. Right. And all I would do is get my ink mm -hmm. and then just... And I'm going for a slightly different shade of blue so I'm keeping it in the blue spectrum but mm -hmm. I'm using a different shade okay. and it's the same principle I would keep it in place lift it up mm. and also have your ink you want it more color here and then almost blend it out mm. so you almost want it to fuzzy the edge here yeah. okay. and then do the same on this side and we're just giving ourselves almost a, a spotlighted panel. Nice. Again, lift it up. That's a pro there we go. I mean, that is profound. Just adds an another Isn't that? It really does lift it. Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Nice technique. If you just wanted to lift an area, highlight an area, perfect. Okay, you want to show us uh, something with stencil yeah, you're saying? I do. It's just this cool technique which mm. um, I came up with, well, I probably didn't. There's probably loads of people out there that have already done it, but it, mm -hmm. it's new to me. Right. So what we're going to use, we're going to use this stencil. Mm. And first of all, I just want to go through, like we did before, a little mm -hmm. bit of blending. So we're going to blend two colours. We're mm -hmm. going to blend the green. And then let's go for... the blue when you're using a stencil like this don't go over the edge you don't want that line no. so I just want a little bit in the middle yeah so again blue green mm -hmm. same thing work over this middle bit now yeah work in this area and a minute and a half. right last little thing very quickly mm -hmm. right ink on here you know we can spritz it mm -hmm. well I thought what if we get Billy Brayer mm. what if we roll Billy Brayer then Oh. We roll him on there. How cool's that? Oh, I haven't seen that. No, well, before. I haven't. I mean, I dare say somebody's done it, but yeah. I was like, whoa! So it's another it, use for Billy. Having a little look, that—that's clever. There you go. I love it. So you've effectively turned Billy Brett into your own like stamp roller. Exactly, and you could still spritz this. Mm. Let's see if there's enough ink left. So effectively, we could get three prints out of one. Mm -hmm. oh, there yeah, we go. It works. And when that's dry, great for a background. 
That's a starting point. Love it. Joe, thank you so much. I've really enjoyed this hour. I hope you have it as well. And that's the whole point. All in create. Joe, I hear to inspire. And it kind yeah, of builds yeah, into yeah. the ethos of Hochanda in general. We want to place as much oh, focus on the demonstrations. All in create's fanatics page. We've got a Facebook yes. page. Yeah. People share ideas. It's wonderful. Share your ideas yeah, and inspirations. Because I know, Joe, you're, you're on there a lot. And oh, we'd yeah. love to see yeah, your inspirations. Yeah, yeah, Joe, thank yeah. you so much. Joe, thank we'll be returning much. at 12. And she's got another Bye. fantastic demonstration to share with you. So we've got a great hour coming up with Paul. Have a clarity Christmas party, our one day special, which has been busy. After that, we've got our fabrics with the Mill Shop Online, uh, and then we've got Apple Blossom Crafts. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam, and we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company, Sam is my sister, and we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different, but what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Hi, I'm Joe from the Mill Shop Online. Welcome to the Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Mill Shop Online shows on Hotanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. And you are um, watching our one day special. Hello, Paul. Good morning, Alex. Again. Again. We, Again. Have, to we have to say, don't you love Paul's shirt? Thank He's you. had like a million compliments <laughs> this morning, which is nice. You're never going to take that off now. No, no, I'll leave it on all the time. <laughs> <laughs> now, we are half the stock gone. I personally have never seen um, a Clarity one day special at, at half, half price. price. Absolutely not. Amazing. Normally, we bring you four for three or we give you a yeah. good saving. But in all the years we've been on Ho Chanda and I've worked with Clarity, yep. never ever half price. It's crazy. I oh, know. So what you are seeing are your beautiful colours of parchment. Uh, so we've got Wisteria Iris, Bottle Green, Cranberry Crush, Dusky Pink. Rich what? Plum. Thank you. Rich <laughs> Plum, Light Turquoise, Turquoise, Willow Green, Meadow Green. Primrose yellow, olive green, peach, nutmeg, pear green, apple green, petrol blue, smoky blue, midnight. Anyway, you get the picture. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be there can't forever. you remember all the others, Alex? No, I can't. <laughs> um, but you're also getting the folders. The folders, exactly. So you're going to get 26 different colourways, five mm -hmm. of each sheet, right. 130. Normally the parchment is a pound a sheet. 
If you mm -hmm. go onto the Hochanda website, for example, you could buy the Wisteria and Iris together. Yep. So you get five of each colour and they're nine ninety nine. Okay. Okay. On addition to that, you're going to get the two A4 folders that have 12 pockets in each mm. and they're worth twenty five ninety six. So okay. that is an incredible saving, isn't it? Half price. Please stock up, stock up then. So I'm being told if you take the price off the folders, yeah. it makes the par parchments just fifty one ninety five. And then if you divide that by 130, it's only 39 pence. So normally a pound. Normally a pound, yeah. 39 pence. So please stock up. That is why we are half the stock gone. And this is what you can do with it. <coughs> and then once you've got your folders, yep. you do have to fill it. But I think that's part of the enjoyment yep. when you open it up. So you can see you c it keeps it in nice, pristine c um, condition. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you can see exactly the colours that you've got. Absolutely. It's quite difficult holding them back. Do you want me to yeah, do that? Yeah, that's it. Is that <laughs> it's quite heavy, yeah. isn't it? Because it's so much weight to it. I know. And you can so see pages. all the beautiful colourways that you're going to get in there. So the majority of it will be filled up. You see I've done it back to back in the pocket yeah. to get the most use out of it. So most of it will go in the first folder. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is my photo. The, the, um, the orange um, squash. And oh, yes. um, the lime twist. Very really, nice. Really, really nice. Yeah. So that's in that folder. Okay. And then in the second folder, I've put the rest of it in there. Mm. Um, so if you want to grab that side again, it. Right. So we've got some more in here, um, the rest of the colours. And I'm going to be using this one. This is very violet. Oh, very okay. nice. Then in addition, I've got some of my, I've got more empty pockets, but I've got some of my clear parchment, yep. um, which people will have at home. And then we've got these fantastic A4 oh, templates I on know. the show. So these are great for storing in there as well. So this one is the star. Oh, sorry, yep, there yep, we go. the star there. Then we've got the cracker. Um, then we've got the Tudor house, and that comes with two borders. Mm -hmm. um, the cake slice, which comes with two borders. And then finally the box, which comes with four borders. And that's what I'm going to demo in this morning show. Marvellous. So this is a gr obviously great value, half price, and it's on Flexibuy. Two payments of £38.95. and pence. Six nine eight four six seven is your item number. Half price over half the stock gone. Uh, next up then we've got our Tudor house and border plates. This is phenomenal because I don't often see 3D parchment, but I think it's wonderful. It is, and, and we came up with the, the idea a couple of years ago. So on the main A4 plate is the Tudor house, yeah. but it gives you the outline of the house itself. So mm -hmm. then you can decorate it with whatever. But what we did, you know like when you buy something, you buy a kit or you buy a template and you get the instructions separately, mm -hmm. and then you'll use it and you'll go back to it and you think, where have I put the instructions? Right. The instructions are all engraved oh, on the actual cool. plate. Yep. So you're never, ever going to lose those instructions. See, that's really nicely thought out, that. But it, it, it just makes it easier because I've done it myself. I've bought templates before. Mm. They come with instructions. I put it away and I think, where did I put the instructions? Absolutely. I think we've all done that, haven't we? Uh, so this is your literally how you're going to score you it, trace out. it out. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then you can pico cut, you can use scissors mm. or a craft knife to cut it out. Um, and then obviously you can interchange with the different ones. So this is the gingerbread house. Fabulous. Um, look at that little gingerbread man. I mean, you could yeah. use them as like you could turn them into little earrings. Oh, what a nice idea! Couldn't you? Parchment yeah. earrings. You got 26 different colours there. Yeah. You could have all use different those. ones. Oh, and look. then what's great? Don't think just 3D because. Mm. You can use them for cards as well. Right. So Josie's done this one. Wasn't this like a church for a wedding? So um, beautiful. And that's using the starter kit, hills mm -hmm. and mountains in the background. Yeah. Then we've got this one from Gail Sydenham. Welcome to your new home. Uh-huh. Um, and I love this one. Another one from Gail. The yeah. gingerbread ring going around the outside. Amazing. And then you've got the little roof as a flap. And you could actually put a gift card or some money or something behind that. Good idea. But then if you do want to go 3D, because I'm all about the 3D project, this is the sort of thing that you can do. Great. So you could put your know, battery operated tea lights in yeah. there. We did have some in there last night, but they weren't bright enough oh, to actually enough. illuminate. But Catherine was saying she'd like to get the LED string lights mm -hmm. and do, and so they would be like the shades yeah, on oh. each of their things. <gasps> See, that's a good idea. So. Uh, Twenty-four pounds and ninety-six pence, but we are seventy percent of the stock gone. We don't have a lot of stock of anything, to be honest. <laughs> Eight three two nine one three is your item number. Uh, then we have got the box and four border plates. Yeah. All seventy percent of the stock wow. of this has gone as well. So basically, you've got a fourteen pound saving on this one. Mm. So again, you've got your A4 um, 
plate, which yep. gives you the shape of your box. Um, and then you've got the four different, five different designs in there. Then in addition to that, we're giving you four extra borders. Mm. So we've got the fuchsia floral border, the daisy floral border, the uh, Christmas pudding border, and then the robin border. And they all interchange. And again, these are great for little toppers on your Absolutely. cards or gift tags and, and mm. everything else. Oh, there we go. So we've got this one here. And it's just so you can see how they trace out. There we so go. So again, and what you can do, once you get um, more confident with the, the design, mm. like you do with the groovy system, Absolutely. Once you, because you've got the confidence of drawing out the line art, you can then extend the shape from the cube mm -hmm. into a toolbox. Like this. Um, and then right at the front of the counter, there's um, a black one. Oh, there. Um, yeah. And that's perfect for those mints you have after dinner. Oh, <laughs> I see where you're going. Good <laughs> There size. isn't any in there. I did check when oh. I took it out of the box. <laughs> I thought there might have been some in there from last year. But then you can um, do these um, lovely size boxes as well. £33.94. Item number is 170097. The cracker. Did you do this last night? Did you I say? did the cracker at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Yeah. Um, this is fun. A, a parchment cracker. How good is that? Again, it's just the pure elegance of it. Yeah. And as Catherine was saying with this, um, not just for Christmas. Mm. I mean weddings. Yes. And use them as the favours, celebrations, good christenings. Mm -hmm. um, so again, you've got the plate on there, and I showed you um, that there's three different ends to the cracker. Right. And you mix and match and choose which ones you want to go with. Ah, I see. Oh yes, so like so yeah. this one. So that one there that's got and you can personalise as well. Yeah. Um that was no, that was different. But that's different because you've got the um, fairy lights around there as well Cute. on that one. I um, like that a so lot. So it's just about mixing and matching the different designs. Absolutely. £15.98. Three quarters of the stock has gone. <laughs> uh, 778760. Oh, what have and you done you can here? Do a little card here. Oh, that's a so good idea. So that's just using the banner in the middle of the cracker. Yep. Um, and then just some other little embellishments just to, to decorate it. But Very you can also nice. make napkin rings. Oh, good I showed idea. you, an, well, I didn't show I showed you some samples mm. in the 8 o'clock show last night. Right. On Rewind. Excellent. Um, uh, so 1598 778606. Then we've got the star. This might be my favourite. This has been really, really popular. Mm. So you can make two different size stars. Um, so again, not just for Christmas. Um, you could use it as a mobile over a cart. Yeah. Um, you can actually put it on the Christmas tree. So this is using some of the colours and mm. other colours available um, from the one day special. But they're so robust. Aren't they? They're so fun. Put little presents inside. Why not? I just think they're great. But I was saying to you earlier, I'm amazed how sturdy these are. You know. Yeah, they are. Mm. It's all about the construction. Mm, very good. 1598 and then the final one yep. is the cake slice with the two celebration borders. Here we are. So this one has a £7 saving on. Yeah. Um, and we've got a sample just here as well. Um, so you can use it in the upright position. Yeah. Or you can use it as an actual cake slice yeah, as well. Yeah, that's nice. And I think, it, I think you do eight or nine of them. I can't remember now. I should have worked it out. But you can make an actual cake. I know, that's With so some good. ribbon around it and then these would be your favours mm, on the table for a wedding. That's nice. So you're getting these as well, your yep. little borders, so. uh, with some nice images on. So again, great for Christmas, great for celebrations, um, christenings, so many different engagement presents. I was going to say, I just saw that ring the there. Ring. Amazing. Yeah, that's a ring, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that is a blingy ring. Uh, £24.96. Yeah. £7 saving, as Paul said. 826405. Do call us on the usual number 01733602000 or check out on the website at hachanda.com. And now we've got a little bit more inspiration for you.
Now we also have a wonderful deal of the day which is flying out the door and we don't think it's going to last because um, these wonderful designer papers are now in 12 by 12, 12. yes, yeah. form. So this one is your Rainbow River and basically you're picking any two. But what would you normally pay for one? 17.99. Wow. That's what they are. Yeah. Um, individually. So what we've done, we've put these together um, with an 11 pound saving on them. Yeah. Um, and these are great not only for your scrapbooking but for your box construction. Oh yeah. Um, great using as inserts into your die cut cards. Mm, yes. Um, I think when I launched these earlier in the year, I made some picture frames with them. Um, so you've got four different options to choose from. You've got Rainbow River, get this Northern one. Lights. This is the original, right? Northern Lights was one of the first ones. So these have all been created by Barbara using alcohol inks and Upo paper. Yeah. And they all start off as a five by seven, and that's the size of the original artwork. And we brought them out as eight by eights. Um, then we brought them out in parchment, mm -hmm. eight by eight. And then we brought them in as five by seven card toppers. And people say, well, we want bigger pieces. <laughs> yeah. So as usual, we listen yeah. and we brought them out by 12 by 12. Okay. Then the next one, my favorite one mm -hmm. um, of the current collection is um, Indian Summer. Yeah. And you'll see that they're double sided. Oh, yes. They are 150 GSA, GSE, GSM, <laughs> um, and they're acid free as well. Look, oh, look at that one. Yeah. Amazing. And later on in the hour, I'm going to show you how you can use those papers on the groovy plate yeah. to create a box. That would be fabulous. Okay. I'd like that. This is your last one of the pick and mix, Shenandoah, this one. So again, that's more scenic. Barbara yeah. designed those specifically and there's landscapes in there. But I love that you've got the double-sided effect to it. You've got yeah. the soft tones and the, the more vibrant sides. Has she actually been there? Is that right? No. Oh, I thought no, she no, had. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just um, wondered. So, uh, no, the latest collection, which is the 8x8, which was my Mayor Falls oh. in Hawaii, and she has been there. Oh, okay, <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, £24.98 and pence for your two, pick any two of your choice. Uh, 377266 is I, your item I number. I think a lot of people have been going for all four because yeah. of such a saving. Mm. Um, so, um, yeah, and Christmas is coming. And if you think about it, you've got 12 different designs in each pad, yeah. and you've got four sheets of each. Absolutely. So, you could jump in with a friend and then have two sheets of each of the designs and split it that way. Very and good idea. And then you've idea. got a whole collection. Like that. Um, should we chat about your light panel as well? My light you, panel, yes. yes. So the, the lovely buyers here have decided to put this on a freedom discount. Whoop, whoop. So, um, so this is a, the newer version of the light panel. Um, it, I mean, it's lightweight mm -hmm. um, and it has three different brightnesses to it. So we go one, two and three. Yeah. Okay, and then off. So what that means is that depending on the environment you're working on, um, you can control the brightness of it. Yeah. Um, it doesn't get hot in the white area at all, um, and I use mine constantly. Mm. Um, so I've got one of those lap trays that's got a cushion underneath, yeah. in the living room, no overhead lights on, and it's perfect. perfect. And when you're looking at the colours that we've got in the one day special, mm. the darker the parchment becomes, the harder it is to be able to see the design of the groovy plate. Yeah. So for me, this makes a real sort of difference. Mm -hmm. um, so what I thought we'd do, we'd make a box okay. Okay, out of the parchment. And then at the end of the hour, we'll show you how to make the box. This is out of the designer paper, oh, it's which nice. is a deal of the day. So you've got that beautiful design on the inside, but that could be on the outside. Could be, you've got um, choices. And it's quite easy, you can use it with the light panel or without the light panel. Brilliant. So okay. if you want the light panel though, it's now 56.69 if you're a Freedom member. And it, I'm pretty sure it's on Flexi Buy. It and is. Good. Two payments of £28.35 and pence if you're a member. 436518. Marvelous. So we worked out in, I think it was the 6 o'clock show or the 8 o'clock, I can't remember now, mm. um, that if you was going for the one day special yeah. and you was a Freedom Club member yeah. and you put the light panel in, yeah. the first instalment is cheaper than the one day special. Ah, is it because it's flexi order? It's because it's flexi. Yeah. So, and it, I mean, obviously you've got the second payment to make. Yeah. Um, and I, I think they also said that the light panel is also, is it an any time offer or one where you're saving more if you weren't a Freedom Club member. Oh, the why not deal. Why not deal, yeah, that's, that's it. it. it that's is, it is, so, see, so there's lots of savings to be <laughs> had today. Because then yeah. you get free shipping for the rest of the month. Absolutely. I've been a Freedom member since the start. So have I. Yeah, yeah. yay. So, right, so where are we going to start? So the A4 plate mm -hmm. is obviously A4. 
and so is the parchment. Right. Okay. So I've got nowhere to attach my parchment to stop it Good moving point. around. I've forgotten about that. Okay. So I'm going to pop that on the light panel. And I was thinking about, I thought, how am I going to show this? Because some of them go right up to the edge of the, mm. the panel. Um, so we do the A4 square plate mate, the right. Celtic plate mate, which comes with the A4. Oh. So I thought, if I take this and I pop it, one end there, yep. and I pop the other one on that end there, that's now given me a bigger area to work on. Good. Yeah. Okay. So I'm using the um, very violet, very violet, the very violet <laughs> is not violent at all, it's very soft, um, to trace out my design. Now when we look at the parchment, you'll see that there's a, a bright side mm. and a soft side. In order to get the crisp white line, I need to have the bright side of the parchment facing me. Right. Okay. So let's pop the light panel on, and then we'll be able to see the design underneath. Okay. Yeah. So we can see that perfectly clearly. So I'm going to use the groovy tabs. Now they come in either with the accessories kit, with the groovy guard and the A5 parchment, or if you go for the A4 square plate, mate, mm -hmm. you also get some in there as well. Okay. So all I'm going to do is take my tumble dry sheet and just wipe over the parchment. And all that's going to do is allow me to, the tool to glide more easily within yep. the grooves. So at this stage I've, I can trace the outline and then I can use any other plate in my collection mm -hmm. to decorate it. Um, and what I'm going to do, just to start off with, just to show you how quick and easy it is. I mean obviously I've been using the groovy system since it launched four and a half years ago. But what I love about it is that you go at whatever pace you want to. Mm. See, I jumped out the groove and nothing happened. Yeah, that's good, because you, you worry that it might ruin the parchment paper, but it doesn't. So you can see here, it's very easy to do. So this one down here is the bottom, so I don't really need to decorate that. Mm. And you've got the full instructions engraved on the plate as well. That's so good, like you say, I mean, I'm forever losing instructions and it's really frustrating. And I think most of them um, have got like a, a construction diagram as well, so it gives you a little pictorial edit as well. That's good. Okay, we're just going to follow the design. I do love a good gift box. I think it's great because, I mean, you could, use, you could hang these on the tree. You could do 24 of these yeah. and have an advent calendar. Absolutely. Um, on the tree, um, on the mantelpiece. We do table presents at Christmas. Yeah, so these mm. are great. But imagine those crackers as you table yeah. presents. You oh, wouldn't want to open nice. them, would you? Hello. Um, so you'll get more in this, though, than you will in the cracker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. So that is the outline of the box complete. Okay. Okay. Yep. So if I hold this up to you, give this to you, uh, so we can have a look at the, the crisp white line. Mm, absolutely. On the reverse, so you can see how beautiful that looks. Very nice indeed. Look at that. That is super crisp, isn't it? Yeah. See, and for me, the light, oh, look, I missed a box in the middle. But that's not a problem. You can get I back can in. just line it back up because it fills back into the, the grooves. See, so that's popped back into place. Yep. Yeah. And then I can put that final panel in there. Okay. So if I want, I can choose the designs on here. I can do mm -hmm. all the same, all different. I love this one, the, the foliage That's on there. Nice. That's really nice mm -hmm. for any sort of time of the year. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to pop over to one of the borders that actually comes in with the, the collection. Because yeah. you're going to get four additional borders in there. So you've got lots um, with of the design. different designs. Yeah. So we'll pop that to one side. Okay. So I'm going to use the um, word chain border plate, mate, which we've got on the show. Yeah. And I'm going to go with the um, Robin border. Mm. And again, you've got one, two, three, four, five different designs really there. Really good. So I'm just going to, sometimes you get a little bit of movement on there. Because these are all laser etched, there can be a little bit of movement. So I just tape that in place. And now I can decide which ones I'm going to go with. And because I've put that square in from the box, mm. these squares are exactly the same size. Good. So I can line it up and not worry about and um, getting it in the wrong place. Now three quarters of the box and borders is gone. We've got it on screen for you. £33.94, and pence, a massive £14 off, 170097. Okay, so I'm going to go with the Christmas tree. And I need to say a big thank you to Karen Jackson. Oh, yeah. She's prepped all the demos for Aww. me because I was at the TV last week. and You've been busy. Um, it's been really busy. So if I use the number two tool 
in the from the starter kit or the 1.5 Pergamano tool. And what that will do is it will give me a softer image mm -hmm. on the front. So if I want to do white work in this, um, it will give me a softer so that they'll look more natural. Okay. Mm. So if I do some of these with the number two, and then if I swap to the number one, yeah. when I go in and we turn it over in a moment, you'll see the difference in the brightness. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can imagine doing this, you've got 26 different colours in the one day special. Yeah. Um, I mean, that'd be a big dinner party, wouldn't it? Oh, that'd be nice. You could do nice. a different one. And you can personalise it. You, yeah. I'm using the word chain border plate, mate. So you could put the um, people's initials on there. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I like that. The personalisation. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to trace out these here. It's going to go a little bit faster. Oh, that's all But right. I can automatically see the difference where I change from the number yeah, one. Yeah, I can. From the number two to the number one. Which do you prefer? Um, if I'm doing white work, the number two is definitely better. Right. Um, but I tend to sort of, we're going to add some colour to them. Okay. So the, for me, having the crisp white line. So if I pass this over to you, Alex, yes. then you can show that off. There we go. And we can really see you the can difference, actually. can't we? If I t I'll turn yeah. the light panel off. Look at that. And we can really see the difference where it's gone from the number two tool to the number one tool. I quite like that pattern. I might do one soft, one crisp, yeah, one soft, you could one do, crisp. Yeah, you could do a gradient, couldn't you? You could yeah. do the outside and, and like stuff that. like that and the middle. You can really sort of mix and match. Mm. So what Karen's done for me is she's completed all the trees um, in various different stages. Um, so she's already started to do some white work on here. Now again, when you're working um, with colour parchment, I like to be able to see what I'm doing. Yeah. So in the um, light panel that we've got on the show, you get the translucent foam on there. Okay. So if I pop that onto my light panel, and I pop the light panel back on, I'm going to go up to full brightness again. Okay. Now if I try and do some white work on here, I know mm. I'm heavy handed, yeah. and I'm going to go through it. Okay. So what we do is we take like a, a poly bag, and the, the plates have come in, oh. or the parchment, and you pop that underneath, yeah. and what it does, it gives more of a resistance. Oh, okay. okay. I haven't seen that. Yeah, and so if I use the Pergamano ball tools, see, and then what I can do, when you're doing a circle, I learnt this the hard way and then I watched oh, sort what, of the expert. You, oh, okay. If you go, you, you automatically think it's a circle and fill it in, you go round and round and round and round. Yeah. But you end up with a donut because <laughs> you get a little black dot. Yeah. So what you do is you go up and down, and then you go left and right. Yeah and then you go around in a circle. So that up and down and the left and right um, stops the dot from happening mm. in the middle. So if you want to get a really crisp white line, you would do sort of like one layer, and then you would let it rest for say half an hour, mm -hmm. um, and then you would come back to it and then go back in again. See, I haven't got the patience to let it rest, so what I would have to do is have several projects on the go yeah, so, so that you would come back to it, you'd yeah. work on one, yeah. put it to one. So that the A4 storage folders would be great for that, for mm. keeping them in place so they don't get all crinkled and dog-eared. Mm -hmm. And the cat sitting on it. And the cat, yeah, mm -hmm. or the dog in my coat, but got both. <laughs> um, so you just go through and then you build up. Okay, and then we'll turn this over and I'll hand this over to you again, Alex, so we can have a look sure. from the front and then we can see the difference. There we go. Ah, thank you. So you can see now yeah. how it's sort of starting to build up. Very nice, look at that. You can there really see that difference. You can see it, okay. One of the other great things with our colour parchment is that you can take the colour out. Right. Okay. So, because the, the colour's only been applied to one side, and mm -hmm. um, what you do is you take an eraser pencil and remove it. Right. So, for example, if I jump to another stage that Karen's done for me. Bless her, she's numbered she, it. I know, because she, 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 when you're doing TV, you can get confused. You oh, think, yeah. oh, which one am I going to? So, yeah. So, you can see here, that we can see that on the camera, uh, you've got colour yeah, in there. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, so how do we get colour in there? Because obviously if I put colour on top of this dark purple, mm -hmm. it's not going to show through, is it? No. So if I turn it over to the, the side where the colour's been applied, so if I take, let's have a look, we'll take the perga, 
Oh, I've got my pink bag here. So heavy, full of all has. the pens and things. So should we go pens or pencils? What do you prefer, Alex? Pens. The pens. Yeah. So the pens, we had this on a deal of the day last week. So Did I we? know a lot of people have got these. Ah, good. Okay, so let's go. So should we pick um, a couple of colours? Should we go for a pink? Yeah. We'll go for a red, green, maybe a yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, nice. So we'll pop that to one side. Now, if I take yellow, for example, and I apply some colour just up here, mm -hmm. okay, you really can't see anything. I'm going to give it up to you to sort of turn over so we can look at it in this. If I put, um, let me see, if I put, I'm going to put this around the outside okay. so we can easily identify on camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you see that yellow? Well, it's just like, too, sorry. Oh, it's yeah. like a dirty... Yeah, it is. You really can't see it, no, can you? No, no. Okay. okay. So then what we're going to do is we take a, an ink pencil, an eraser pencil, and we take out Have I given colour. you that the right side? Yep, oh, it's on the right side because the colour... See how it's sort of jumping out now? You can really see yeah. as I'm removing that colour. Okay. So th the great thing, again, about these designs is that if you're into your Pico cutting mm -hmm. and your grid work... Um, then you can incorporate that as well. Mm, I mean, you could cut these squares out and put another colour parchment behind it Ooh, with a different nice design. Idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you can really sort of build it up and sort of change it because mm. what the template's giving you is that shape. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So we can see there is a colour starting to come out. So now, if I take my yellow, now the pens are, are double ended, so I'm going to go randomly. So this isn't the muted side, this is the coloured side? This is the bright side, yeah. because yeah, because normally when you're colouring on parchment, you colour on the reverse. Right. Um, but now, because we've removed that colour, we can then reintroduce the colour, and we'll get a true colour rather than mm. that horrible, sort of dirty-looking colourway. Yeah, it wasn't very colour nice. <laughs> See, and then, see, this, I mean, this is quite therapeutic, just colouring these... It's nice. yeah. And for me, the light panel makes a difference as well when Absolutely. colouring in. So we're going to just put a little bit more colour on this. Okay. Don't forget the light panel is on a freedom discount. And your one day special is half price. I know, crazy. I know. Yeah. Barbara went, really? Are we really doing it half price? I went, yeah. <laughs> I said, it's a clarity Christmas bash party. Yeah. I said, so we need to do something special. So she went, okay then. <gasps> Are you actually having a party at Clarity? We will be having a Christmas get together. Oh, yes, that's nice. um, we've got a Christmas lunch towards the end of December. Mm -hmm. So, so now we can really see where that that colour has been applied. Yeah. Um, and then we will come over to this one. There we go. You can see that one there is all complete. Nice. And then okay. we've embossed. So if I pass this up to you again, Alex, yep. so we can have a look. There it is. Okay. And you can, if we put, should we put some white behind it? And then oh, you like. you'll be able to really see those colours come out. There we go. There we go. We're looking so at the coloured one. There we go. We've got some colour on there. Yeah. We can't, can you? You, it, you can here. Yeah, it's very... There, oh. Yeah, you can just see it. There we go. As you sort of angle it, there's yeah. some colour in there. Yeah. Um, because it's so dark, the, the parchment... Mm. There we go. So before I move on to the next stage, which yep. is doing the cutting out, should we do a recap? Yes, let's do this. I'll do my numbers. I'll leave my poncho behind. Uh, right. <laughs> I'm snuggling up because I thought, oh, I'm sitting down with Paul. This is nice. It's like being in, me, being in my own home, all cosy. Um, so have a look on the website. There's so much to see. You can shop by brand, of course. Uh, so do look for clarity. We've got so many five-star reviews. There are the pens that Paul's been using. Oh, yes, you can also choose your weapon of choice, whichever scissors you want to choose, uh, whether they be the Pergamano scissors or you've got the Perga cutter or the ring lock scissors. Totally up to you. Five star reviews on the Clarity pre scored scar, uh, pre-scored card. It's a, good, it's a good job that wasn't a swear word or something. Um, and then right at the end, we've got the deal of the day, uh, which is <laughs> somewhere, uh, which is you pick two of your choice of the 12 by 12 paper pads. Uh, Ross, have you got a favourite? Yeah. Shenandoah? Yeah. Which other one would you pick? 
Indian summer. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so you can pick two for £24.98. Half price. I've never seen Clarity do something at a full half price, but you've got it today. Uh, right, so you have got 26 colours. You're getting five of each, and you've got 130 sheets in total. Now, as Paul was saying, usually this works out at about a pound a sheet, but today it's about 51 pence per sheet if you take off the cost of... Oh, sorry, where did I get 51 from? I don't know. 39, way better. 39 pence per sheet. Um, and you are getting the two groovy folders they're worth 25.96 on their own so we've got an amazing price and then of course this is what you can be doing with it filling it up nicely uh, so we've got these beautiful colors look at these oh it's so lush and they've got that muted side and then the bright side oh i love that green that's fantastic oh and then we go through to some mossy colors and some limes a real assortment of colors peach nutmeg all sorts in here so you can pop it into your folders but then you'll have some left over well that's all right because you've got a second folder so you can put the rest in there like so and then you can pop in maybe some plain parchment and then you can pop your plates in that we've got on the show half price is phenomenal value at five o'clock this will be go no six o'clock this will be going back up to full price We've even put it on FlexiBuy for you, so it's so affordable. Two payments of £38.96. Now is the time to stock up because this is your consumable. And you'll be, you'll, you know, you'll be like, oh, why didn't I get it when, once you run out? And especially at this price, 698467 is your item number. Then the next one that we've got is the uh, Tudor House and Border Plates. Uh, we're just going to, I think, maybe stock, I don't know, um, we'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say. Um, right, so this is your plate, and you've, you've also got the two border plates as well. Yes, three quarters of the stock has gone, so do make sure you're checking out as well. Um, and then you can create 3D houses. How beautiful is this? So you can create your Tudor house. Isn't that cool? That's absolutely beautiful. Look at those, look at the detail, the doors, the roof, stunning. But you don't have to keep making it 3D. I mean, look at this card. Who's this by? This is by Gail. And I love there's the little, little flap of the roof. You could do it this way. Uh, this is also by Gail. Or, oh, this is by Josie. Look at that, it's like a little church. £24.96 and, and you have a £7 saving, 832913. Next then we have got the box and you've got four border plates. Um, now this is 85% of the stock gone. This is the one that obviously uh, Paul has been using. But these are great. Lovely little gift boxes. You can extend them as well. So you can see here that's larger. Mm, get, a, get a little candle in there if you wanted to. Look at sweet, and look at the detail that you've got because you've got all of those different patterns. Look at that. Perfect for your mints at Christmas. £33.94, £14 pounds off. Don't let these savings slip through your fingers, they're too good. 170097. Then we move on to the. It's a cracker. Now we're 80% of the stock gone um, and I love the different designs, absolutely stunning. You could put a little present in there, wouldn't this be nice for the table at Christmas? Oh, it's beautiful, just look at these designs, look at those, stunning. Uh, now this is 1598, item number is 778606 and then we have our star, I adore the star really easy to pop together now we're 80 percent of the stock gone and you've got two different sizes i would hang these from the ceiling pop them on a little bit of string hang them from the ceiling look at those aren't they beautiful 1598 079795 and we've also got another one now this is the cake slice so this is your base make the make the cake there we are look at that and you can make several and make a whole cake. Again, you can put presents in there, but that's not all you're getting because you've got your borders. 
Uh, oh, I thought I wondered what I'd done. I picked another one up. So you've got this border with all your events on, and then this border. So they're all coming to you together. Really nice. Twenty-four ninety-six, a seven-pound saving. Item number is eight two six four zero five. The light panel. It's on Freedom. We like that. Love it when you get a nice little cheeky Freedom discount. So it is $62.99, but if you're a Freedom member, we've dropped the price to $56.69. And you can split the cost on Flexi by two payments of £28.35. Item number is 436518. Do call us on the usual number 01733602000 or you can check out on the website at herchanda.com. How have we only got 20 minutes left? Where's that gone? Always. When we do parchment shows, it just sort of really, really flies. I know. Um, and I know we like to sort of break up about half past the, the yeah. hour sort of thing. Um, and But yeah, it does. And parchment takes as long as it takes. It does. It really yeah. does, as Barb says. Um, so we've decorated it as much as we want to. I mean, you can do more, you can do less. It's entirely up to you. Yep. And then obviously we have to construct it. Now, you've got choices. You can use scissors and cut around it. Really, really easy. I'm a craft knife person. Oh, right. um, so what I prefer to do is use the Pergamano ruler and a craft knife. Right. Okay. Now, what's special about our Pergamano ruler is that it comes with two A4 sheets of groovy grit. Oh, good. Okay. So on the back of this ruler, I put a piece of groovy grip. Okay. It's not sticky at all. Mm. If I take it off and I lay that on the parchment, see how it slides around? Very slidey. And I, I say it all the time, the reason we came, Barbara came up with the groove grip, because I was doing a demo on TV, mm. and I went like that with the knife, uh, and it slipped, oh, okay. and it cut into my work. Right. Um, so she did some investigating, and we found this. So we've just cut a sliver of it, just to pop on the back of the ruler. Is it on the website? It all comes, yeah. Oh, the wonderful. ruler. Yeah, it's got it on the screen at the moment. Oh, okay. So it's the ruler and the two A4 sheets of groovy grip. So now, when I pop that on there, it's got a steel inlay as well. It's not moving on the parchment. Good. A little bit of pressure and it doesn't move. Barbara thinks of everything. Hello, Barbara, if you're watching. So mm -hmm. then all we're going to do, so I prefer a craft knife on a glass mat, okay? Because although it will blunt the blades quicker, mm. you get a crisper, mm, cleaner cut. You can cut. see that. Okay. So we're just going to, I'm not going to cut all of it out, cause, but it was just to show you how easy it is to do. Now, some people are wary of a craft knife. There's no rules to say that you have to cut through the paper or the parchment first time. Yeah. So often what I say to people is just go f over the same place several times mm -hmm. and what will happen is that it will eventually cut through. <coughs> so yeah. you could do two, okay, and, I, and you'll feel it on the glass. There we go, that's gone through completely now. Mm. Okay, and that was free. So there we go. So what you would do, you could cut it out with your knife or your ruler. Yeah. Okay, so we'll pop that to one side, and then we've got one here that's already cut out ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just close the knife off. Okay. So if I put a black mat underneath, um, it'll probably be easier for people at home to be able to see. So the black mat comes from the starter kit. Okay, so there we go. So we've got that there. So then all you do is you then carefully fold all the different flaps in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that you do that, and it, it's easy to do. Um, so you're just going to fold it all into shape. Now, what Karen's also done for me, she's put a little bow on the top. Cute. Um, and that comes with from the um, Linda Williams um, embroidery plate, which we've got on the show. Yeah. And it's got several different um, bows on there. I've actually got one here to show the different configuration oh, of nice. bows. Yeah. Um, so we've got this on there on the show. Um, so this is great. You can put it on the crackers. Mm. You can put them on the boxes. Um, so you can see. So that's where that little bow comes from. Very cute. And um, it's just on top of the, on the box. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So you can see that. So now that we've we've done all the folding, what I've done, it tells you on the instructions where to attach your double-sided tape. Mm -hmm. So I tend to go with the red liner tape. Yeah. Okay. And then what I do, the easiest way of doing it first is if you fold the box inwards like that, mm -hmm. okay, and I'm going to use my one needle tool. 
Oh. And I'm going to remove that there. So if you hold that flat, and I bring that in, that will then line up more easily. Okay. Okay. So that's now given me all my four sides around the outside. Fab. Okay. Then I'm going to remove the tape from the bottom areas. Okay. So I've done it on those two there. And then gently don't press down, otherwise it will stick to your mat. Good point. And then just lift those off. And then what I find is the easiest thing to do is you just gently fold those in. If you bring in one side mm. and just press gently. Make sure you line it up. Bring in yeah. the other side yeah. and press gently. And then what you can do is from the inside, take a, your tool or a pen or a pencil and then just press down mm. on the, with the flats on the inside. Cool. And then that gives you your little gift box. Yay! Nice yeah. and easy. It's such a nice size. It's so sweet as well. But it's different to have it in parchment. I love it. And I do need to tell you that the this box and borders, good job you demoed this this morning, <laughs> uh, Paul. This is limited stock. As Yanis would say, the green is on the screen. <laughs> and you do get the extra four borders, four borders with it too. And that's got a £14 saving on it as well. Really good. So, so it's limited. So shall I show how to do the box out of the paper? Yeah. Right, be okay. Good. Because traditionally, what we would say with the groovy plates, you just use it with parchment. But if you want to get the actual um, shape of the box on paper, it's mm -hmm. quite easy to do, either with or without um, the light panel. Okay. Um, quick reminder of the deal of the day our beautiful papers that are at the front. They're 12 by 12, uh, they've po been popped in that form, and you can choose between. Any two of Shenandoah, Northern Lights, Indian Summer, and Rainbow River. Yes. I would go for, because we've got Northern Lights, I would go for uh, Indian Summer and Rainbow River. Those are my two faves. Well, didn't Yanni say Secret Santa yeah. presents? They'd be great for that. Sort of, it'd be a big one, wouldn't it? A yeah. Secret Santa. So, okay. So if I put the light panel on, one, two, three. Okay, so I can sort of see my design. Now I've got my stash of. So okay, which paper are you going to? What pad do you want to go with? Indian Summer, Rainbow River, Shenandoah. Well, Northern you really Lights. like Indian Summer as well, don't no, you? No, I'm asking you. Oh no, but I like Indian Summer. You like so Indian Summer, yeah, so we'll go with Indian, Indian Summer. summer. Yeah. Okay, so I've got my one here. So do you want to choose one, or should we just do one, two, three, and just one, go two, stop? three? Stop. So which one? No, I like that I do, yeah, yeah. Nice one. Okay, so we'll just carefully remove that from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so pop that to one side. So, do we want the pattern on the inside of the box or the outside of the box? Outside. You want it on the outside. Yeah. So, if we're going to do it on the outside, it's same as with your parchment. You then turn it over so you've got the softer side looking cool. at you. Now I've got the light panel on and I know the camera probably won't pick this up because it is too dark, but I can see mm -hmm. where the outline is, especially in the lighter area. Yeah. There we go, you can just sit there. But in the darker area it's a little bit more difficult. Okay. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a groovy tab and I'm just going to hold it down in one place. I'm still going to wipe with the tumble dry sheet, okay, because I'm still going to use the groovy tool. So I'm going to go with the number two tool. Wherever it's It's gone. hiding. You always lose stuff, don't you, at desk. Mm. And then all I'm going to do is push in with the number two and trace out the design. Okay? So it's nice. The light panel does help. Oh, so our box and borders have technically sold out. Um, and that's the one um, you're demoing with, Paul. That one's gone. Um, but uh, there we go, sold out. Thank you very much. So what we'll do is we'll we'll keep our day of the day on the screen. Day of the day or the light panel. Or the light panel, either yeah. or. You're using either. So you could put the um, the deal of the day and the light panel in the same basket and spread the cost, couldn't you? Good idea. And, and the one day special. <laughs> just put it all into your basket. Put it yeah. all in. It's yeah. Christmas. Um, the on the screen your light panel it also comes with the cover and the piercing mat as well so it's not just the light panel itself I, I, and I even love the cover because it looks so professional it's on a freedom discount uh, we've taken it to 56 pounds and 69 pence it's also on freedom two payments of 28 pounds and 35 pence 436518
Okay, so if you don't have the light panel, I'm going to turn the light panel off now just to show you how you can use it without. So turn it mm -hmm. off. So what I tend to do is I'll, I'll put the paper on top and I, I have a look at the design on where it's going to start. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the tool, even though it's sort of marking the, the paper on the back, mm -hmm. it's not marking it on the front. Right. So what I can do is I can feel it and then all of a sudden it finds the groove. Yeah. So I can go very, very slowly. I know what the shape of the box is going to look like. Mm. So I just go along and just find the groove. Now I know that there needs to be a line across there. So I'll just move the tool around. That's it. And fill that in. And then I know there's going to be another square in the middle. So I can just come down. There it is. I found it. And then you just follow it through. And, just, and because I've wiped it with the tumble dry sheet, Still the gliding. tool glides more easily. So I know that over here, there's going to be, so if I start at the line there, I'm just going to come in. There we go, I found it. Whoops. Jumped out, there it is there. And then you just follow mm. that line through like that. Excellent. And again, I know there needs to be a line across there. So again, even, it just takes a little bit of patience. Mm. And even though it's marking the paper here, it's not going to do anything on the other side. Good. So I'm just going to come across slowly, found the groove. Yeah. And then you can see there. So for me, this is, it just opens up, especially the, these templates, mm. um, because it gives you the shape. So you can have the cracker in the 12 by 12. Oh, nice. You could do um, the boxes. Cake. You could do the cake slices. And because you've got four different um, sheets of the same design, if you're yeah. going for, you could go for two of the same if you want. You could go for two of the um, Indian summer. Yeah, no rules. Um, so it's great for that. And you could do the star out of it as well. Mm, I love the star. So if I take that off of there now, Okay, and then if I don't know if we can, may not be able to catch it on the camera. If I give it to you, Alec, okay. I don't know whether the camera will be able, because it's so faint, whether it can pick up those embossed lines. There we go. You can just see it. Just about. Um, yeah. So again, then, all Look we're going to do, okay. yeah, yeah. And I d it's really detailed on that side, isn't mm. it? So we're going to pop that over there. So then I'm going to take um, my little pair of scissors, yeah. and then I'm just going to cut it out quickly with these. Okay. okay. I'll tell you what, while you're cutting out, I'll have one more quick flick through. Well, I'll tell you what, no, let me show you these samples because it's so nice to see how um, how good the papers look behind the fresh cut dyes. Aren't they pretty? They're look great. That. So you could use, that's using the 5x5 five five card blanks mm -hmm. and they were the dyes that Maria had on yesterday yeah. in her 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock show. Um, so um, you can Check those out on the website, and they were on offer as well. I think they were three for the price of two. Oh, that's good. Those dyes, nice. and they were brand new. And um, so I won't flick through, but you can see anyway. You can see. In fact, I'll turn them around. Um, so this one's Shenandoah. Those are all the different pages and all the lovely colours. That's Shenandoah. And then I don't want to ruin those samples. This one is Indian Summer. If I show you the back. And then this one is your. Northern Lights. And then last but not least, we have got Rainbow, Rainbow River. River. Ten Sands, love that. Beautiful. So you pick two of your choice, or if you want to, you can go for all four. It's totally up to you. £24.98 pence is the price, and £11 saving on this. Item number is 377266. Okay. So we're nearly there, just a few more sides to go around. But you can see how quick and easy it is to do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's great doing it in, in paper as well as doing it in the parchment. Yeah. So what you could do, potentially, is you could do um, it in parchment mm. first. And then where I'm cutting just outside of the score lines, if I cut just on the inside of the score lines, it would make it slightly smaller. Uh, so you could use it as an insert yeah. inside. That's a nice idea. Okay. So we'll pop that to one side. Now, as I was cutting out, I noticed I missed one of those lines out. So I'll mm -hmm. just bring the, that back in. Okay. But I can, so it was uh, that one down there. So I can then just pop that on there. See, and it actually falls back into the mm, grooves. You can feel it. And I don't, need to, um, I don't need to show anything on that because I know I can feel where that groove is. Yeah. 
Okay, so we can just see there, I've just popped that one in there. So then we're going to pop that out of the way and now we can do the construction. So fold in all the pieces. Okay, you get into sort of like a, a routine of Absolutely. once you've done one, it's so easy. You don't even know how you need to think about what you're doing. Okay, so we're just going to pop those in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then fold those in. And it's the the quality of the paper. It doesn't. Absolutely. There's no there's no ripping or anything. Um, and then I'll just put some tape on the areas as it tells you to do so on the instructions. Cool. And I'll just show you this while you're doing the tape because our star, yes, our star, this one is limited stock. There we go. So you're liking all of these plates. Um, so remember, we've already sold out of the Christmas tree last night and then the box today. We won't have anything left. And then you can make two different sizes of your star. 15.98. That's your price, 079795. Okay, so I'll just put the last bit of tape on there. I know often you have this high tack tape as a um, sort of when good morning or good day evening and seven and day savers yeah. and stuff. So it's really worth, especially for box construction oh, yeah. as well. So I'm going to do as we did with the, the parchment, remove that side there. And then we're just going to fold that over, bring that one in. That's in the right position. And then, see, the, another use for the one needle tool is that it easily removes the backing because it can be so fiddly hard to, to do that. I'm not going to press down over there. Just gently remove that. And then the same as before, just fold those in, bring one side over first because once it's stuck, it's stuck. Yep. Then bring the other side in. Then at the bottom, and then just use the tool just to press firmly on the inside of the box. And then you've now got Yay. a little box. That's you've so got cute. Two little boxes. Oh, I like this. I love the colours on it. It's really pretty. And it's nice it? yeah. inside as well because you've got the, the softer tones. Lovely. Have a look at the website for everything that we've got. Again, a reminder that you can shop by brand. So if you want to look for clarity, you absolutely can. I mean, gosh, the groovy system. Did you say four and a half years it's been going Four and now? a half years, yeah. About the same time as we have. Really? Yeah. yeah I didn't isn't think it? It, was, it wasn't far off. Yeah, I think yeah. Um, we launched this in the June, and I think Coach Hands launched in the August. It was, indeed. So, yeah, there yeah. you go. And loads of five star reviews on the uh, website as well for a lot of the product. The one day special, now as we opened the show, I said I've never seen a, a Clarity one day special no. half price. No. So, Bless you. I stifled it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it's going to come. Um, so we've got all of these beautiful colours of parchment. So you've got 26 different colours. You've got five sheets of each. And as we said before, normally, well, it, not normally, it is. Mm -hmm. You can buy the, a pack of 10 yeah. for 9 99 That's on it. the Hochanda website. Um, and then, for me, to give you the two A4 storage folders as well, mm. um, it's going to keep it sort of safe and secure. Um, and it will look nice on your shelf Absolutely. and you'll know exactly where to look for it. Gorgeous. Should we have a flip through your yep, drawers? Yeah, flip through. So this is the, the one that's got, I mean, it's so heavy as well. I know. Imagine we posting this out. Yeah. So, and I you're know. only paying standard shipping, aren't you, on this? Uh, well, if you're a Freedom member, you're Freedom. covered. Covered. That's it. So again, you've got some really nice sort of rich colourways mm. in there. Um, so this, the one that you liked was the teal. This is turquoise, the right. light turquoise. Nice. When you was flicking through. Um, and then you've got willow green and meadow green. Um, you've got the beautiful primrose yellow yep. and olive green. Oh, sorry. <laughs> then we've got the peach near me the and then nutmeg. the nutmeg. That's a really nice colour. Yeah. Um, then that's followed by the pear green and the apple green. The, I mean, the colours are the names of them. Oh, no, um, lovely. Then you've got petrol blue and smoky blue. One of my favourites is the midnight blue. Oh yes, um, rich. and the sky blue. Mm. So you've got a really nice colour palette, and then you've got that really zesty um, orange squash and lime twist. So that's all in it, just in the one folder. Yeah, thank you. And then in the second folder, um, we've got the the rest of the colours. That's it. So in here, 
we've then got the pine needles Ooh. and sage green. Yeah. And then we've got the periwinkle blue and the very violet. Nice. And then I've got some clear in there. And then star, is that gone? Yeah, uh, no, we've still got we've the star. We've still got the star. Hanging on, it's hanging on the star. Yeah. <laughs> the cracker. We've I mean, still got a little got bit a of that. Bit of the cracker. And the the Tudor house. Still got a some bit of that. that. Cake slice, we've still got that one. Yeah, but uh, not this but not one. that one, the box. No. And the tree's gone as well. And the tree. So it's not in there. Yeah, I took that one out because yeah. it's gone. Uh, thank you, Paul. Thank uh, you, Alex. Half price, and you can spread the cost on FlexiBuy for all of these beautiful parchment papers and the two folders, 698467. Thank you, Paul. See you at 1 o'clock. See you at 1 o'clock. More after the break. And coming up next, we've got fabrics with the Mill Shop Online. I've still never worked with Joe. What's going on? Then we've got Apple Blossom Crafts and All in Create. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Achanda guest demonstrators, all from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilise within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Everybody, so we have the famous <laughs> purple bucket. That it can is only mean one thing. Now, isn't it, it is a famous we purple bucket. We have to bucket. put it in a golden cart when well, it comes it, in. I, no, it's like literally, we need to put it on on the back of the team as they walk in. Like it's like having you sit on top as if you're Cleopatra. <laughs> can I introduce someone else who's very famous? It's Joe oh, Mill Shop Online. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Good to see you, Great yeah. to see you. Uh, for anyone who's not familiar with Mill Shop Online, I have to say you are one of the nicest people in craft. Genuinely, no, you know you're a good guy. <laughs> but look, the fact is, let me just put this here. Three Joe, hours. and this is why we love Mill Shop Online. This is a giveaway. Everything you are seeing here, somebody is going to win. To be I eligible, just make any purchase on the live show, and then uh, your name, put it in the tar hat, and then if we just straighten up. So we don't have to follow yeah. There's a lot, isn't yeah. there, in that? Name into hat, we will draw a winner at the end of the show. Should we have a little dip in and see? Yeah. <laughs> 
obviously a tote you, bag. Oh, has You've to be. You've got to have a meal shop tote bag. But I think, do you know what? We love to see the photos as well. The people, the previous I winners, yes. have been sending have you photos. Had photos. I think there was What's a last one. The lady tipped out on her bed. What? And there was stuff everywhere. It was I've brilliant. I've shared a king Absolutely size. brilliant. There's a lot of fabric. Look, look at this. Beautiful. Oh, nice. so we got, we got more. Well. That was here, flying fabric. Oh, do you know what? It's all about showing that love of craft because it's. We got leathers in here as well. There's leather in there. There's. Oh, look at this one. That's nice. Oh, there is. Look, there is something for everyone. Guesstimate. I know we can't put a precise figure, but we can definitely get in the ballpark. What, what are we talking about? Hundreds. Hundreds of pounds yeah, worth of fabric. Yeah. E easily in there. When you look at it, you've got organzas. You've got lightweight quilting got cotton. Wadding. It's in a bit there of everything. Well. There's a little bit of everything. <laughs> oh. As a crafter myself, yeah. you know, you go to craft fairs, you go to events, and that rummage element is the key. That you, all right, you hit the nail on the Just head. Rummage, it's like, ooh, what have I got? So when we get the box, oh, obviously this. we have that opportunity to have a little rummage. On please, it. please do share once you get it. The fun part will be just exploring all the different <laughs> fabrics, and you are getting generous amounts as well. We're not talking itty bitty scraps. That is the purple bucket. I know my mum will be at home crying that it's not hers. Well, every time, and we love your mum. Yeah. she loves watching. She, she'll shows. get some goodies. Don't worry. <laughs> every time. <laughs> uh, that's a purple bucket. Any purchase on the live show in the first 50 minutes, uh, then your name will be popped into a hat. We have got some exciting things on the show today. Actually, we're going to be focusing on a project. We've got brand new scissors as well. These are going to be popular. So those are the pinking shears nine inches and this is what we're going to be looking at as well a pick and mix uh, so effectively the essentials any two at a great price we talk about you quite a lot joe when you're not yep. around oh thank you yeah i hope it's all good it's all good can you, can you imagine we got me right. i can't yeah. believe that so joe. my ears <laughs> my ears are quite big so it's, you know, it's just no a... we, we talk about it in a good way because uh, we've got to give a mention to Lily, yeah. who is a big factor. You love crafting yeah, with your daughter. Yeah, no, definitely, yeah. And the reason why I mention you is because, say, on Good Morning, Good Evening, Ho Chanda, we talk about projects, actually. And you don't have to you don't have to be a sewer, because you can no, do no sew definitely. projects as well. But it's getting the most from your fabrics. Yeah, and I think that's the key. And everything that we try and do at the meal shop and, obviously, at home with my yeah. daughter as well, and I know my mum as well, we're, we're crafters through and through. Yeah. So when it you comes really to it, we, we love our fabric. Yeah. And at the meal shop, you've got various craft abilities as yeah. well and I would I would say I'm never the best crafter but I enjoy it and I think that's the difference. It. And you've got good imagination. No, yeah, I just have fun. I, We're not just me. I think you're a very good crafter. <laughs> now, I want to show you something here because I, I love the fact Mill Shop Online and Joe, what they've done here is bringing a bundle. So this is a notebook cover kit. Everything that you're seeing here you pick your design, so you pick your favourites, and then we've got a bundle for you so everything you need to make the notebook. So uh, there's the bundle. Just have, sorry, there's the notebook. There's actually, the notebook the example. Bundle. Yeah. I think the key is as well that it uh -huh. is that kit that we're going to show in demo, but it also is all the components in there we can do other things with. Yeah. So it is that versatility in the fabric. Mm -hmm. should we so have, when you talk about versatility of fabric, should we have a look at the design? Yeah, because there are some look. beautiful designs. Should we start up here? Yes, yeah, so we've got the teacups. I love it. Love that. That's so that nice. vintage sort of feel to it. Yeah, totally agree. We've got chickens. So love that. Now, and think about the person you make it for, whether it's yourself or for somebody. If you make it for someone, Definitely. you can reflect their personality. I like the chickens, a bit yeah. more rustic. Yeah, I know. That's my mum's favourite. What favorite, about a cookbook? So. Yes. You can imagine yeah, that in the that. kitchen. Yeah. That'd be very nice. Coming down here. We've got the vintage range there. Oh, for your fashionista. Yeah, so your vintage fashion. Nice. You've got your vintage. I l actually, this is probably my favourite. Well, that's your vintage Paris. Yeah, I oh. love it. So it's all the little details there. And we'll yeah. show those in demo as well, because yeah. they're really that's special, nice. really beautiful. You've got your hairs. Well, like, now that's cute. It's got a, it's got a little bit of a storybook feel to it. It has full illustration. Yeah, nice. And then down you, here now, the atlas. You got I'm the atlas. drawn to. I like yeah, the atlas. Yeah, and it, and it's quirky. It's a little bit different. Can you imagine that if you had uh, a scrapbook of your journeys or you know? Perfect. Yeah, I love that. Love that. Uh, we've Butterfly. got butterflies. That's just beautiful, dainty. Yep. That actually screens for a bit of embroidery on there. It as does, well. doesn't it? And I think that's the key that we can experiment and mm. really sort of go to town with the fabrics. Yeah. Uh, we got our little uh, putty cats. Little See, cats I love cats. There. Yeah, and it's nice because it's on a sort of linen look base. Yeah. So it's really nice. That's quite classy. And they're happy cats as well. The tails are up. <laughs> and these are happy crocodiles. Uh, happy crocodiles. They're definitely tails happy, up. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the snappy. There we go. So you've got your little. That's nice for younger members of the family. Yeah, or just no, someone who wants a bit of fun. As well. 
Um, this one's cool. Yeah, the hounds. That's actually, I love, it's got a, it's sort of like pop art. Yeah, it is. It's well. the colours, I think, as yeah. well. Lily's made a little notebook cover out of that, which we'll show that's shortly, cool. and that's nice, like that, that one. We've got the floral butter buttons. Beautiful. And again, you know what you could do is layer up a few with, you could sew buttons on there definitely. as well. Yeah, no, nice. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. This is nice. Yeah, the scissors, which I've used in my, my book there. Really classic. Um, yeah, really nice, the yeah. scissors. And then the penguins too, which is so cute. Yeah. You've even got the baby penguin. <laughs> so and Papa Penguin. To give it. you an idea of what you actually get as well in the kit itself. Uh -huh. So not only you get your choice of fabric, so you choose yeah. your designs, it comes on a lovely recycled so tube. Just to show you, and I love the uh, environmental stance. Yeah, of we, shop we on love there. it. And also it's nice because you can just pull your fabrics off, use yeah. them when you want them. And you're getting a general, we will go through everything you're getting, but I just want to give you an idea of the actual size uh, of the fabrics that you're getting, because we've kind of folded them up. Yeah, so sweet. I want to show you how much you're getting. Okay, so Let's each element. This. So this is, the, this is what you'll be getting. Obviously, you choose your feature fabric. What have we got here? We've got a lining fabric. Yep. Okay. We've then got our lovely fuser web. Mr. Okay. Fuser web right Mr. here, fuser everybody. Web. So a good piece of fuser web as well nice. with instructions. Just very quickly, I know we all know about fuser mm -hmm. web. Anyone who's not familiar with fuser web, how would we use it? We're going to show that. Okay, We're stay gonna, tuned. The suspense is killing me already. <laughs> Keep We've got our one. bonded interlining. Yeah. So this is our padded element, which we'll show in demo as well. Now you're a big fan. We have got this in the pick and mix as well. You're a really big fan of the bonded. Love it. Because it's kind of best of both worlds. It does. It gives a bit of weight to your project as yeah. well, mm -hmm. which is great. You've got your calico as well. Nice. So we can nice put that through the calico. printer. Put that through the yeah. printer, which we will do. Nice. Okay. You've got your hessian. So it's all these different textures. All and these different textures for layering. If you notice yeah. in my notebook there, I've used the different layers as well. Yeah. We've it's got also a real natural thrown in, feel. It has, and I love that. I love that natural feel, yeah. and that's why we wanted oh. to present it the way we did. You get a book. little bit of elastic. Uh -huh. And last night, God. Lily said to me, she was making her I notebook. I love this. So you can think, she said, Dad, Jenny, you can thank Lily for this. You, you, you've got to put these in. Yeah. So... As a little treat, as a bonus, every mm -hmm. single purchase of one of the kits will also get three meters of ribbon yeah. and a button. Okay, but they will complement the colours of the fabric. So you'll, you choose. you'll obviously coordinate what. This Individually, was a, I'm this was pick, a, a she's last, making me pick them out. Last minute edition. <laughs> <laughs> she's had a lot of work she has. to do. She says, Dad, you've got to give those. Bless her. But she's white. She says, I, I love this. You, do you know what's really nice? Seeing for someone so young, she's got that craft yeah, as mine. She has, she's yeah. like, yeah, we need some ribbon. We need. Good job, Lily. That is the <laughs> bundle, fifteen ninety nine. This is what you are going to be getting. But remember, any purchase on the live show, your name's got to put into hat, and you could be walking away with that fantastic purple bucket. It is one of the seven. What's well, the eighth wonder? The eighth of wonder. the crafting world. Very much uh, so. Something else that's going to be popular. We've got some heavyweight cottons for you. You know, we talk about. Um, sticking with that natural uh, feel of the show yes. today. Love all these colorways. This is why we brought them on. Yeah. So I love these because they are 100% cotton. Mm -hmm. They're a 54 inch width, okay, half meter piece. Obviously multiple per yeah. purchases, we'll cut it in one continuous length. Okay. But they're a really nice weight. So if we're making bags or we want to tone it in with our notebook, yeah. I actually... Oh. Oh. So I've loads work. of notebooks. Yeah, this so is I've used some of the cotton here to actually put a That's couple of my A5. Because as you know, I have my coaching head at the weekend yeah, for yeah. football, I've a crafting head. So I've got various different books. And I just made, knocked one of these up using the cotton. Oh, now look. Let's, we could put something on here like coach. <laughs> Can you imagine Joe standing on the field? Watching the team. We're going I to like talk about the football team. Well, that's that's how he stands, yeah. <laughs> literally. Uh, like Gareth Southgate. That's because you've got that durability. It has. It's yeah. so sturdy. It will last. Mm -hmm. I mean, I chuck mine around all over the place where it goes in my work van, where it's at home. Is that, I put my books on. I've just had a look at that price. Yes. You're choosing it? I know. I'm sorry, I just caught, <laughs> caught a look because we were chatting about, and we went through when we were prepping for this, but I didn't realise we are picking any two any for nine ninety nine. Any two. That is ridiculous. When you consider that this isn't a poplin, it's a heavyweight. It's a heavyweight cotton. So, so if you're bag upholstery, making, bags. aprons, covering elements, covering chairs, all those different things, but it is the naturalness that yeah. really combines in with what we're trying to show on the show. That is fantastic value. Now, what colour are we looking at here? So Jeff? this is the putty. Okay, nice name. Okay. And we go on. And then we have the honey. So you're picking in two. If you do go for one, though, then you get a continuous uh, run, so you get basically a metre yep. of, say, the honey. For nine ninety nine. 
normally you would be paying twenty one ninety eight, and I still think for fabric of this quality that would be a bargain. It is very much so. That, I love that honey. The honey's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that screen's to be used. Oh, then now we've this got the is graphite. Nice. See, I don't know if it's the guy in me or granite. That, I should say that granite. It's uh, this happens to be one of the most uh, popular options. That's very elegant. It is, isn't very it? Very elegant. And it's got a different little hang to it, so it's mm. almost got that heavyweight linen look to it. Yeah. So really, really nice. But it is 100 percent cotton. It's just got a real nice feel to it as well. That one. That's that's beautiful. It's lovely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, love that. And then and the last is the malt. Oh, I like the malt. Now the malt. It, it's funny because feeling the different fabrics. Yeah. There's. I don't know, there's something about it, a softness? Yeah, it's almost like a brush feel to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. a brushed cotton. But it's like I always say as well, no harm in using the back. You get a different tone to it. Love that. So we can two-tone on our different projects. But there's such a lovely natural weight of cotton as well. The quality, and this is something I fully understand. I know I say this every time I work with you, but you can't, with fabrics, we want to touch, we yeah. want to feel It's the our quality. business. Yeah. It's what we is. do. Look, what I would say, Joe specialised, Mill Shop Online specialised in fabric. He's truly passionate about it. I've got to know you've worked with me for years, so I consider you a friend, not only a colleague. Yeah. And I know you would okay, never bring. Oh, now, no, well, no, the reason I want to say that is because you would never bring anything here unless you were 100% happy. No, definitely. With it. And you really wouldn't. But it's what we use every day. As well. You, you we know use your it. fabrics, and I know I, I understand we're shopping t TV, so you might be tuning in saying, "Well, oh, they're going to be passionate about it." But it's nice to do a show with you because I know instantly, Mill Shop Online, whether it's these shows or Good Evening, Good Morning Ho Chanda, sometimes we feature fabrics. Yes, yeah. The quality is there, and you know I'd never say this unless I meant it. But when you get these home, and we are very busy for this pick and mix, as sewers out there or anyone who loves their fabrics, you'll understand that for fabrics of this quality, you would be paying the twenty-one ninety-eight. Mark. Oh yeah, it. no, maybe, massively. Maybe more. Yeah. Nine ninety nine for two half meters or one meter of your favourite is fantastic value. Busy for these. Uh, three eight one nine eight zero item number. Something else I think we're gonna be busy for. Brand brand new. So we've seen scissors yeah. before, but now we've got let me show you everyone Look here. At these. We're talking Mill Shop Online pinking shears. Love those. Should we just have a little s snipper though? Yeah, should we have a little play? Let me just show you. You want to have a little go? Well, I tell you, I'll let you go first. And then yeah. I'll, I mean, I trust them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared so, to use them. We produced our scissors because we yeah. wanted something that was quality yeah. that we use every day. And obviously, cutting the amount of fabrics we do from heavy weights to lighter mm. weights, we needed good quality. But obviously, I craft a lot. Yeah. So it was like, right, put our heads together, let's get some good pinking shears. Mm. So we've gone for a, a medium tooth pinking shear, I would say. <sighs> All that noise as Ooh, well. I tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be really quiet here. But I'll, yeah, yeah, that's it. Let's just. Oh, oh. It's good, that's isn't it? quality. <laughs> Do you know, they they feel quality when you pick them up. You know, sometimes if you ever picked up, because the price point I think is extremely good. Yeah. Nineteen ninety nine for scissors of that quality. Have you ever picked up scissors? Obviously not your own. <laughs> you know, picked up scissors and they kind of feel a bit light. Yeah, very much so. Got, mm, yeah, not so sure and, and it frustrates me because you do see. You do see scissors on the market that yeah. really don't do the job, yeah. you know, and you, they brand themselves as the fabric scissor. But the beauty of these are that they've got a nice medium tooth there as well, and the pink. And I, yeah. I just love them. So just finishing details on your craft projects, mm -hmm. using your mixed media from fabric to card, Perfect. they're really, really good. And obviously, just for anyone who might be new to uh, using fabrics, the virtue of the pinking shears as well. So if you want to stop an, an edge from fraying, would it this help? This is it. Yeah. yeah, definitely. You can see straight away. Obviously, there's no raw edge, no fraying mm. on that side of that calico. Yeah. Uh -huh. Joe, you'll be pleased to know because I know you haven't got talk back. We're very busy on those. Oh really? <laughs> do you know what? I'm, on a personal note, I love note, them. I, I'm I really, really happy because I know we. You've been when you've been coming in. We've been talking about this because they've been in development. And here's the thing: because we're going to look at uh, other scissors, Joe. <laughs> I'm just serious, wrong. Well, you might be having people chatting to you about the really. white cotton. Um, <laughs> these have been in development for so long, and this is something you haven't just suddenly thought, oh, we're going to bring these out. If you do something, you do it right, and that's yeah. a great ethos for the whole company. No, in definitely, general. yeah. I mean, we do experiment it's, it's because we use it, and I think at the mill shop, because we use so many different weights of fabric, yeah. you know, it's a good quality range that we need good quality products, whether it's our own range or whether it's the prim iron mm. that we use. We yeah. use a lot of prim stuff because it is quality. 
you will feel that when you get these home. <laughs> they, are, they are very, very good. And if you were to invest in these, remember your name goes into a hat. So uh, any purchase on the live show, your name goes into a hat and it could be you walking away with that purple bucket. But what I will say is these brand, brand new, they are popular and they deserve to be popular. You're saving five pounds for a brand new product. Eight, six, seven, six, nine, seven, your item number. Uh, let's just show you the essentials. It's a pick and mix. We're going to go and just show you pictures here. So have a look. Any two uh, on here. Now, what, what uh, Mill Shop Online and Joe have done is these are the essentials. These are the elements that you're going to want to make sure you've always got in your stash. So whether it's the deluxe interlining, uh, we've got the pre-shrunk interlining in there as well, wadding coming up. Uh, we've also got the uh, cushions as well. Now these are great, put cushion pads uh, coming through. If you want the fuser web, uh, you can get the fuser web too. So just pick your favorites. You're saving three pounds, but it's a great way to stock up on essentials. And that is the real key. These are elements that we use and use and use. 617-182, your item number. Okay, now we are going to be having a little bit of a play. What are we going to do? Have a little play. Yeah. So I've got one of my notebooks. Okay. Um, and the the ethos of the project was really to sort of jazz up those notebooks. We've all got them. You know, they're yeah. everywhere in my house. My wife does smoke because I leave them all over the place, and they look a bit untidy. So we're going to jazz them up with this little project kit. This is nice because you can really personalise. And the thing is, you can buy a reasonably priced notebook. Yes. And they look okay. Well, actually, they they just look what? very very standard. Okay, like that. you, look, that's it. Okay, it's not very exciting. But yeah. when you suddenly put a cover on there, and it's something that you can take off, put on another one as well, you're personalizing, it's this very giftable. It. Yeah, and I think it's that time of the year as good. well. A lot of markets, a lot of craft markets, trying yeah. to raise some money as well uh -huh. for charity. These are a really simple idea that can raise a good money for charity, yeah. something you're going to have fun with. And like you say, it's personal. This is nice. So, this is my kit. Yeah. So, I like to say kit. In, a lot of people say to me about instructions and mm -hmm. things like that, but very much so that you can use this for any idea, any concept. Yeah. So it's not just about doing this, it's about using it as well. But you get a lot in there. Well, you, I'm just looking at this. You do get an awful lot in here. And to think, if you were to break up the individual elements and buy them separately, you would pay a heck of a lot more. Yes. Yeah, very much so. So we've put all those little bits in there, Yanis. So you've mm -hmm. got your fuser web, mm -hmm. your bonded interlining, yep. your calico. I've chosen. Chickens. Features. Love that. Feature yeah. fabric. So remember, you get the choice in this kit of what feature fabric you want. And Hessian. Nice. Obviously, Good with textures. your elastic. Yeah. Lily is then uh, commanded that we have the ribbon and a button. Lovely. Okay, so, but we will pick those to complement the fabric. Mm -hmm. I just want to show before we start the two vintage ones to just to give you an oh, idea nice. of the size, yeah. but also the designs. So this is the vintage fashion. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is nice. stunning, isn't it? That All the actually detail. works so well because you've already got a montage of images. And that works beautifully for a notebook cover. Definitely, because of the size as well. Mm. And then we've got the vintage Paris as well. These are my two favourites. Mm. Absolutely love these. But it gives you an idea of the size that you're getting, so it will comfortably cover your notebook and a little bit more. Same principle. Now imagine doing this. We're showing it on a notebook, but here, because you can, you've, we've got crafters who, paper crafters, soft crafters. Yep. What about something that's very popular here at Ho Chan, and making our own albums, so memory albums, scrapbooking? What about putting a fabric cover on there, yes. and then inside you're sort of, it's playing yeah, with the two no, disciplines. definitely. I mean, that's the key, because you've always got little bits and pieces we collect from shows and different yeah. things that we can put in there, yeah, nice. and we can do that with this. Okay. So what we're going to do first, we're going to get our bonded interlining. So the bonded interlining is, like I say, one of my top, top, essential favourites. Yeah, you really, really like this. I so really like this. You've got your lining in there and it's a super soft uh, yep. lining and then you've effectively got... So you've got a finish yep. and you've got a fluffy side. Yeah. So it's two layers together, bonded mm. together, which will give you that weight and on a notebook gives you that structure. depth and yeah. structure. Yeah. So what we're going to do is get my notebook very, very simply. I'm going to turn it over so we've got the finished side and I need the size of my notebook. Okay. That is fantastic. Well, I know I'm getting ahead. That's Lily's one. There we go. That's where Lily. the button and the uh, Lily, that is bits and so pieces come good. from. <laughs> this is what Lily's made. I think that is fantastic. Now imagine Lily rocking up to school with that. Oh, no yeah, one definitely. else is going to have something like that. Yeah, she, she's a stationary queen as yes. well, so she likes a little bit of stationery. So what I've done first uh -huh. is literally just mark the depth of my book. Yeah. I'm going to cut it out 
obviously keeping all my little extra bits because we'll always use them. Look at these scissors. Now we have got these on the show. I know we've been focusing on the brand new Penking shears, but at the moment uh, Joe's using that has to be the 12 inch. That's my 12 inch. That's the 12. Look, I that's expect nothing less inch. from you. <laughs> but we have got different um, sizes. The scissors. Are, do you mind if I just show everyone those? No, no, sure. Very Joe. There we go. So, oh, do you know, instantly the first thing you'll notice is the weight. It's it's a comfortable weight. I, I would say, I'd say. Class it as a reassuring weight. You want that <laughs> yeah. weight because it gives you that beautiful cut. 12 inch scissors, and look at the price $24.99. And the quality of these scissors. Now, you've kept the price low because these are your scissors. They are, and, and I have to stress that mm. obviously, I think we've had these out for about six months now. Yeah. This is still my original pair. Wow. So I haven't sharpened them, haven't done anything to them. Literally, they're in my pouch or on my desk. That's it. The quality. See, I think you would see if you of this scissors of this quality, you would pay an awful lot more. So please don't let the price. I think the price is is a great price, but the quality of scissors are yeah. exceptional. They Twelve are, yeah. inch, you will not regret that. I'll hand those back. No, they you're are welcome. Seriously good. Just don't let anyone <laughs> get them and yeah, use like, them. Paper like I've crafting. said in the past, don't go on the school run with your yeah. scissors. So oh, I'm just yeah, going to trim that. that edge. Uh -huh. Okay. So all I've done is wrapped it around my book. Yeah. Okay. Can I see the size? I'm going to let you mark it through, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I've marked it there. I'm yeah. going to cut that last line. Nice. Okay. Nice and simple. Okay. Beautiful. There we go. So I'm going to choose my chicken fabric. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got the lovely chickens. Nice. Okay. I'm going to pop my fabric down and my yeah. bonded interlining. So obviously we're going to see a little bit of the inside of the book. Mm. So we don't want the fluffy side facing up, mm -hmm. we want the fluffy side facing down. Nice. Okay. And I just want to centralise it. Okay. To keep it central, what I'm going to use is the lovely Mill Shop spray adhesive. Mm -hmm. I don't need a lot of it. Okay. Okay, just a little bit of a... Now we have got this on the show. Okay. Would that also be quite good if you are doing a plique, just to get it on there and then you can sew um, around? It's quite heavy duty. Oh, it is so, heavy duty. Yeah, okay, I'd so use no. it more for this type of project, okay. um, for mixing in card as well with yeah. fabric, it's good, or upholstery and things like so that So it's well. more of a permanent? It is yeah. more of a permanent. Okay. okay. You let it dry for a few seconds mm -hmm. and then we're literally going to centralise it to our fabric, nice. like so. Yep. So we've got proportions all the way around, nice and simple. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Just make sure we haven't got any creases. Okay, we'll give that a little lie in. There's nothing worse than a crease in our fabric. Yeah. Okay. A little f thread. A little thread. Gets everywhere, thread. Mm -hmm. So, also in our kit, we've got our fuse web. Now, this is very. Now, anyone, this might be your first time seeing Joe. Joe <laughs> is known as Mr. Fuse Web. Well, that this is your title you gave well, me. Well, it's your so superhero you're alter ego. ego. All I'm going to do is cut some uh -huh. strips of my fuse web very, very simply about half an inch to an inch, it could be mm -hmm. smaller. The, s the key is the fuse web is so powerful yeah. that I use it for pretty much anything. So it will stick your fabric to fabric, it will stick your fabric to card, it will stick your fabric to wood. Very versatile. It is versatile. So I'm cutting two little strips from my pack. Right. So I'm not wasting anything. No, you okay. get an awful lot. Uh, can I just say I'm so sorry if you're currently stuck in a queue. We have got queues on our phone lines. Fastest way to order if you do want to jump the queue is on our website, hochanda.com, or use the Hochanda Go app. If you prefer to speak to someone, that's absolutely fine. We'll try and get through to you as soon as possible. But uh, yeah, please bear with us. Busy hour. So and what any I've done, purchase, you get into for the puppet. Very, Sorry, very right. simple. I've just yep. created a little hem. Okay. So being the height I am, obviously, my yep. trousers used to be have to be pushed up. Okay. Six, so this six is foot the, eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. It's, it's, it's a burden being this tall. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to use our little strip of fuse web on the yeah. end of our fabric, nice. uh, basically to create a nice hem yeah. so we haven't had to sew yet. Mm -hmm. We will do some sewing, but yeah. we don't have to do any sewing at the moment. So we're creating both sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice and simple in there, making sure a lovely little line is nice and hot. Mm. I'm going to have to get myself a utility belt soon, I think. <laughs> Fuse the web, we said about this Fuse before. Fuse the web, Iron. you've got your scissors. Now, now the pinking shears. Pinking shears. <laughs> just think Batman, other superheroes are available, but think Batman, but just with ability to obviously make some fantastic projects. So we're going to pull our paper layer off. Uh -huh. So you will find on your fuser web, you can see it there, it's got like a Gore-Tex yeah. glue and a paper side. Mm -hmm. Don't obviously iron the glue side. It's really important. <laughs> do not do that. Okay, so we're going to peel those sides off. It's a shiny side down if you're ever in doubt. 
experiment yeah. with it. There is instructions with your fuser web, but mm -hmm. just have a little play. Yeah. All I'm going to do now is turn my edge over because we're not going to see that inside edge. We're only mm -hmm. going to see the outside edge. Okay. And we've created a nice little hem nice. that has a finished edge. So no sewing? No sewing yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly the same on this side. Nice. Uh, by the way, if you are looking at the iron, the prim iron, we have got that uh, on the show. It is a very good iron. It's yeah, effectively from mini iron. It's got the strength and the heat capability of a full iron. There's a steam. For I was amazed that you also get the steam function. Yeah, it's really well. good. I mean, to be honest with you, if you had to iron your shirts, it, it would do it, it. It's brilliant, it yeah. really is. Not the same that I do iron shirts because I'm not very okay. good at it. I, will, I have used a small <laughs> iron to iron my shirt. Ah, there we it go. Very good. <laughs> that price, $35.99, is very, very good because it, it's not been for a while, but I remember um, this would have been actually over a year ago I was in a department store and saw the very same iron for about fifty pounds. Yeah. So yeah. in department stores and you might be thirty five ninety nine is very good. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna mm -hmm. flip our top and bottom up. But we don't want to fold it right up to the bonded interlining. We want to leave a little bit of a gap, I'd yeah. say about a quarter inch. Yep. So I'm going to fold it up and just feel for the edge of my bonded yeah. interlining and then feel that edge. Mm -hmm. So because that's going to be our sewing edge. Okay. Okay. So we're literally right. going to fold that up like so. Nice. Okay. Make sure there's a little bit of a gap there and iron that down. A lot of sewing and a lot of sewers, good sewers, not myself, would tell you that a lot of sewing is about the ironing. Mm. The actual sewing element is quite quick and relatively easy, yeah. unless you break the machine like I generally do. But it is about how we get our getting crisp lines. Yes. So getting that line nice and crisp, okay, nice and secure there. We do exactly the same at the top. It's funny, we do hear that a lot actually, I guess, coming in. Do you know someone uh, who really endorses a good press is Pat from Totally Patched? Uh, and she'll say, yeah. like, don't when when you're doing quilting and working on your blocks if you're pressing out your seams don't iron it you're literally just down and pushing away you're just pressing them but you do need a good iron to do that you do yeah and I, I just the versatility of this and how mm. comfortable it is to use so there I'm gonna feel along there that I've got a mm. nice little edge that's not straight onto my bonded mm -hmm. it basically gives us a little bit of room for our book okay okay so nice and simple and then we're going to do exactly the same on this end. This can go right to the bonded interlining. Oh, this is okay. good already. So we're going to pop it to there. But this is so achievable. It really is, and I think that's the key. It's about having fun with it, experimenting. Okay. Do you know, I would totally do this. Yeah. Easy. Seriously, I would do Easy. this. Easy. If I can do it. Wow, <laughs> you're a talented guy. But what I do like is sometimes a lot of us struggle with. A, a, I fall into this trap, and I know. And talking to you at home, uh, uh, events, live events, a lot of our viewers say this: it's finding the inspiration, getting that mojo. It, yeah, so definitely. This idea is great because you've given us a, a really nice way to use the fabric, and it's using them in different formats. Yeah. It's going, what can we do with it? So before we do anything else, I'm just going to open them up. I'm going to have a little look at my notebook. Okay. Just before we get the actual sewing machine out. Okay. And just have a little pretty look. Good. It looks pretty good. Okay. And that yeah. is ready for the next stage, which will be on the sewing machine. Nice. So. Would you mind, had a quick recap, yes. got back to you? Yeah, All no right. problem. We will be continuing. If you've got any emails or any questions for Joe, he is on. Uh, he is here live, so we'd love to speak to you. Studio at hochanda.com. Uh, Joe, I'll be quick and get straight no back to you. Uh, let's jump online and have a little look. There's loads of goodies online. So uh, what are you going to be popping into your basket? Uh, maybe you've got your eye on the brand new pinking shears. They are brand, brand new. They have been very busy. Uh, I have to say, quality, the scissors, any of the scissors you're seeing here, well, actually, the ratings speak for themselves. So you can see there, five star reviews, five star reviews uh, there. We've got, actually, five star reviews everywhere. And if I was to give Mill Shop Online a star rating, they would definitely be a five star company for me because you can see how passionate Joe is about the, um, no, can I just say, not out of 10, out of five. Because that would have been terrible. Can you imagine if I stood here and say, yeah, there'll be a five out of 10. Not at all. They are a five out of five star company for me. Uh, so just have a look at all the goodies online. Right. So what we're focusing on, we've got actually something for everybody uh, right now. Any purchase, and this is really important, any purchase you make, your name goes into a hat. Somebody will be winning the purple bucket. Where is the purple? Joe, could you, could you just show me the purple bucket? Very good. Sorry. I'm going to be really quick here. Watch your back. Lift with your knees. Here we go. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. I'll just show you really, really go. quickly. This 
is the purple bucket. This is what someone's going to win. Everything in here, we are talking hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of fabric in there. Somebody's going to be winning this. So I know it's a bit of a mishmash at the moment, but honestly, it is such a good giveaway. If I pop that down, do you know sometimes you, we talk about um, like, a, like a lottery, a general lottery. I'm not naming any specific one, but normally with lotteries, you've got like one in, say, million chance of winning. Not the case. This morning, this hour, somebody, and it really could, and I mean this, could be you walking away with that purple bucket. So let's just have a look at... Uh, this bundle because remember any purchase you make your name goes into a hat I'm actually out of breath lifting up it's like it's quite heavy your name goes into a hat and then we pull out win at the end of the show for that purple bucket so what Joe wanted to do here is to give a bundle for everyone to get the most of these fabrics so you can make the notebook cover we've got all these different options you just pick your favorite so whether it is the teacups we've got the chickens in there as well down here we got the, I love the hairs, that's cool. Vintage Paris, do you know what I was thinking with the hairs? If you had a notebook with watercolor paper, that could be a sketchbook. How great as a cover for a sketchbook. There's a vintage Paris. Yeah. Then we've got the vintage fashion. Both of those are phenomenal uh, as notebook covers. Uh, down we have got the Atlas, which you can see. There's the Atlas. Then we've got our butterfly. Cats. Then we've got Snappy, which I think is quite cute. Uh, down here we've got our penguins. Then we've got our scissors. I like the floral with the buttons. And then we've got the hounds. Actually, I really like the hounds. I think the hounds, I'm joining Lily on that one. That could be my favorite. So here's the thing. You pick your feature fabric. And after that, this is what will arrive. So here you're seeing, uh, this is our vintage, um, where are we? Our vintage fashion. But you've got everything you need from your interlining in there. Oh, sorry, your, um, it's not the interlining. It's the, which lining is this, Joe? Bonded. Bonded lining. It just, it just escaped me there. So you're getting your calico, you're getting your hessian, and then you're getting uh, your fuser web. So everything you need to do this project. You pick it, $15.99. But do you know what I like about this? If you were to buy all the individual elements separately, so say a half meter of the fabric, then getting your fuser web, then getting your calico, then getting your bonded lining, you know, it racks up. But here, you've just got a fantastic bundle, $15.99. Any purchase, your name goes into hat to get that purple bucket as well. So, oh, I've got to tell you as well, because of Lily, we're also, I say we, Joe is going to be uh, making sure that you get three meters of ribbon and a button. These will be color coordinated with whichever choice uh, of fabric that you pick. So that's one option for you, 724-498, your item number. We've been so busy for this. This is a pick and mix of our heavy weight fabrics, and they really are heavy weight. At that price is exceptional, because one thing you'll appreciate, I mean, you can see it, but you have to feel it, the quality of this fabric. This is the putty, all very natural colors, beautiful fabric so what I mean on a for a bag fantastic because because it's a heavyweight hundred percent cotton as well it's got the durability it's robust it will last so if you are using this for a bag uh, getting a lot of wear out of it it'll be absolutely fine so that's a putty then we got the honey <laughs> half the stock of the honey has gone look at that beautiful beautiful fabric so there is your honey now again if you were to just go for the honey maybe you're like look I love the honey this is the one I want 9.99 uh, so you're picking two half meters of the honey and it will come as a continuous meter uh, now we've got oh, I like this this is the graphite two-thirds of the stock of the graphite have gone beautiful beautiful oh, look at that yeah, actually, I always say that you have to feel it, but you can see the quality there. So that's your graphite. And then finally, we've got uh, malt. Those are your choices. Pick a mix. You can pick two half meters, or you can go for a full meter if you want. The choice is entirely yours, but really good quality. $9.99 your price, 381-980 your item number. For $9.99, your name goes into a hat for the purple bucket. You could genuinely win. Something else that's great value is our deal of the day. Take a look at this. So deal of the day, it's popular. Uh, and how good was a uh, nine o'clock hour with Paul? That's our one day special. It is clarity. And if you want to get the most out of uh, your 
Clarity, we have got the deal of the day. We're talking Clarity 12x12 designer paper pads. Uh, so you choose any two for $24.98. Monster saving of £11. Considering these are 12 by 12, 48 sheets, double-sided in total, the most beautiful uh, designs in there as well. 12, it works out effectively £12.50 per pad, which is phenomenal value. Really, really good. Uh, just before we continue with our demonstration, we've got to look at the pinking shears because these are brand new today. And if I just show you here, they've been very, very popular. So mm -hmm. what, what was it that wanted you, uh, prompted yourself and Mill Shop Online to bring out your own pinking shears? Well, we do a lot of um, work with different fabric suppliers. And uh -huh. obviously, being a crafter myself, using them yeah. week in, week out, m they just weren't up to standard. They were snagging a little bit. They weren't cutting That's very well. It was one of those. And obviously, with the success of our scissors, yeah. and we use them every day, we said, and we spoke Let's to a lot of the own. fabric companies that we work with as well, mm -hmm. and said, look, we need to produce something that we can all use. So is this yeah. a, that what what do you look for from a pinking shear? Is it something that can tackle different fabrics or either weight? Yeah, because they're really nice. They're they not too actually, heavy. They're the perfect weight. Yeah, yeah. They're not too heavy. Obviously, something like my twelve inches. There's it's quite heavy. a bit of weight yeah, for it, right? You know, but with the pinking shears, because a lot of pinking shears projects are smaller projects, mm. so smaller areas. So it doesn't need to be too heavy, but also it needs to have that crisp cut. You can feel like the the mechanism. When yeah. I say the mechanism, just the movement says could. Yeah. Yeah, here we cut. Yeah, let's get a bit of. I think this is calico and fuse web together, so okay, you'll really so hear this. Let's have a look at this. Oh, beautiful. And you do get such a lovely finish to this. So if you wanted, and with the pinking shears, great, say, uh, if you just wanted to finish off a raw edge so it doesn't fray. Definitely. Turn so it give into that a little feature. detail. That's yeah. that detail. I love the detail. Oh yes. So let's just have a look at that. And that is what you could be doing. Lovely. Love it. Well done. You're Thank a you. Pro. <laughs> Whack that on something. <laughs> okay, great. Are busy for these. Nineteen ninety nine. Your price, brand new. We've not seen these before. I know how long they've been in development. Speaking to Joe. So uh, Mill Shop Online have really taken their time to make sure they get it right. Eight six seven six nine seven. Your item number. Okay. So we're just continuing now. Yeah. So we've got our project. I've actually uh, jumped ahead and done one of the stitching, but we're going to show you there. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, obviously Lily. Hence why she gave you all a button mm. and gave you all some ribbon is because she wanted a button on her book. So what she's done before we actually sew, did the sewing element, yeah. she's actually in this format here, opened this up and sewn her button on the front. So oh, okay. this one I would, I would probably give a nice natural button. Yeah, that's okay. nice. And then she's put some ribbon down the middle just as a bookmarker, and okay. I'll probably give a little bit of green there. You will be getting the button and the ribbon, as we suggested. Just showing you here. Now, this is really nice, because adding that little button feature, you're getting elastic you with get that as well. You get a little bit of elastic as well. So that allows you to obviously close up your book, keeping it nice and yeah. secure, the notebook. Uh, but I like the idea of the... And again, was this Lily's thought, it adding that Lily's ribbon? Thought because also, the, the button and the elastic keeps all those notes, keeps all those little pieces in there. Mm. And just having that little bookmark element of your ribbon That's as well. Nice. I'll, I'll she likes to give Dad more work. That's what <laughs> it is. <laughs> Lily, <laughs> that is a really, really nice notebook. I would, I would proudly rock that. I think that's awesome. Okay. So all I've done here is a very straight stitch along mm -hmm. the groove. So if you remember when we did the folds in the iron, mm -hmm. we left a little bit of a gap from the yeah. bonded interlining, and that's where we're going to sew. Nice. So I'm going to pop it on the sewing machine. Okay. I think you've never used, seen me use a sewing machine. No. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was going to sneeze. <laughs> I thought it away. No, I, I have you, I've seen you once. Ah, to use it. that's why. Because we don't, we don't do that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was trying to fight that. Okay, I'm just going to re-thread quickly. Uh -huh. Okay. As okay. we're doing that, um, we need to give a mention to the football team. I know I talked about this a lot. So it's evolved. Last year, Joe set up a team, and it ended up turning into two teams. Both of them had a fantastic run and won their divisions. Now it's gone to three teams. Uh, so you've got an elite team that's playing nationally. Yep. So you're in the national, what is it? National it's a Junior Premier League. And you're like mid-table, and that's yeah. a national league. Yeah, a little village. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. Also, your son's doing very well. We've got to give another mention to Lily, because we talk about her being a crafter. This is Joe's uh, daughter. But she is the history of the club. How old's the club? It's over 125 years old. And she's the first 
female and the only female football player at the club in 125 years. So, so I think she likes to mix it all up, you know, have uh, a bit of sport, a bit of craft, okay. and it's 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 exciting for her as well. Yeah, that's good. So we got the machine working. Cool. Well done. So very Nicely quickly. Done. So all I've done, you can see straight away if you can see on the camera there. So you can see straight stitch. Just a straight stitch down there. All the way down. I tell you what, if you allow can me you, to hold you that. You hold that for Got it. Yeah. So you can see, there you go. There's just okay. that straight stitch down there. So okay. in that little groove, so the yep. little groove that we left, the That's gap in between. That's why you're saying to leave that slight gap yeah. for the stitch. So we can sew, because yeah. mm -hmm. we don't need to sew the bonded because it's already fixed with our glue already in okay. there. So we're just going to trim any edges there. Nice. We're going to have a little look at our notebook. Okay. Okay. And you can see there, we've got our pockets for our notebook. Okay. I'm going to pop that in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to pop those in there. Joe, this is great. Okay, very, very simple. Close that up. Okay. And we've got our lovely little notebook. Okay. But it is quite plain on the front. Yeah. I do okay. like to jazz it up. So yeah. in the kit, to finish this off, mm -hmm. I mean, straight away, I'd go to craft fair and mm -hmm. I'd, I'd purchase one of those. Easily. You know, yeah. It's a nice gift. Like you said, you can take it off, uh -huh. reuse it on a new notebook. Yeah, yeah. You know, when we get through our notebook. But we're going to personalise it a little bit mm -hmm. using the elements from the kit. Okay, love this. So I've got a standard bit of card that I use as a bit of a template. Mm -hmm. We've got our lovely fuser web yeah. that we do love. And obviously, I've always got my roll of fuser web with me uh -huh. everywhere I go. Yeah. I'm going to make myself a little printing sheet. Nice. Okay. So a lot of people may have seen this in the past, but they're always saying, can you show, can you show me this? Can yeah. you show me the printing element again? So I'm not going to waste any of my fuser web. Do you know what I like? So we've got the fabrics, and there's fabric for every kind of uh, notebook. Think about how you're going to be using it, because it could be a notebook for recipes in the kitchen. I think the actual yeah, the, no, the chickens work really well there. You've got that vintage fashion uh, elements in the, uh, the mix as well. You've got fun elements, the dogs, which I think is really uh, cool and quirky. So how are you going to be using your notebook? Is this going to be a gift for somebody? Katie, our producer, had a great idea. Now, uh, so she's, she's going out with a lovely guy, Ross, but before they went out, she was on a well-known app, uh, a lot of swiping. Okay. And she said she built up a lot of numbers. So that could have been, I don't want to say, <laughs> I don't want to say the app, but that could have been her, her phone book app from, you know, it all the numbers be, yeah. in there, just to keep track. Uh, I hope she's now disposed yeah. of the book. Now oh, no, you know. she's, that's it, it's gone. it's gone. She said Ross is the one. <laughs> Ross is the one. Yeah. So in our pack, in our uh -huh. kit, we've also got our calico, 100% yeah. cotton. Yeah. I'm going to do exactly the same, just using a bit of card as a bit of a template. Okay, and we're going to cut that out as A4 size. Good. So in effect, what we're doing is creating a printing sheet. Nice. Okay, so I'm using my lovely prune pencil. Yeah. Which I really love because I lose pencils and pens yeah. all the time. And you can find that actually on the uh, website. So I'm going to snip that out as well, mm -hmm. making sure our iron is still nice and hot. Okay. Think how much cutting you've done, and you're saying you never sharpen the scissors. Never. They're always there. And these are very good quality yeah, scissors. Yeah, no, definitely. And, and that's the key. That's why it took us a bit of time with all our scissors just to get it right, mm -hmm. you know, and just find that balance of weight. Yeah. yeah. Again, still lots of oh, calico yeah. left, Loads. so we'll keep that. Okay, I'm just going to trim the you sides been, here. With the packs, you have been generous because you've given us more than enough to, yeah. uh, to use. I, I think that's the key is the element is that you can experiment and use them for different projects and mm. put it in our stash. Yeah. You know? You'll find there as well that a lot of scissors, when you're cutting fabric, will leave that raw edge or that fraying mm. and such, those threads. But with these scissors, bear such in mind this is my original pattern. Fine, you went at the end. It's perfect. Yeah. You know, there's no, no loose threads there coming through. Nice. So we've got A4 calico okay. and A4 fuser web. Yep. And we're going to stick them together. Perfect. Using our iron. Okay, nice, nice and simple. I'm going to turn it over there so I can see the paper a little bit better. You know, it's one of those, the fuser web, one of those essentials that, while well, it's on that great deal, mm. you know, top up because oh, yeah. use those fuser webs for all you your can projects. You find that in the pick and mix. It is, look, what Joe's about to show you now, the first time I saw this, it, for me, it was a real eye opener to the potential because think about on your computer being able to really personalize because we've got images. You might have got CD ROMs actually, which has really expanded uh, the design work. Oh, this is a good idea from Katie. Uh, producer was saying, what about photographs? Yeah, Imagine we've done those. Yeah. I think we did well. one of myself and you on. 
Did we? I think, I think we, we did. We did. Yeah, yeah, that does ring a bell, yeah. actually. I think we did. Very handsome. We were just that saying we in the office, actually, um, Debbie was asking for a picture yeah. for a personal gift yeah. that we're going to try and do for somebody oh, as well, okay. So, which is great. So we'll have a yeah. go at that. Nice. But just make sure that both layers are stuck together well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all we've done really in effect is created a printing sheet. Okay, because if you went out to a shop and brought personalized name tags and things yeah. like that, it gets very expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you think that's one element in the kit there. And we've still got lots we've left still got over. lots left, so yeah. we can make a couple of sheets of those. Perfect. Okay, what I've done is just uh, gone on a little program on my computer mm -hmm. and put some little fonts on there, different sayings, yeah, you know, nice. what we can use to personalize our book. Yeah, cool. It's not a flash printer. As you can see, it's a little bit bashed and used and goes, goes around it, yeah. and perchanda. I should leave it here, really, should. shouldn't I? Yeah. So I'm just going to pop that little uh, okay. sheet of paper in the top nice. of the scanner, and I'm going to use this as a printing sheet. Bear in mind, remember which way you're printing. So which way your printer comes out with the font, yeah. so on the paper itself, because we want to print on the calico. Okay. That so know your, your printer. So, so my printer at home, it will be uh, face down and then... So mine's straight. face up and fingers okay. crossed. It will take my sheep straight through. Let it do its thing. It's never let us down before. It hasn't yet. Famous has it? last words. Okay. So then instantly wow. we've got printed on the fabric. So what I'd probably do now is maybe get some paints, some yeah. fabric paints, or embroider this. But mm. I'm gonna get my pinking shears. Okay. Okay. This is why this what is where the pinking put? shears really start to come into their own. Have a look. Just being able to literally in moments get that finish so if you don't want to if you want to clean up that raw edge but also it gives it an aesthetic feature it, as well it does no definitely and uh, just that noise and that crispness of them as yeah. well you really start to hear that noise now and how good they are mm. okay I'm gonna do that nice. so I quite like that but also mm. I like the naturalness of the fabrics so what we've also done is given you some hessian yeah so I want right. to have a little look at the hessian okay to do look. list I do you do you get a lot of jobs added to your to-do list? I, yeah, I do. I do put them in myself. To oh, be honest. okay. That's Are you one of those people that, when you've done something, do you write it on your list See, and then tick it off? I should do. Yeah, I, I I'm think normally I probably a person am. I get I given think, yeah, lists. Yeah, I've done well today. Yeah. I'll write that there down. There is actually it's a good thing, <laughs> and also it's good. It's it's there is that satisfaction to be completing a list. But if you're like me, I kind of have the list in my head and yeah. then forget to do it all. It's being organised and being able to check it off. Definitely, definitely. So I'm looking at my book mm -hmm. and I'm just going to give that personal touch to it. Right. So what we're going to do is get some more fuser web from our pack. Perfect. So it's still in there. So this is going on and so many principles are foundations that, that cross over different disciplines because what we're effectively doing, and paper crafters will understand this, it's matting and layering. So it's giving those different textures and that hessian uh, foundation then allowing to really set off and Give yeah, a bit, I like something that. Visually that layering element to, is yeah. nice, really, really nice. So I'm cutting it to a little bit smaller than my hessian. I'll mm -hmm. show you why in a second. Okay. So a little bit smaller. All these little bits of fuser okay. we keep, keep and we use them because yeah. they're so, so, so useful. Uh -huh. Okay. And a little stash. So I'm going to move this out of the way so we can see it. Mm -hmm. As people will say to me, you're very messy when you're doing <laughs> stuff. <but laughs> you enjoy it. I do you enjoy it. And look, it's so not a little easy bit smaller. On live TV, we haven't got time to be neat. Pop Unless you're Phil Martin, because he's the neatest craft I've ever done in my life. So I'm going to stick my fuse web. Uh -huh. So again, it's a different texture that it's sticking to, mm. but instantly we can see it. This stuff, it is a sort of wonder. It you know, is, you, yeah. You know certain things you encounter, you're like, I can't believe something like this exists. It just it's, it it's tackles brilliant. anything. It really is. So we're going to make sure it's stuck. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes you find it's not quite stuck, just put it down. I know. On again. Cool. Okay. We'll take that off. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my book. Nice. I'm going to position it in a nice top area there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to iron that on. So, again, a different layer that it's going on, yeah. that it's bonding on. See, so I think, I really do think something like this with the chickens. Imagine this is your recipe book. One thing I've been doing, my, my mum's an incredible cook. And I've kind of grown up, and all my life, when I go visit my mum, there's certain recipes that I really associate, and they're unique to her. Yeah. And I've started jotting them down, because yeah, I want to be able good. to make them myself. Imagine doing Perfect. this in a book. Yeah, no, definitely. The reason why I cut the fuse web a little bit shorter, I just want to give a little bit of detail. So now we're deliberately so trying I'll to give a little fray. Yeah, a little fray on the Hessian. Yeah. You know, give that little yeah, feel to it. Nice. 
Okay, so just pulling a few of the loose bits off that aren't stuck, just to give that nice, that natural feel, like the natural cotton. Yeah, yeah, I like that. You know, we we'll pull those out. Awesome. Right, so, so our little printing sheet. Mm -hmm. Again, because we'd already created it as our printing sheet, it's got the fuse web backing, mm -hmm. so we pull that off. He says. Okay. Right. And I've always got my little calico binding sheet. Now, so this is important because obviously we've got ink on there and you just want to be careful when Definitely, it. yeah. So I've always got a sheet of calico. Mm -hmm. We actually sell it with the prim stand, which mm. is really, really good. So when you're breasting your iron, this is always with it for mm. this very reason, for your little projects. So we're going to line that up nice and natural in there. We don't want to put direct heat onto that ink because it's probably still wet. Okay. Okay. Are we straight? There we go, like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to iron that straight on. Again, another layer. So, we're, like we say, we're layering up yeah. things. And a bit of teamwork there. There we go. The team, I think, we're, we're laughing at me straight in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll just make sure a little bit more. Perfect. If it's not straight, it's Janice's fault. Okay, I'll take the blame <laughs> on this one. Okay, so oh, instantly now. there. Perfect. Let's get rid of that. So we've got a lovely little notebook now. We've used all our layers. We've printed our sheet. We've got extra fabrics for us to do more projects in there. Very personalised idea. I actually really like the chicken. I'm a huge I fan. Really Seriously, like I that. think that is. But I would use that. Yeah. Genuinely, hand on heart. And yeah. look, I just want you to just take a moment because we've got so many different fabrics. So you get to pick your own fabrics. But let's just think about this. What you've got in the actual pack, we've got the fuser web, we've got our feature fabrics, you get to pick your favourite. Uh, you can personalise the message on there. So is this going to be an address book? Is it going to be a notebook? Is this going to be a dream book? Yeah. So one of my friends, what, yeah. what they do is she's got a notebook that she keeps by the side of the bed and if she has a dream she wants to remember, she jots it in. Brilliant. Just, you know, little things Brilliant. like that. You can personalise. I think this is a fantastic bundle. And for fifteen ninety nine, how much fun is it going to be to make keep for yourself? Yes, you can give it definitely. away. You kind of said it yourself, Joe. If we saw this on a stand, we I'd buy that. Yeah, no, definitely. And I think that's the key. It's one of those mm. personal elements that mm. is unique. We've got a great range of fabrics that you can choose yeah, for yeah. it, and just have a little play with all those little elements in the kit. The thing I love about working at Hochanda is you can personalise. Don't just buy something uh, off a shelf you know, that everyone's going to have. Here you can personalise and really make something that is truly unique. $15.99 your price. We're going to be announcing our winner for the Purple Bucket very shortly. Uh, 724-498 your item number if you do want to get hold of this. We are going to announce our winner. Let's go over to the Purple Bucket. Which is just, wow. Are we going? No, we're not. I, I apologise. <laughs> I thought I heard we were going to go over to the Purple Shall I bring it in? Okay. Bring it in. Bring it in. Let's it's, move it's very I love the fact Emily's like, just bring it in. This is very heavy, Emily. Yeah. It literally took four men to Health carry this across. Health and safety. We can tell you that the winner of the purple bucket is. All right, that's poor. Uh, Jesse Sword. Jesse Sword. That is an incredible name. That is a Jesse. great name. Do you know what? Go on. What, what? It's the first show yeah? with the men. You're not going to. Jesse. There you go. <laughs> okay. Jesse, he's a good guy. <laughs> Jesse, could, could you do something for us though? Uh, if you uh, if you get the chance, I know that Joe would love to see a picture Definitely once see, this arrives and show everything. But look what you're getting! So all these different fabrics and the picking shears. You are a good guy. Seriously, yeah, no, that's a really nice not? thing You've to do. You've got to see the love of that. Jesse, congratulations, well done. And you know when I say we do shows and we start off, and I'm saying that. These these uh, competitions are it could be winning and genuinely Jessie yeah. was watching. She placed an order and now she's walking away the purple bucket. If you weren't successful on this occasion, don't worry because we've got plenty more shows with Joe. Have you got another one today? Uh, not today. Okay. But we have Tilly on it too, and we've yeah. been working together with some fabrics. That's such a good, that's um, such a good collaboration. They're excited. Yeah. They're real Christmas theme to them in a Tilly style. So Amazing. Very excited. Two o'clock. Pop that in your diary. Hopefully you can watch. When are you coming back? A uh, couple of weeks. Cool. Yeah. Looking forward to that, yeah. mate. Thank you so Thank you much. Thank you very much, Janice. Really hope you've enjoyed the show. We've still got time. If you want to get hold of uh, the 100% natural cottons, they've been proven very popular indeed. So just jump online. Have a little look. What are you going to be popping into your basket? Uh, so feel free to... Oh, Pinking Shears, brand, brand new. They've been proven very, very popular. I'd love to know how Jesse uh, gets on with those. What great things oh, to add to it. Uh, so, have a look. This is why I think the website's so valuable. You can see reviews, which is great. And also, this gives you a kind of um, essence with regard to the Mill Shop Online as a company. When yeah. you talk about your fabrics first rate, prim, 
you know, you, the, everything yeah. you associate it's is... It's got to be quality. It is quality. Yeah, no, I definitely. Think that says it all. We had a look at the... I really like this as a bundle, and this is kind of something new. It's like a, a project kit. Yeah, no, it's just an experiment. Yeah. Have fun with it. That's actually a great description, because what you've got is more than enough to make your own personal book covers, and we've seen just how great they are. So you pick your feature fabrics, and then you've got a lot left over. So it's a great project to just play around with uh, the Fuseweb, the Calico, the Hessian, uh, and then obviously the fabrics. Then you're going to go on and experiment more. Yes. Well, you're going to get in the button and, then and you the get ribbon. And the button and the ribbon. Three Thanks, meters Lily. of ribbon. They, and <laughs> all going to coordinate as well. So that's one option. 724 498, your item number. Just got to give a mention to uh, the fabrics as well. So 100% cotton, heavyweight. Heavyweights. Value for money, nine ninety nine is just ridiculous. Yeah, and I think that's that's the key. That's what we always mm -hmm. like to bring. You know that from our from our yeah. early shows that is about but value because it's... fabric can be expensive. Well, uh, yeah, and for this quality, you would be paying over the twenty pound mark. We've got less than a minute, so just rifle through. That's the putty. Yep, going in there. Here we've got our honey. Our honey, lovely. There we've got our graphite. Granite. Granite. We are limited stock with the graphite. No, that's it's really yeah, nice, nice. that one. Uh, and then finally we've got the malt. our malt. Joe, you're an absolute star. It's a pleasure as always. Good luck with the football team. Thank let you. me know how uh, everyone does. Yeah, we'll do. Looking forward. looking forward. You've got to let me know. I know Lily plays in defence, but yes. if she scores a goal, I yeah, want to know it about be, it. It'll be an expensive day, put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for keeping us company as well. Really hope you've enjoyed the show and hope Joe's inspired you. Get making your books. And also follow the Mill Shop online, post pictures. We want to see pictures of everyone. Yeah, no, books. definitely. How I'd you love to see them. Really love to yeah. see people things on there and what they're doing with it. Thank you, mate, and thank you so much. I've really enjoyed that hour, and you are going to love the next hour. Apple Blossom Crafts, brand new to the Ho-Chan, the family. Do check that out. Then we've got All in Crate, and after that, Clarity, one day special. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> You see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Good morning, and Jeanette is back. 
Wait, you were back in, you were in at the beginning of the week, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. this week, this past weekend, I think. I know, <laughs> it's gone quick, hasn't it? It yeah. has. Now, Jeanette, what you're bringing for us today is Apple Blossom, and this is under uh, Practical Publishing. So mm -hmm. it's a lovely set. I think you're going to really like these because they're beautiful butterflies, aren't they? Yes. That's our theme. So when you look at this, you might think, what can we do? But when you see the samples, you go, aha. Yes, they really come to life with those beautiful samples once you've done your die cutting. And I feel like butterflies are a classic. Mm -hmm. They never go out of style. No. no. Any, any occasion. Any occasion Absolutely. all year round. So as you can see, they literally pop up the page, pop off the page. So they are so pretty. So you've got your embossing folder and obviously your lovely circle die. Right. And mm -hmm. then uh, it creates a really, maybe you can't see the size on TV properly, but it's a, a six by six card. They're right. really large dies, but they do go through your standard die cutting machine, so you don't have to worry about um, using a larger format yeah. die cutting machine, but it just creates cards instantly with yes. that beautiful 3D effect. Oh, look, and then we've got the board, so you can see, can you see that dimension? Fantastic. And then, of course, these are the sorts of things you can be making. Oh, isn't this so pretty? Look at that. Yeah, so you can make more than just cards. If you want, you can, you know, create this beautiful, um, this was made by Laura Bradley, and mm -hmm. she just made a little, like, hang it up on a wall, a yeah. little decoration piece. But uh, with some of the other designs, you could die cut them and maybe wrap them around a Ooh, candle. That would nice be very idea. nice. And then is this using the waste? That, no, that is the embossing folder. Oh, That's I part see. Of the bundle. Apologies. Yeah, and then just distressed with a little bit of, um, distressed with a sanding block. Ah, okay, nice. So this is 15 pounds and 98 pence. Item number then is 521439. Uh, brand new today, Apple Blossom. It's a lovely, lovely brand. Uh, then the next one we've got is the Butterfly Wave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to do that every time. <laughs> the Butterfly Wave. Um, and again, it comes with the Butterfly Wave embossing folder, I should say, and it comes with the Swoop die set. Yes, yeah. and this one, it, well, just all these designs are great for like weddings, you can do wedding cards, thank mm. you cards, sympathy cards as well, just, yeah, the butterflies are so versatile. They are, because they're so inoffensive, aren't they? You know, <laughs> no, do you know what so I mean? Yeah. yeah, they are true. Thank That's you beautiful. Cards. So <laughs> again, sorts. you can see the shape that, um, now I've got uh, the board again. Well, I'll show you the dies as well, it's might as well. Yeah, so you get uh, the main die that's going to do the partial die cutting mm -hmm. into your cardstock, but then you get these layering dies so that you can add more intricate detail to mm -hmm. each butterfly and then layer that on top. And then you can see how it cuts out. Yeah. Like so. And then you just kind of uh, pinch it, pinch each little butterfly with your fingers yeah. once, once you've die cut that to really make it come to life. And then the back you can add like glitter card, maybe like a layer of glitter card on the back, just to have <gasps> a little bit of sparkle in the background. Or what about our deal of the day? What about our designer papers with all those different colors? And then here's another, this is so simple, but yeah. so effective, isn't it? So she used the emboss, look, this is from Laura Bradley yeah. as well, and she used the embossing folder and then just added some butterflies, mm. uh, rainbow colored butterflies on the yeah. front, which is really nice. And as you said, the embossing folder in the back, what about embossing folder in silver? Look at that, very nice. It's so cheerful. Yeah. I love it. Um, and she's done the same here, distressed it a little bit. Yeah, and yep. then she added a bit of sparkle. This is from Sam Clayton. Beautiful card, so nice. very easy to do. Uh, I think the embossing folder is five by seven, so it's again very large. Yeah, make instant cards with it. Excellent, fifteen pounds and ninety-eight pence, nine eight four one five four. Then we're continuing with our butterfly set. So we've got hearts though with this one. You've got the lattice hearts embossing folder and the butterfly heart set. So oh, is it actually in the shape of a heart? Yeah, so oh. that one, like the first one we saw was a circle, the other mm -hmm. one was a wave and a swoop, and then this one is a heart. Yeah. So butterfly shaped heart, which makes me really happy. It does. <laughs> it's, see, that one could be for, um, that one could be for Valentine's Day. Well, especially this one, because it's in the red. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then along with the embossing folder that's included, which is uh, one of our popular designs uh, for the Apple Blossom brand. It's mm. like two textures in one yeah. for the embossing folder. So you can like snip it, um, do all sorts with that. Look at that. Beautiful. And then more samples that show you that that's gorgeous with the glitter card behind. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. Loving that. And then we've got another one here. Oh, lots of matting and layering as well. And this would be really nice too. I didn't get a chance to, there's never enough time in the day. I know. <laughs> but I wanted to try this one with vellum Ooh. so that the butterflies would be like really soft and feminine. 
You, on the on the front. You know what you could do, maybe mm. in between the shows, because vellum parchment relatively similar. You could ask Paul if you could borrow some parchment. Oh yeah, because I don't have any with me, and I really wanted to try it because I think it would be just yeah. so impactful. And okay. I'm sure Paul wouldn't <laughs> mind if you're watching Paul. Fifteen pounds and ninety eight pence. Nine one four nine one four. Um, then we've got another set with the embossing folder and um, mm. dies. So here we've got the basket weave and roses folder, plus you've got the butterfly wave. And uh, here's the board. Oh, if I can pick it up. <laughs> there we go. It's so sticky. Yeah, so this one is beautiful. It's got like a wave. With butterflies and a wave. Yeah. But it's, it's large. It's massive. So it's for A5 size cards. So if you are interested in creating larger cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which, oh, look. Which are so beautiful. Ooh, so this was another one from Laura Bradley. Yeah, it's so simple but so effective, mm -hmm. don't you think? Let's bring this one in as well. Oh, that's nice. And the pattern paper. Yeah. That works. I like look. that. That's from Anne Melvin. Mm. Great job, Anne. That's <laughs> so pretty. Uh, 15 98 once more, is the price. 294831. And then next up, we've also got some stamps. Oh, we like the stamp set. Oh, and an embossing folder with it. Oh, these are pretty. So we've got lots and lots of stamps. So many sentiments. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, what I might have to do is pick this up to read them. <laughs> uh, right, so we've got thanks ever so much. Hello, beautiful. Deepest sympathy because you, it is necessary to have. Yeah. Um, welcome to the world. Sending hugs and kisses. Hope your day is as amazing as you are. That one's so a sweet. nice one. Uh, the good things in life are better with you. I'm so sorry. Best wishes. Make a wish. Butterfly wishes. Flying by just to say hi. Good stuff. Like that. And so that's one set of stamps. And this card uh, by Laura Bradley. She just used the stamps and used the butterfly images in it to create mm -hmm. a background and use the sentiment. And it's lovely. Yeah. It was stunning. Gorgeous. We've got more stamps as well to show you. Thank you, Baker. He's having to zoom in because I can't have just my eyesight. Uh, hello, Spring. Happy Easter. Happy Mother's Day. These are important as well. Thinking of you. Celebrate new beginnings. I like that one. Happy birthday. Uh, thanks a bunch and get thanks well soon. And then we've got the embossing folder too. Yeah, so I love this embossing folder because it has a carnation frame all around <coughs> it. And I made this card here and I just distressed the uh, card front with uh, a sand block yeah and got that white core to pop through and it creates a perfect frame for maybe a butterfly die cut mm -hmm. from one of the other sets or your one of your sentiments yep yeah. marvelous 12 pounds 97 479439 we've got the deal of the day it's a really cracking deal of the day because you pick two out of the four or of course you can get yourself all four if you want to uh, two out of the four of the 12 by 12 designer paper pads they're by clarity of course so you've got northern lights shenandoah indian summer and rainbow river and the last two are the ones that i would go for that's just my personal preference you're saving 11 pounds deal of the day price is 24 pounds and 98 pence 377266 and you've got 48 uh, sheets in each one do call us on the usual number 01733602000 or check out on the website at hachanda.com over to you jeanette all right, so I'm going to do a little bit of embossing and okay. also die cutting at the same time. So if you want to try embossing uh, and die cutting, I recommend to do the die cutting first. Okay. So I have a piece of um, mirror card, and we're going to run that through with the butterfly circle die set. It looks like a crown. Like you could just. Oh, I like that, that one. <laughs> So we're just going to center that there and run it through. And again, these dies don't require a larger um, format die cutting machine. So it creates a beautiful circle shaped butterflies. Love that. And then you just pinch these wings to make them really pop and come to life. But I wanted to use my embossing folder in conjunction with that. So I'm just going to flatten the wings back out. And then we can just put our um, card into our embossing folder. Mm -hmm. Putting that through just like so. And it's just going to create 
a, oh, what's it called when there's a group of butterflies? A kaleidoscope. A, a kaleidoscope, yeah. yes. Kaleidoscope of butterflies. I'm like, it's not a swarm, is it? No, no that's bees. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds scary, a swarm yeah. of butterflies. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that'll make our little kaleidoscope. So now I'm going to emboss our die cut. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been crafting for, Jeanette? Um, I, I've been kind of creative my whole life, but officially when I started like investing in real craft supplies, 2015. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> which really makes a difference. Mm. Like having an actual paper trimmer and yeah, a die yeah. cutting machine. So that's when I really got serious about it. So there we have our beautiful embossing mm -hmm. and die cutting. And maybe you're thinking, whoa, that's a little bit of a lot of butterflies. Yeah. <laughs> but it's going to be all right. Okay. Because once we start, um, what are you, what are, like pinching the wings, mm. kind of bringing them to life, then you'll be able to see the die, the yeah. die cutting. Okay. So I'm just going to trim off this excess with my paper trimmer. Lovely. Nice cardstock you've chosen. Yeah, so it has a, a white core backing this one, so it's like a mirror card, but then on the back it's white. So if you wanted to distress that uh, after you've done your embossing, you can to give it kind of like a shabby chic kind of look. Which maybe, maybe we should try that. Yeah, why not? Have why a play. not? Yeah. I really, really, um, I really want to try it with the with the vellum, with the parchment, if possible. Yeah. I think okay. that would be so stunning. Well, that's cool. <laughs> So I've trimmed that down and then I have a sanding block. So we'll just go over the embossing and you'll be able to see the distinction between where I've embossed and where I've die cut. So it's just going to remove the gold coating, like mm. the golden coating, and reveal a little bit of the white underneath. Does this hurt your teeth? Seven Does again. it hurt your teeth? I've like, thought I'm like, that's <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Oh, sorry. It's almost over. It's almost over. <laughs> All right. So there we go. And now with my pokey tool, mm -hmm. I guess I can use my finger as well. Yeah. Then you can lift those wings. Mm -hmm. And you could color the tips of their of their wings if you want to. Yes. Pattern paper is really nice. I think. It <clears throat> did look really nice with the yeah. pattern paper, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Uh, and then if you want, you can also use the layering dies to yep. add a little bit more intricacy to the butterfly wings. You can also snip these butterflies out if you want and use them separately. Yeah, yeah you can. Just snip them apart. Create a stencil even if you want. Oh, that's want. a good idea. I love all these butterflies. They're so cheerful. Yeah. Okay. So... There we have our wings. Maybe you can't really see it too clearly, so we're gonna add a pop of color. Oh, lovely. Behind our butterfly. So I have a piece of pink cardstock. Oh, yeah, pink and gold. I wouldn't have thought of putting those together, but I quite like it. It's just so cheerful. Yeah. Okay, and then we can glue that down, making sure not to put any glue on the wings, because then they won't have that pop-up effect. Mm -hmm. So putting some liquid adhesive all around, that should do it. And with the circle, like it doesn't matter which orientation yeah. you do, it's going to work either way. Absolutely. Don't have to think about it really, just matte yeah. and layer. But this is the joy of these dies because they're such a nice size, you've got a card pretty much instantly, mm -hmm. just from one, one cut of the die. Yes, and then these butterflies will uh, kind of go flat if you just, you know, need to ship this, uh, mm -hmm. mail it away to a oh, loved yeah. one. Mm -hmm. So very easy to mail. All right, so next I'm going to grab the, kind of the layering guys. Are they in this set as well? Yes. Good, good. Just to kind of show you how that works. So it's an outline die if you want to leave them solid and then it comes with the corresponding um, inner die. Mm. It's a little bit more intricate. Yeah. So you can see that detail on the butterfly wings. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna cut those from pink as well. Lovely. And these will go through your standard die cutting machines. Yes, Yeah. even though they are on a larger side, they still. Because mm. they still, still go work. on an A5, won't they? Well, mm -hmm. which you're using, so. Are you doing two layers at once? 
Yes. Ah. Um, more for the intricate, um, to get that intricate detail to make sure it cuts. Right. It, it will cut, but I get okay. lazy. So I'm going to make sure that it, <laughs> that it cuts the first time. Yeah. So just a little bit of added pressure. And you can also use the inner die on its own mm -hmm. and run it through that to just go directly to add that detail to that yeah. butterfly. There it is. Yay, it's so pretty. So pretty. Yeah. So then that goes right on top. Aha. Uh -huh. So you can, like it says, you can layer them up. Very mm -hmm. pretty. So they don't get lost then. Yeah, it just adds a little bit of interest. So if you want, you can glue it flush to the um, butterfly underneath, or if you just add some glue to um, the center, right along the center, then you can get some extra added dimension. Mm. Like so. And then we'll just glue all these other ones. We've cut some ahead of time. Yep. So think about these for birthday cards, um, sympathy cards, thank you cards. It's lovely to receive a thank you card. We don't send enough of them, I don't feel, anymore. We just say, oh, cheers, by text. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah. That's true. Um, if you felt this is a bit fiddly with your glue, you could also use maybe a spray adhesive or... Um, oh, Elle's had some fantastic um, adhesive sheets on the other day. It was really good stuff. She uses that for everything. She doesn't touch glue at all. Oh. Yeah. She just that likes that. That makes for some, like, tidy crafting. Mm, very tidy, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like sticky fingers, too. It kind of bothers me. Yeah. Having sticky fingers. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut one more butterfly, like the medium-sized one. And these are all win in with it. And don't forget, you also get your embossing folder as well that's been used in the background. Ah, here it is. $15.98 for these. Your embossing folder and your circle butterfly set. 521-439. All right, so one more butterfly here for us. Mm -hmm. Just there, and again, just adding um, glue to the center. <clears throat> now, for our sentiment, what I've done beforehand is used the thinking of you in the stamp set. Yeah. And one of the bundles. And then I added, stamped that onto some vellum. Oh, nice. Added some little like adhesive pearls. Ah, because then it won't see, you won't see the glue. Yeah. Very good. I'm hide that glue. And then we can put that on the center there. Thinking of you. Yeah. And then we can add that to our card base. So I went with blue just to make it really, really pop. Very zingy colors, yeah. Yeah. Very cheerful and bright colors. Mm. And I need to trim just a little bit off of this card base. It's just a little bit too much, mm -hmm. too big. Yeah. So how did you get involved with practical publishing? Oh, so I uh, worked at Sizzix when I was in the U.S. Oh, did Sizzix you? US. Mm -hmm. oh, I had no idea. Okay. So then I moved here and sent my res resume in. I didn't realize that it was so close to my house. <laughs> well, that's a handy thing. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, they hired me. Oh, that's yeah. great. <laughs> so did you do Sally Telly in the U.S. as well then? Oh, no. Not, not that bit? <laughs> no. No, no. <laughs> Beautiful. There it is. Yeah. Very easy, very quick. Yeah. And of course, you want to pinch those wings to give mm -hmm. them that added dimension. And if you want to add gemstones in the oh, center, yeah, I love gemstones. you could do that as well. Thank you. There we are. Look, so pretty with these colors, but look at the dimension. Ooh, They're beautiful. flying off the page. All right, thank you very much, Jeanette. Right, quick recap. We've got designer papers. Uh, these are from Joycraft. Is this one of our seven day savers? I think so. Um, now it's $9.99. Uh, you're getting 60 sheets in total and it is uh, 475857. That's your item number. 60 sheets. You've got an assorted set of colours. You've got some with patterns on as well. Uh, right, something else you might want to add? Sentimentally yours. So this is Phil Martin's cardstock. Oh, it's oh I do like this. It's a lovely set of soft tones. Um, 50 sheets in total, 270 GSM, 1599, 19729. 
And then we've got muted tones. Are these still fills? Marvellous. Uh, 50 sheets again, 270 GSM, 1599-03663. And then we've also got the essential cardstock, also fills. Uh, 50 sheets again, 270 GSM, 1599-987-591. Lovely jubbly. <clears throat> so you are joining us. We've got Apple Blossom for you today, which is under the Practical Publishing brand. And it's all about the butterflies. Now this one, we have got the heart, heart embossing folder, and you have, oh no, sorry, I'm thinking of the wrong one. This is your sentiment set. Yes. Uh, so you've got, thanks ever so much. Welcome to the world. Hello, beautiful. Sending hugs and kisses, deepest sympathy. Hope your day is as amazing as you are. The good things in life are better with you. I'm so sorry. Um, much love, best wishes, make a wish, all there for you. And loads of little butterflies. <coughs> Do excuse me. Flying by just to say hi. And then we've got the other set of sentiments. Hello spring, happy Easter, happy Mother's Day. Thinking of you. Celebrate new beginnings. Happy birthday. And get well soon. Thanks. A bunch and then <laughs> and then we've got the embossing folder in the center that's lovely because you've got the center is blank so you can start stamping and embossing some really nice sent, uh, sentiments now samples wise I've got this one this one says the good things in life are better with you that's by Laura lovely little stamp of a background very pretty and then just one popping off the page and then we've got this one here so again, just distressed the card once it's been embossed and then pop some little gemstones on. 1299-479-439 is your item number. Very lovely. Did we say how many stamps we've got in total? I just wondered. 22 stamps. Thank you very much. Oh, that's in one set and nine in the other. So you've got 31 altogether. Then we've got our basket weave and roses folder. Plus you've got the butterfly wave um, and it's literally doing a nice wave for you. Beautiful. And you've got the layering dies as well in there. And you can just see all these beautiful samples. They're really pretty, aren't they? Oh, Baker really likes this one. He's going to show you. You know, it's contemporary. I like it too, Baker. Very colourful. This would be nice, nice as well for a um, uh, child's birthday as well as an adult, don't, don't you think? Fantastic news. Maybe somebody's passed some exams. And then I really like the one with the patterned paper. That's really pretty. A little bit different. Nice. And then you've got the next one with the wash of colour. This, so easy to do. Just get your inks out. Make a wash of colour and just cut the card. And then, amazing. Oh, that's nice. Um, Baker's saying use the negative as well, so you get a twofer. Uh, so for these sets of dies and embossing folders, fifteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Two nine four eight three one is your item number. And then we have got our lattice hearts embossing folder and your butterfly heart set. Again, these are really pretty. Uh, it's a lot bigger, by the way, than the packaging. Um, as you can see here, look. That's wonderful for Valentine's Day. I know it will be here before we know it, yes. Um, and then, other samples. It's really quite a large die, don't you think? But it'll still go through your A5 embossing folders. I really like that with the um, sparkle behind it. £15.98 is the price. 91414. No, what am I reading? 914914. <laughs> and then we've got the butterfly wave embossing folder and the swoop die set. The swoop. Here it is. I like this one very much. And then you've got room for popping, you know, a little sentiment in there. And then I've got some samples here. Oh, you're looking at one. Lovely. Nice sample there. There you go. It's a perfect example of putting the sentiment to the side. You can emboss and then distress with a little bit of um, glitter. Yeah, and then we've got this one, really nice and colourful. So this is combining the two. This is combining the embossing folder with the layering dies. £15.98, 984154. 
And then last but not least, we have got the um, butterfly background. Um, and this is, well, that's the embossing folder. And then you've got the circle die set. Again, very, very pretty. So this is the one that Jeanette's just been using. And, oh, we've got some samples this side, if we may, because these look really pretty. Pick them up, let's see. Lovely, and then it's got the happy birthday in the center. That's perfect. Let's look at this one, because we haven't looked at this one. Very nice, look, gorgeous. Got another one that's been distressed. If I pop that back down there. And then, how nice, piece of home decor. That's so pretty, what a great idea. 1598, item number is 521439. And now, um, let's have a look at the seven day savers that are on the website. <clears throat> ah, good, right, the Joy Crafts was one. Oh, we've also got some fabric. Nice bit of tartan, that's Adam's shirt, that is. Uh, he was wearing one very, very similar the other day. You've got your cardstock. Oh, yes, uh, we've got decoupage papers. Forgot about that. Uh, what else? Learned it. Oh, Hayley, yes, I had no idea that our Hayley had actually done a, a DVD. Yeah, yeah, she has. Uh, so do call us 01733 or check out on the website at herchanda.com. Really, Baker? I've got to ask him. Oh, all right. All right. Um, can I not say what you just said? Oh, all right. It's nothing rude. It's fine. It's nothing rude. <laughs> right then, Jeanette, <laughs> over to you. So I'm going to be uh, using the <coughs> Butterfly Swoop die set and making um, just kind of a little bit more like decorative card. So here I have a piece of A5 size black card stock and you can see the die just is perfectly, uh, just perfectly placed on there. And we're going to roll that through our die cutting machine. Okay. Now what I love about this die set is that it doesn't create, the main panel doesn't create any fallout. Yeah. Because it's cutting into the cardstock. So it's a very tidy die. <laughs> so we remove the die and then we can see the beautiful wings mm. come to life when you just pop them out. Yeah. Very nice. It's quite nice in black actually, it'd be like a uh, silhouette. Yeah, so you can put a pop of color mm. right behind yeah, nice. so that you can see the butterfly shape. And you can just stamp that, stamp a little sentiment there, add it to a card front, card base, sorry, and then you would be done. But I wanted to add just a little bit, like some more, uh, a little bit of bling. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to just glue this down. And this would be really nice too if you had some glitter card. Oh, yes, yes. On the back of it to add that pop of extra sparkle. Mm, maybe some of John Lockwood's glitter card. <laughs> yeah. I like how you're just like... <laughs> well, I just, because I, 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 I work with everybody I and I think, oh, it. it's all the things I like as well. <laughs> that one has invested in. <laughs> all right. So I'm happy with that. And now we're going to add some of the... I'm going to use the intricate um, layering butterflies to add a pop of orange. Oh, you really like bright <laughs> colors, don't you? I'm bit, well, I like really mixing it up. It's so gray out. It just yeah, needs it a, is. a pop of uh, like colorful, cheery kind of sunshine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Artificial sunshine with color. Yeah. With a pop of color. So I've paired both the layering mm -hmm. die and the inner intricate die to create my butterfly. Yep. Yeah that second intricate layer and if you want to leave the intricate die out then you can and just have the outline oh, yeah you can do that as well it goes there and then I have a few more mm. that I've cut beforehand yeah just and to it's save gonna really time. really pop yeah with that orange <clears throat> I just love how you can get a different feel by changing the colors. Absolutely. Isn't it weird that color kind of changes the vibe? <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> I energy. mean, I it's have so what weird. I call happy colors. <laughs> um, this morning we had, on Good, Good Morning Hachanda, we had mm -hmm. such candy colored fabrics. They were, but it puts a smile on my face. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So the colors that you use will really make a difference. Yeah. 
But yeah, I like how you use very, very contrasting colours, ones I wouldn't think of putting together. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like that. Different. You know, sometimes you need um, to get that ins colour inspiration, because mm. then you always gravitate to the same colours. I do, certainly. <laughs> At least I do. Yeah. So it's nice to have a, a variation. All right, so now we're just going to glue all of these beautiful butterflies down. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm just adding the glue on the center. Yeah. Because I really want the wings to pop. Love the idea of glitter card. I wonder what about acetate? That'd be quite nice. Oh, yeah, you could do that as well. Yeah, an acetate card. And then the layering dies could be a little pop of color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for this one here, you'll notice that I used the smaller intricate die for that one, mm -hmm. which you can do as well. Yeah. Because they're kind of nested. Yeah. So you can just go down a size if you want to see that outline of mm. the wing a little bit more clearly. Yeah. And then we're going to add some gemstones to these centers. Mm. So I'll just put a few dots of glue. So either loose gemstones or you could use, you know, you can get the strips of gemstones that are all stuck together. Yes. If you want. Oh, that'd be so much easier. Yeah. <laughs> I have these individual gemstones here. Always tricky getting them out. You need one of those pickup tools. Yeah. I or struggle with those too, even. Do you? <laughs> even those. Yeah, I've got the light, the white pencils at home that pick up. Oh, they have a sticky end, yeah. Yeah. I should get one and try it out. I've never tried that one. Well, uh, you could chat to Rob Walker from Add Some Sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> need to talk to some people yeah. <laughs> after the show. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very pretty. It's all about adding the detail. When you have a die that makes a card front, like quickly and easily, then mm. you can focus more of your time on, you know, yeah. decorating the front, adding gemstones, adding pearl drops, mm. maybe a bit of sparkle with your sparkle pens. Oh, yeah. What about um, doing some triple embossing on your die cuts? Ooh, you yeah. can make them like into an embellishment, like a thicker embellishment. Yeah. You are full of great crafting. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tips. <laughs> Techniques. And this also comes with the embossing folder. So it's yes. not just the die that you're getting. Nine dies, indeed. Uh, this is your butterfly wave. There we are. And the swoop die set. 1598-984-154. So now I'm going to pinch the rest of these little wings here. Yeah. Makes it easier if you do it before you glue it down. Oh, yes. Because then you can just uh, pop it with your fingers, pop okay. it up with your fingers. But I've got my pokey tool, so all is well. So that you can see that pop of blue, bright mm. blue underneath. Yeah. And then I'm going to add some detail with my white gel pen. Ah, uh, yes. Just a little bit here and there. Just trace the outline of the butterfly. Okay, yeah. Picks them out even more. Can't beat a uh, white gel pen in your crafty stash. Comes in so useful. I know. I like it especially with really, really dark card, like black card stock mm. is my favorite. Yeah. Or hot pink, to use it with hot pink. Ooh. They're great for doodlings. Oh, yeah. Mm. Are you a doodler? Not really, but I've watched other people. <laughs> so Baker I has found that quite amusing for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just <laughs> randomly watching people doodle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there we have our little butterflies outlined. Yep. Just an extra little touch, a little, little detail. And then we can add our sentiment on the side here. So I'm going to grab the stamp set 
which I should have around here somewhere. There it is. And I love the stamp set. This is from the other bundle. It's a big stamp set, isn't it? Yeah, and it yeah. has so many beautiful sentiments. Nice fonts. <clears throat> so we're going to go with Hello Beautiful. That's a nice saying. Although in my head I can't help but say, Hello Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Hello Sunshine. <laughs> so this is a white um, pigment ink. But you could definitely do uh, heat embossing in white. Very Just nice. a little hello beautiful there. Yeah. And you could also add some more of the butterflies if you wanted. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to mount that to my card base. Maybe add some little uh, stitching here. Just along the edge. For a little more detail. Yeah. It'll separate it from the card blank then, won't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally optional. This would be really nice too with a, a metallic pen. Oh yeah. To do a little stitching. Mm. See, I, I'm always worried about doing that because of the lines not being perfect, but I suppose it doesn't matter that they're not perfect. Yeah, you could mm. use um, this end here. Oh so yeah, good point. <laughs> That'll make it easier. Yeah. And that way you know they're in a straight line. Mm. So just use another piece of cardstock to kind of guide you. Or a ruler will work. I just didn't want to cover the beautiful butterflies doing that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, they're gone. Okay. They'll be back. <laughs> My pen's run out a little bit. Oh, has it? Well loved. All right. And then we can add our adhesive and mount that to our card base. So, again, you wanna make sure to pinch those beautiful wings so that you can see the contrasting color underneath. Give it the full effect, mm -hmm. the butterfly, full butterfly effect, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, you can still post this. It's just, I'm sure the person at the other end will know to uh, lift up the wings again. Mm -hmm. And just be careful that you don't, when you glue this down, don't glue the wings yeah. down as well. Otherwise, they'll really struggle. So there's that card. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And here's one as well that I made earlier. Fabulous. There we go. This one is heat embossed in white. Ah, uh, yeah. A little bit brighter. So you can see it more clearly, yeah. Uh, thank you, Jeanette. I'll just do a quick recap. Yeah. Here we are. So the first one that we've got is the Apple Blossom Butterfly Wave Embossing Folder and Butterfly Swoop Die Set. Nine dies in total. Fifteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Nine eight four one five four. Then we've got the Butterfly Background. This also comes with the Circle Die. You've got. I mean, it's a nice, sizable die that one. And then you've got the layering dies. Plus the embossing folder for fifteen pounds and ninety-eight pence, five two one four three nine. Then we've got the lattice hearts. Uh, this is the uh, embossing folder that's the lattice hearts, and then you've got the butterfly heart die, and again you've got the layering dies. Seven dies in total, fifteen pounds and ninety-eight pence, nine one four nine one four. Then we've got the basket we oh we did have. There it is. Oh, it's coming onto the screen now. Uh, here's your basket weave embossing folder and the uh, butterfly die set. 11 dies, 15 pounds and 98 pence, 294831. And one more, we've got the sentiments. Also comes along with the embossing folder. And it is 12 pounds and 97 pence. 479439. All you need to do is give us a call 01733602000 or you can check out on the website at hachanda.com. Marvellous. Over to you, Jeanette. So I'm going to do a bit of embossing with the basket weave and roses embossing folder. So this uh, type of embossing folder kind of went viral. Did it? Yeah, and it has its own Facebook group. It's called That Embossing Folder. Really? Because uh, we have other designs. Apple Blossom has other designs of this similar um, effect. So mm -hmm. it has two different embossing uh, textures here mm. and then that signature wave. So we have other designs which you'll see in the other bundle, but it has its own Facebook group. Yeah. It's a popular one. That's amazing. Yeah. Didn't realize that was a thing. <laughs> 
so it's really cool. So we're just going to emboss this twice, so in two different colors. Okay. So I'm starting off with like a silvery kind of metallic card, and we're running that through. The embossing folder is uh, six inches by six inches, so it's mm -hmm. going to go through your standard die cutting machine, yep. no problem. And you'll see Ooh, that crisp. is beautiful. <laughs> that was it very is. crisp. So there's that in silver. I think it's so pretty. Yeah. Just on its own. And you can just stamp a little sentiment there along the wave. So I'm going to run it through one more time with some hot pink mm -hmm. cardstock. Because what I'm going to do is uh, trim away the um, upper layer of the sil on the silver embossed card. Oh, uh, yeah. To kind of get two different colors of embossing. Mm, two looks, yeah. Oh, we listen to that. <laughs> so crisp. Yeah, it's the paper. So there we have our two different colors. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to, I need to trim this down. It's a little bit too big. I'm just feeling that cardstock. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's, a it's got a linen feel to it, finish to it. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. So we're going to trim just a little bit of that excess. And then... I'm going to grab my scissors and we're just going to snip off this excess at the top and you can use that, um, this upper piece for another card if you want. You, well, you can get a twofer out of this. Yeah. You can also like trim around the roses mm. and use those as embellishments. But then when we layer that on top of our pink, Pretty, it's yeah. just a nice little contrast. I'm liking that. All mm -hmm. right. So I'm going to add some glue to the back of the silver. Nice basket weave. It's cute. Yeah, it pairs really well with the butterflies. Yeah. But also, you imagine a basket of roses. Mm-hmm. Oh, it makes me think of a picnic. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> not the weather for that, though. No, no, definitely not. Okay, so I'm just going to trim the pink excess at the bottom. And if you want to make this a smaller card, you can. You can even trim it to like A6 size. Yeah. And still retain that like dual um, texture, which is really fun. All right, so I'm going to grab my card base to make sure that is working out for me. It is. All right. And then I'm going to grab the intricate, sorry, the outline dies for the butterfly. Oh, what you after? I'm five out of five. I got it. <laughs> it was my other platform. So the um, intricate dies mm -hmm. from, I think it's the swoop or the wave. Uh, oh, no. I don't remember. But one of the butterflies, the outline dies from the I butterfly. I know. got so many butterflies so on the show. So many butterflies. It's, I think it's the wave. And we're going to use the outline die mm -hmm. and the inner die. Okay. Pair those up. If you want to send in any pictures, you can, of course. Send them to studio at hachanda.com. Or questions. Oh, I like questions. Yeah. Sometimes people like to know what weight of cardstock is good. Mm, yeah. Things like that. Lovely. The pink and the white card that I'm using is 220 GSM. But I think the silver is maybe 180. It's a little yeah, bit thinner. Yeah, thinner, yeah. Which you also want to be careful about if you're embossing because you don't want it to tear. Mm. It didn't. It didn't tear. It did, held up pretty well. Yeah. So now I have a few butterflies that I have cut beforehand. So just some beautiful white butterflies. And we're going to glue those on our, just throughout our design. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's good on the wave, actually. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice, too. Mm, just like if you wanted. Mm -hmm. So here we have the different sizes. Mm -hmm. You could also cut those flowers out, maybe. Colour them, of course. Ooh. Oh, I like yeah. that idea. Thanks, Alex. That reminds uh -huh. me. I should I want to give it a try. There's my pen. I should do that. 
Oh. <laughs> we get, what is that, sparkle? Pen? Yeah, just a little sparkle. Oh, that would be the nice. Roses. Oh, yeah. That was an excellent idea. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're full of great ideas. <laughs> so then we can add just a bit of sparkle to each of the roses before we glue down our butterflies. Mm. It's all the details, isn't it? Yeah. But it's also just about having fun. Yes. I mean, you have a beautiful design. It's very mm. easy to make a beautiful card. Yep. And, and these could be birthday cards. Bit. This could be another Valentine's one because you've got the roses. Yes. Uh, Valentine's birthdays, thank you card. Thinking of you, sympathy. They're very nice and generic so that you know for whatever occasion you can... Yeah, they're classic designs yeah. so that you can use them all year round for any occasion. Yeah. That's nice. Nice little extra bit of sparkle. Extra sparkle. I'm happy about that. Okay, and then we're going to add our butterflies. And I'm just putting glue at the center so that their wings can pop up. What sort of sentiment would you add to this one? Oh, I was thinking like a thank you card. Yeah. A thank you sentiment. When are you next back in? I you don't got a know. date? No, I don't know I yet. Don't. Mm -mm. Not okay. yet. But you have got a show later today. I do. Yeah. At three o'clock, I believe. And that's with Haley. Oh, nice. Yeah. I haven't seen Haley in a while. <laughs> I haven't actually. I think I'm with her tomorrow, possibly, for good evening. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with the butterflies yeah. there. I'm going to glue this to my card base so it doesn't shift around. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Look at that. I like pink and grey. And then with the white cardstock, you really see the, the detail in the butterflies. Mm -hmm. And then some more sparkle, because I was inspired by your <laughs> using the um, extra sparkle on the roses. Oh. We'll add some hot pink gemstones. Mm. Tie it in then. Lots of pink. Yeah. This does remind me a little bit of Valentine's Day, but... I would be happy to receive this card <laughs> all year yeah, round. Yeah, absolutely. Um, on the sentiment stamps, I've got lots of lovely sentiments that would that totally go with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be um, Mother's Day as well. There's absolutely. a Mother's Day sentiment. Yeah, which is so important. It really is. Um, so we've got, thanks ever so much, hello beautiful, deepest sympathy, I'm so sorry, you see, you see these will go with this um, um, die set really well, an embossing folder, much love, happy birthday, flying by just to say hi, butterfly wishes, make a wish, the good things in life are better with you, that's a lovely one, uh, hope your day is as amazing as you are, sending hugs and kisses and welcome to the world. And then you've also got the Hello Spring, Happy Easter, Mother's Day, Thinking of You, Celebrate New Beginnings, Happy Birthday, Thanks a bunch, and Get Well Soon. That's a nice bright pink of the gemstones. Yeah, I like it. Mm. Okay. So grab your pokey tool and move those in place if they've shifted a little bit, mm -hmm. which they have. But I think it makes it, it just gives it a special touch to yeah. add the gemstones, just a little something extra. Absolutely. Right. So you've got a nice kaleidoscope of butterflies. Another kaleidoscope. I love that. Not a swarm. <laughs> no, that's so scary. <laughs> I like butterflies, don't like moths. <laughs> Aww. And then just making sure our wings are really nice so that they pop out. And we are done. You can add a sentiment there. Mm. I will skip that part for now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's all right. There you go. Very pretty indeed. Love that. Love the colours. But of course, it's all about those butterflies. 
uh, go to the website and see all of the items that we've got on the show. Uh, we've got seven day savers as well, so you can have a look at the card stock. We've got some from Joy Crafts, uh, some from Sentimentally Yours. Oh, and of course, we've got our deal of the day. I can't believe we've still got deal of the day left, to be quite honest, because you pick two of your choice of the 12 by 12 paper pads from Clarity. Lovely. Do you want to talk us through this um, first set then, yes. Jeanette? Yes, so this is the circle butterfly design, mm -hmm. and it's a 6x6 six six die, so perfect for those larger cards. I, I know people prefer, sometimes they prefer yeah. larger cards. Absolutely. And this will create an instant card front for you. They're also really good if you haven't got a lot of time to craft mm -hmm. because you can whip up a card so quickly. Yes, and these cut into your card so there won't be any fallout for the larger oh, sorry. main die. Sorry, this oh, one. Yeah. So there won't be any fallout. It'll just cut into your card and then you just um, not fluff up the wings, but just make them. Oh, I like the word fluff. fluff. <laughs> yeah, fluff, <laughs> fluff is fine. Mm -hmm. And then you get that beautiful dimension, and then you can layer it up with all of the um, other dies that mm. are included. Yes, the layering dies. But isn't that pretty? Nice little wall hanging. Yes, perfect for like more than cards. You can create some oh, beautiful yeah. home decor pieces, make some framed art for some gifts. Mm. That'd yep. be beautiful. So this you said has been distressed. Yeah, so that's the embossing folder that's included in the bundle and that has been just distressed so that that top layer of the card comes off and then you see a little bit of the white layer underneath. Yeah. Add a bit of sparkle to each of the butterflies and you have a beautiful card. Absolutely. I love this one. Big card here. Yes. Isn't that sweet? Beautiful. And it has that perfect um, center in the middle so that you can stamp your sentiment. Mm, this one's our most popular, this one. Uh, so it's £15.98, 521439 is your item number. Then we've got the butterfly wave embossing folder and then we've also got the swoop die. That's a good word. <laughs> I love saying swoop. swoop. Yeah. Um, so I can show you the board so you can see how it cuts out. But yeah, I like this because it it sort of enables you to put a sentiment at the side, which not yes. a lot of people do. Yes, mm. and this is this creates an A5 size card, which is beautiful. And butterflies are so classic; they're yeah. perfect for weddings, thank you cards, birthday cards, mm. sympathy cards. Absolutely. Look at this one. So that's a combination, I guess, of the yes embossing so folder. So here, uh, Laura Bradley has used the embossing folder. So she's embossed it in white and then added the butterflies yeah. from the die set on top. And then we've got another distressed one. Oh yes, I love I love that distressed look. Yeah. It's so easy. It's such a great effect. Good to achieve. Or you just straight emboss in mirror card. Shows well. That's on so mirror elegant. Card. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Let's have a look at this one at the front. Oh, if I can I get it off? That one. <laughs> that's really nice. So there's some, um, that's from Anne Melvin, and there's some metallic card underneath, mm. and then with, she layered it with a blue, and you can just see that yeah. pop of color, sorry, the pop of uh, metallic right underneath it. Mm. 1598, item number is 98, ooh, is 984154. Uh, we've now got a lattice hearts embossing folder and this one comes along with the butterfly heart set. Uh, this one might be my favourite because it's such a lovely large card, you know, mm -hmm. fills, fills the space. Yeah, and then yeah. it creates a heart a heart shaped butter butterfly wait no heart shaped butterflies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's all <laughs> Sorry. good. I was saying it backwards. <laughs> no, not at all. Isn't that sweet? Look, there you go. They're popping out. This is a great one to send to someone you love. Look there with the um, glitter cardstock behind. Mm -hmm. That's very so sweet. Nice. Yeah, and I really, really want to try this with the vellum for just a softer look. I think it's going to be very effective and beautiful. We'll ask Paul. He's next door. <laughs> okay. Here we are. That one's my favourite. May, may Jeanette have some vellum to pr to play with for the next hour. Is that all right? Thanks, oh, Paul. Yes. I'm being Hooray. cheeky. <laughs> Just a little bit so she can cut a card. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> uh, so it's fifteen pounds and ninety eight pence. Nine one four nine one four. Then we've got our basket weave and roses folder, embossing folder, and then we have got the butterfly wave, and this is the one that uh, Jeanette's just been demonstrating mm -hmm. with. Very nice. Let's so, have a look. Let's have a look at the board. So that again makes it a five size card and beautiful space here for a sentiment on that side or the other side as well. Yeah, like that. And you've got your um, layering dies mm -hmm. too. So there's a lot of dies in this set, and then we've got. A very nice card. So easy to achieve, isn't it, Jeanette? I love that. It's so cheerful. Mm. Just a bit of um, 
I want to say they're probably oxides, just a light wash of oxides. Yep. And then just die cut, die cut the panel. Fluff up those wings. Yep. <laughs> and nice. Uh, I love that on the patent card as well. Yeah, yeah, that's so elegant and it gives you just a different effect. And I love how she trimmed down the design so it's not mm. the whole. Absolutely. It's not the whole design. You can I just don't kind of trim into it. Uh, 1598, item number is 294831. And then last but not least, we are finishing off with our Carnation 6x6 embossing folder. And you've got two stamp sets. So we'll have another little read of what we've got here. Thanks so much. Welcome to the world. Hello, beautiful. Sending hugs and kisses. Deepest sympathy. Hope your day is as amazing as you are. That's a lovely one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the good things in life are better with you. I'm so sorry. Much love. Happy birthday. Make a wish. Butterfly wishes. And flying, flying by just to say hi. Do you think some of those butterflies in there, the stamps, match with some of the dyes? They do. Oh, they do? They do coordinate. Oh, I like coordination. <laughs> I do. And then we've got these ones. Uh, hello, spring. Happy Easter. Happy Mother's Day. Thinking of you. Celebrate new beginnings. I like that you've got like a little worker stamp in there mm -hmm. as well with the flowers. Happy birthday. Thanks, bunch. And get well soon. And then, of course, you've got the embossing folder. Yes, I love that frame embossing folder because it's perfect for adding your sentiments in the center. Mm. Just a nice, it brings your eye right to the sentiment. Yeah, and any of them will fit in, won't they? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And then you can also die cut some butterflies, maybe add a few in the center there. That'd be very nice as well. There we are. And did I have another sample? Yes, I think I did. Yeah, so this one is just using the stamps on their own. And mm -hmm. then um, she stamped, was it? More about the yeah. So she stamped the um, butterfly and used the coordinating die for it mm. to die cut up that colorful butterfly there. Yep. But the whole background is just the stamps, just repeated stamping. This is lovely, Very isn't it? Isn't it so pretty? And what you could do if you wanted was um, second and third generation, so it looks like Ooh. you're like looking into the picture. Yeah, you could build it, yeah. like just layer up the, the stamping. Yeah. That'd be really nice. Oh. Uh, very nice. Uh, Twelve pounds and ninety-seven pence. Item number is four seven nine four three nine. Don't forget about your deal of the day. We've got for you and your seven-day savers there on the show. Uh, so check out the website. Uh, so you'll be back at three o'clock. Three o'clock. Do you know which ones you're demoing? Oh, I think this one. The stamp set? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> ah, There's so many. <laughs> so many on there, but it's all about the butterflies. Um, and I think you're with Hayley at 3 o'clock. Yes. Marvellous. Again, do call us on the usual number or check out on the website at herchanda.com. We're going to take a quick break. We'll see you after this. And coming up next, we have got All and Create, followed by Have a Clarity Christmas Party One Day Special. And after that, oh, Tea with Tilly. Oh, I must have a look. Hello, everyone. We're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Kathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start, and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand-illustrates all our fantastic finished designs. All of our products are manufactured in the UK and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hochanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, get inspired on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Hayley and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Club G45 from Graphic 45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online.
This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Joy to the World Angelic Altered Book Box Kit and Christmas Card Trio containing the Joy to the World Angelic Altered Book Box and the Joy to the World Christmas Card Trio projects. You'll get almost everything you need to create these projects from scratch including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 322425 for £41.99 plus your postage from hochanda.com or give us a call on 01733 62000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. <laughs> Well, hello everybody, a warm welcome. We've got another fantastic hour with All and Create and the lovely Joe Rice. Really liked our last hour. And can yeah, I say, a you. lot of people have been mentioning, because Joe shared a technique. Do you want to let everyone know about the Brea techniques? Yeah. Loads of people are talking about it. Just something that I came up with, we use stencils a lot with ink on, mm. spritz them with water, put them down on card and get a lot yeah. of results. And I've used the Brea to take the impression off an embossing folder. Yeah. And I just thought, is it going to work with a stencil? So I had to go, it brilliant. It's just something a little bit different. We like you, different, you like we? I always love to say, well, that's the whole point. We love to play. What I really like about Ho Chandra is the fact we get incredible crafters like you sharing their techniques. What I would suggest, uh, if you do have the time, it's well worth it, go onto our website. You can recap. We've got a 60-day bank of shows, uh, so you can go back 60 days. Have a look at this morning's 8 o'clock hour, and you get to see that technique with Joe. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to start off, because we're so busy the last hour for a happy hour deal, we're going to show you our brand new happy hour deal. So it's unique to this hour. Look at that saving. Thirteen ninety-eight. You're saving ten pounds, and you're getting this beautiful collection of curiosities and flourishing vase. Seventeen stamps in total. And I know you're a big fan of these, Jane. Yeah, yeah, fabulous. Drawn by Tracy Evans. Oh. Absolutely brilliant. And there's so much you can do with them. Yeah. I mean, wings. They're very on trend, aren't they? Very much so. Well, see, I love. The, it's the connotation of wings and you can put so think about your scrapbooking your card making put a really nice positive affirmation yeah, yeah. this yeah. is nice though as well love that star and that's just a bit of a glossy accent yeah yeah and, and again you don't need a lot mm -hmm. quite simple but stunning that's yeah. a lovely one by Janet and the previous one was by, by Curry. Curry yes yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. have a look. Oh, this is and nice. Look at that on the mount board. Kath Beautiful. now is taking it to. Yeah. But that's when we talk about mixed media. Look yeah. at that. But it just shows with all and crate how the stamps, the stencils, they all work together. Yeah. Oh, this one. This one's by a oh. very talented <laughs> craft. This is your, your own one. How did you do this one, Joe? It's nice to chat to someone who's actually done To be it. fair, that's a lovely technique. It's a really nice, quick and easy background technique with your acrylic block. Okay. And you just put the ink. So that was mixing three colours. I love yeah. to mix my colours of ink. Yeah. You can just do it with one colour, but yeah. I love mixing. So that's three colours of ink straight onto your block, spritz it with water, pop it down on your, on your card. And let the stamp Brilliant tell the story. Yeah. Beautiful. What about this? I mean, journaling, yes. journaling, again, it, it's so popular at the yeah. minute. But I love the sketchy feel. I mean, yes, Tracy yes, is such yes. a talented designer. Again, the way that herself? she does, the, the sketchiness is, yeah. is so lovely. Now, you love to decoupage the elements. You've actually yes. taken the wings. Yeah. yeah. yeah Joe, I just I had this. to have a couple of feathers as well. Oh, yeah. I was thinking wings, feathers. Works. And here... And look at thing. the hand. You see the hand? You can add things to mm -hmm. it. So Debbie there has very cleverly added the flower. Yeah. She did do another beautiful one, unfortunately we haven't got it today, where she actually put two hands mm -hmm. together. <laughs> so they were holding the flower. That's nice. Yeah. I, I like mean, again, that. it's the things you have to think yeah. of. I mean, just think, could you add a ring to that? Could you make it to an engagement? Oh. Yeah, I love the way your mind works. Very, very good. I've got to tell you that 10%, what? We're three minutes into the show. 10% of the happy hour deal has gone. We're talking 17 stamps designed by Tracy Evans. Beautiful, beautiful stamps. I love the fact we've got that. It's a modern contemporary star with a heart nestled in, the hand dangling the heart, the sentiments, the wings, the flowers. All of these you very, will use in your love. Very, quickly, can I point out this flower yeah. here, you can stamp it twice. So you get the full flower. Oh. She very cleverly just drew half. So it's up to you. You can have half That's the flower clever. or the full flower. I mean, there's an awful lot going on. They are clear, yeah. actually. Good point. Let me just whip these around because it's worth seeing the actual stamps. They are clear stamps, but so effectively... So much you can do with these. I mean, value for money, 
what you're getting yeah. there for 13.98 saving 10 pounds we are busy that is our happy hour deal the price will revert back to its original form at one o'clock so at the end of this hour but like the previous hour i think it's going to be very close what's going to go the stock yeah. or the clock uh we've got some stencils for you we had a play with these at eight o'clock and again i know you're a massive fan of these stencils so versatile yes yeah i mean stencils they're such a gem mm. there's so much you can do with them you know we can put ink through them we can put our versamark our sticky ink through mm. them and then add gilding flake oh yeah you can add perfect pearls nice. there are so many things you can do your yeah. grunge paste all your paste yeah. like that also put them through your embossing folder mm -hmm. and then what about sanding it back if you've got a card that's got a different colored core you could sand it back lovely put your, your gilding wax yeah. on top oh i mean Honestly, All these ideas. so many things. Yeah, and that's the key. But as uh, backgrounds, backgrounds, they're fantastic. Yeah. And again, just by changing the colour, you can almost change the notoriety of the card from a, a feminine one to a masculine one. Yeah. You just wanted to create I mean, some brickwork. I mean, look at this on Craft Card. That's a lovely one by oh, Janet. So think yeah. about your texture paste. Think about running it through your die cutting machine to get an embossed detail. And what I do like, if I pop those down, the actual you can see all of these designs incredibly usable where would you use a stencil over the sort of mask so the innie and the outie of the wall it depends what exactly what sort of thing you want mm -hmm. i mean you can even use the two together oh are that happy you know, what you playing see, with don't, tones? don't forget i mean something like this this is using the actual one with that shows the bricks mm. but because we're using the stencil we're almost getting the outie anyway so yeah. you're mixing and matching instead of actually having two different things you've really got four because you've got a positive and negative with Love both and just showing this was just us playing yeah it so just, just shows mixing some colors very very quickly yeah. that's uh, effectively taking the ink from the stencil flipping it over pressing yeah. it down and that was the original so just yeah. blending first to get that impression and then effectively getting that added detail again what about making a stack of backgrounds and then when you need those quick cards you've Done. got them 1497 you're getting all three of these phenomenal stencils beautiful detail 313 897 item number and all create of really building up a yeah. legacy when it comes to uh, stencils well one thing they've established uh, as a company i know abs getting some fantastic designs yeah. internationally yeah. this is i mean shock and awe beautiful yeah. beautiful yeah. stamp set yeah and the detail yeah i mean that's the thing and what's nice about this is i'm a big fan of little worker stamps mm -hmm. that i love to add but also it's nice to have a main image which for me i can make a background stamp the image job done yeah but then i can add more if i want i can decoupage it i can add color Mm. Well, you like to, and I know um, you've discussed this before, how you like to take an element, say, if I pick this up, just the post box or the yeah. letter and lift yeah. it and de decoupage that. Or even use it on its own. I mean, the beauty of this is you're not getting these two stamps. If you look at the elements there that you could cut out or yeah. stamp on their own or mask off, you're actually getting a lot more stamps. That's so this is made by Abs himself. Well, that's really cool. I like it. Oh. He did that on one of his previous shows. This is nice. And again, look at the stencils in the background. Well, yeah, yes. that's a good point. Yeah. He uses them. Lovely. If I pop that down, I'll show you a few other examples. Now, we actually showed this in the previous hour, but seeing the difference. So, this is by tone, Anne. Yeah. Nice. Or. And that one by Janet. What about, oh wow, we didn't show this one. That's yes, now this one was at the front, and we tend not to mention the ones at the no. front, so I've swapped them round so that we can mention this one by Corrie. How beautiful is that? That. But again, if you had a big journal, what oh. a fantastic journal page. As a composition image, Corrie's done yeah. such a good job yeah. using all the elements, mixing the two sets, obviously designed to work together. You're not just getting that main, uh, so we're looking at A4 stamp set, you're also getting the border stamp in the mix as well if we just show you here and that's our uh, fly high it is yeah we have to think about that we one do. Fly uh, high. just show you. <laughs> joe's been calling it a different name uh seeing here that's nice again a lovely stamp set and it's got lots of elements i know i keep saying it but look at all the different elements this morning i picked out just the numbers mm -hmm. and again the plane i love to just stamp the plane on its own cut it out and make my own embellishments yeah. oh I mean, again, you could make a quick card, just do some sky, add a, add a plane. Done. Yeah. yeah. 
33.98 your price. You're saving three pounds. Two three one nine four seven your item number. Let's jump onto the website and have a little look. Great way to get ahead. Uh, one thing we're going to go straight to. Can I just show you the happy hour deal? I only mention it because it is busy. Uh, a quarter of the stock has gone. We're only nine minutes into the show, but it's one of those, uh, I think, as happy our deals go, it should be busy. Look at the amount of uh, design work you're going to be getting. The wings uh, you've got in there, the beautiful flowers. It's the small little touches. For instance, that one stem with half a flower. You can use half an hour, half a flower rather, or you can stamp it twice and get that full flower. Tracy, you don't need me to tell you this, she is such a talented designer and crafter, so she really has given you a great set. Personally, I just love the wings. Yes. Do you know, yeah, I think you yeah, can put those yeah, on anything. Yeah, yeah, I used another stamp set of Tracy's, which has got a large ladybird, mm. and I actually put the wings on the ladybird. Oh, that's clever. Just Same for something around. a bit different. Yeah. And, and that's the thing with these mm -hmm. designs. Do mix and match them. Great for steampunk. So oh, if you just brilliant. add some wings, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what are we so going to do? So we're going to have a go at this one if you want to oh. hold that up. Now, look. Can you imagine doing something like this? But if I was to just give you this, it's a little bit scary. But when you see Joe explaining how to break it down step by step, this is achievable. Very, okay? very. And I know it's one of your passions because you do a lot of workshops. Is, you yeah. love to share yeah, your techniques. Yeah, yeah. And I love to be able to break things down to show people how we make the background. And then, as I say, you can stamp it as it is or we can take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. A lot of it depends how much time you've got, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, when we have those emergency cards for the birthday, you've forgotten. We've all been there. We've all been there. So we're going to use our gel press plate. Okay. What I will say, the All and Create, the acrylic block, is perfect to put the gel press on. Yes. I find it's a lot easier to hold oh, it. Oh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some ink mm -hmm. and I'm going to add three colours. You tend to work in threes? Yes, yes. Well, technique? obviously, as you know, we like odd numbers. Mm. And that's because our brain likes to make it to an even number. Mm. And it gives it symmetry. And when it does, it produces pheromones and makes you feel happy. Ah. So that's why we tend to use odd numbers. And flower rangers, gardeners, it's that. all to okay, do with that's that. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. So I just need this here for, to clean my waste. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the green. And I'm just going to use Billy Brayer. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add some ink just to the top here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to clean up on a piece of card. Another little tip with your brayer, when you pop him down, keep him this way. Mm. He's a soft rubber roller and he will take the impression. If you leave him too long like that, you may get a line. Mm. And then when you come to brayer, you'll get a line. So it is worth Good just tip. keeping him that way. So what I'm going to do now is just turn this round. And as I say, I find it so much easier because it's on my block. And I'm just going to put some ink now in the middle. I know it looks like I'm not doing anything, but I really am. Mm -hmm. Again, clean that off. Nope, blue. So, coming up from the base, you always find a little uh -huh. animal. Okay. My black Labrador's obviously been near. Oh, <laughs> what's your black Labrador's name? Eric. Eric. My husband's a bit of a footballer, yeah. um, oh, so we've got Eric a certain Cantona. Eric, yes. Labrador's such lovely dogs. Oh, he's my craft, craft yeah, buddy. He sits under my chair while I, while I craft. Oh. So, that's my clean-up which we're going to use later. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop the stencil on here. Mm -hmm. Now, the stencil obviously doesn't cover the whole thing, but I've got a plan in mind and I just have to remember which side to do it. What I'm doing is covering this part, but I want to leave, if I bring this in, I want to leave this part. And the idea is because of the pylon being there, Ah, so we're leaving so, that part for the pylon, yeah. and then we're just stenciling that area. So there. I have to think which side to okay. do it. So let's hope, well, if not, we'll just change it round, won't we? Now, what we're going to do on this bit to add a bit of interest, we're just going to flick some water. Mm -hmm. Just so it's not just the ink mm. on its own. Okay. And then take my piece of card and just press. 
Nice. Would you ever bray that or not really? Y you can do, but I find just pressing with my hands okay. is. And then Ooh. that's the background Ooh. we're going to use. I have to say, that, I love that. And that, just those drops of water have yeah. had an effect. That, by itself, is a great background. I think we'll all like agree, that. that's cool. that is really cool. Well, we haven't finished yet, okay. because what we're going to do is take our stencil off, yep. and then another piece of card, and this is our twofer. Love and it. And rub this again. Mm -hmm. And again, I would do this, obviously mm -hmm. use one for the project, and then you've got mm -hmm. another one to put to one side. Give that a rub. And Ooh. look at that. Two techniques. Two well, fantastic backgrounds. Not just two, because remember, uh -huh. we've still got <laughs> oh, here this. We go. Well, we'll do the spritzy for this okay, one. Okay, the crafty spritz. I'm worried we're going to have a wet corner That's over right. there. And we'll offset it there. That's when we were getting the early on, when it was my pre show ritual. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we won't tell everyone right. about that, will we? There we go. What happens at Hachanda's stays, stays at Hachanda's Hachanda. rules. Yeah, yeah. I've learned so that. part of the family yeah. now. Why don't you see me getting ready for a show? <laughs> right, so there we go. Nice. And again, I love this. We've got that white space there. And this is something I know you're a big advocate of, and actually Tracy is too. Yes, It's yeah. don't be afraid of having white space. Yeah. And that's something is, uh, so many of us new to crafting, when you do start out, you feel you have to cover the entire space. You, yeah. do, you do not. But when you consider all the backgrounds you just made from one, effectively starting oh. off with one background. Yes, yeah. That's and cool. again, it's just sort of one little mm -hmm. project, takes a few minutes, makes some backgrounds. Yeah. And I mean, when you think of all the different stencils, all the yeah. times you could use this. Now, I'm going to mention our happy hour deal. If I was to say to you, what word rhymes with hizzy? Dizzy? Close. Is it? B on it. Busy? Busy, because we busy. are busy for our happy hour deal. Uh, we're you know not dizzy for our happy hour deal. Well, I tell you what, we're getting dizzy how busy we are. Uh, it was a tenuous link. I won't do that again. Uh, so what I can tell you, happy hour deal, a third of the stock has gone. I'm not surprised, though. Have a look at these. You're getting both sets, 17 stamps in total by Tracy. They are phenomenal. Look at the wings you're getting in there, the star. You've got the hand, I love the hand dangling that heart. Sentiments in there, the sketchy feel uh, to the uh, flowers. It is just a beautiful stamp set. But when you consider this is what you could make, how about that? Or maybe you want to do something like this. Maybe you want to go mixed media. You can do it. Or what about, quite simply, with the flowers, how about that? It is such a good, versatile stamp set, but at that price, it's a get in my, it's a get in my basket price. Thirteen ninety eight, busy for a happy hour deal. Look, either way, at the end of the hour, whether we sell out or the time runs out, the price will go back up to twenty three ninety eight the next time we feature these on the Hochanda. Okay. So remember, I was saying this morning about using the acetate. This is a really good tip. So. All in Crate, whenever you buy a stamp set, you've got the acetate printed. with the printer design. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Abs was keen to have that for this very... Yes, yeah. So, so remember when I was saying that I had to get it the right way? Yeah. So obviously I wanted a solid part mm -hmm. here, and that's so that when I stamp, mm. I can get that pylon on there. Perfect. So if I hadn't done it right, we would just be redoing it and putting it the okay. other side. But that's just your double check. Yeah, well, you've done well. So, we've got our... It's a large stamp. Anybody now, I know we've got some copy, plain copy paper here yeah. that you like to stamp on. That's just for me. Yeah. It, it just gives me a, a, a better impression and I think more confidence. Mm. I'm not a very confident stamper and one thing I like to do at workshops is just sort of relate to other ladies that if they're not confident, I'm not confident, but I have to find ways yeah. to make it work. Well, I'm glad you're doing this because I know sometimes if we've not worked with larger stamps, yeah. it can be a little bit yeah. daunting and you're worried, well, what if I don't get it right? Yeah. So you're just yeah. showing us here, don't be scared. Yeah. I mean, if I can do it, honestly, anybody can. Oh. Well, so, you're very modest. Oh, no, it's true. Um, so we've got the, the block, which is uh -huh. brilliant because it's flexible. Yeah. So I'm going to ink it up. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing is, when we're inking, lots of little light taps, mm -hmm. but do give your stamp a good covering. 
Yeah. What ink do you prefer this to use? This is the Versafine okay. because it does give a nice fine image. I think there's mm. a clue in the name. Yeah. It is a, a Versafine. It's also slow drying. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to um, add more, I quite often have to remember to blot it. Mm -hmm. um, Lovely. I mean, to be honest, I do say to ladies, you know, if you miss a bit, it isn't the end of the world. No. We can draw it in, yes. we can... We're going for our shabby chic. Well, exactly. So, again, I can see through, so I can line it up, and I just want that pile on in there, and mm -hmm. I can get the bike on. Yeah. Perfect. And again, for me, I just work with it better this mm. way. So horizontal. Now, again, give it a good press. And like we were saying before, you can lift. The one place that people tend not to get a good image is in the middle. Mm. And a lot of ladies end up really yes. sort of giving yeah. heart massage yeah, to the. So with these, you can just lift them up a little. It's a good tip. And that is uh, one of um, the real pluses to having that flexibility yeah. with the um, acrylic blocks. I did do a, a workshop the other week and we had a large floral and I passed the acrylic block round and every single lady stamped it perfectly oh. and they couldn't believe it. Oh, that it. must have been nice. It, it, it was, because again, the tables aren't exactly perfect for stamping. Mm. I mean, again, you know, if your stamp doesn't work, it could be the table, it could be the ink. Again, your ink pad, if it's an old ink pad, you know, having affect. a new ink pad helps. Yeah. And when, look, what we all say with any new uh, stamp, Stamp it out a couple of times because they always yeah. have a coating there, so yeah. it's just a yeah. manufacturing yeah. process. I always cover it in ink first, to be honest. Yeah. I give it a coating of ink, mm -hmm. stamp it out once, give it another coating of ink and leave it overnight. Yeah. Oh. Just let it season. That's a good description, season. So, let's see how Fine it, there wine. we go. Now, if I can produce that, now, it just shows look you. Look how much is going on here and you can appreciate that Joe has not missed any detail from there. But let's just pause for a moment and think, as designs go, that is a beautiful stamp. Even here, because obviously, look, as crafters, some more experienced crafters, you can start lifting up elements, we can start colouring in. But you've got a beautiful sentiment, but it's not just a sentiment, it's the way it wraps around that sort of ribbon. You've got this large dramatic pylon in the background. You've got the old style telephone, so it's that theme, that continuity. Uh, you've got depth drawing you back. You've got more words coming through here. You've got more background and text and words. There's just an awful lot going on. Beautiful stamp. I really like, I think I'm discovering more and more as we go. You do, it draws that you is, in. There's so much to see. That is a really yeah. nice... Now you could, oh, yeah. if you needed, you could give that as it is. Yeah, happily. But I think we need to add a little bit more. Okay. So what we're going to do this morning, I did colour with pencil. Yeah. So I thought this afternoon we'll just use our... I want to keep the colours similar. Okay. So I'm going to colour this part here and I'm going to use the oxide on my mats. This is nice. And I'm just going to add some water. Okay. Another little tip, I have seen ladies mm. put water on their brush and take the ink from the pad yeah. which isn't a good idea because you're actually introducing water and moisture to your pad I don't want to do that. Right. so just try not to do that ladies okay. so we're going to add some water okay. and again I tend to just add it to one little area mm -hmm. now I know it's obvious but sometimes we forget the obvious the more water we have the paler the color mm. so to start off I'll make it quite watery in this corner mm -hmm. and do a wash but then yeah. when I want to intensify the colour, I can go to the area without any water. Okay. So I'll very quickly just check we can see it. Mm. And the beauty with these stamps, it gives you the areas where you want the shade, if yeah. you can see. So okay. I would just do a quick wash over the whole right. of the banner. And again, I do like to work with just a few colours because then yeah. I find they all just work so well together. I think if you introduce too many colours... It gets too busy. It, it don't, we're back to those pizzas. Yeah. We, we don't want pizzas on our cards. We were talking about this earlier on. Sometimes you can throw too much at a card. So keep it simple. And with a design of this nature, the, the stamp's done most of the it hard really work has, for you. It really has, yeah. But also, to be honest, it's like this. I mean, I, I'm rushing it now. But at home, I would really take my time. Do you you thought that was, I thought yeah. I had. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. Oh, I feel silly. I just want no, to show no, you this no, is what we're working on. I actually, I gave that. I stroked it because I thought that was decoupaged up. 
it looks 3D. It's what you, I love to do. So are you going to show us how to do yes, that? Yes, yeah. Brilliant. It's very simple. Well, it looks so effective. I did find myself, I was having to... Is yeah. That, yeah. It looks like yeah. it's jumping off the page. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just put a little bit of black okay. on here as well. Nice. So now we're thinking about shape. I'm thinking, yeah. yeah. So and I'm for the add, stamp, are you going to follow the guidance from the stamp? Yes, yeah. So I'm just going to add some of the black to the blue. If I go straight black, it's going to be too dark. Mm. So the stamp here is showing me, look, we're going to have shade there. Yeah. In fact, the whole of that back bit will be shade. Nice. When you want a banner, if you want something to look like it's raising up in the middle, you have it darker at the sides mm -hmm. and the light would catch the raised bit. Yeah. So down the sides here, and again, we've got lines to show us. Nice. That's where we're going to have. And just at the base here, that's going to be a bit darker. It's all about these little illusions, the trick yeah, to the yeah. eye. So again, down the side here. You can see how much you love what you do. Oh, do you know, I, I adore it. But it's like this, you know, one of my workshops I've done just on colour. So we've stamped an image. There are so many ways mm. to add colour, from your pens to your pencils yeah. to your inks. Uh-huh. Nice. And again, at home, you know, you could just spend the afternoon just pa painting mm -hmm. and it really does slow you down yeah. and just relax you. You know, if you've had a busy time at work or family stress mm -hmm. or just a little bit of painting. Any, I, I understand we have viewers of all different levels watching us and also we have a lot of people who are just channel hopping and discovering us so hello welcome we're Hachanda we're a dedicated craft channel yes we are a shopping TV channel but we're so much more than that our real emphasis is doing what we're doing right yeah. now getting some incredibly talented uh, crafters to really share their techniques with you but I think so many crafters can relate to what you've just said but I wouldn't be here if it yeah. wasn't when I was medically retired I just sat at home and didn't know what to do Oh. and I found crafting on television yeah. and that made me go and find a craft shop it made me start buying products start making cards and well, then I, I found well it's true though yeah. you know the first time I was asked to do a workshop I said oh, oh no no I couldn't because I'm really shy and I'm like no oh. but as it happened the lady that was running it was ill oh. and she was unwell and I didn't want to let everyone down so I stood in and oh. it it just went from there. But you see how much so you love sharing your techniques though, Joe. And if you do have any questions for Joe, we'd love to hear from you. Studio at hochanda.com. But I just feel if I can do it, the journey I've had, then other people can do it. Yeah. And that's the main thing. Oh. So what I've done here, okay. you can see how I've in introduced the shade. Yeah, so we just used the guidance from the stamp. Now also for me, it looks mm -hmm. unbalanced. You see I've got the blue here and this is just the way I work in my head. Okay. I'm not saying it's the right way, but mm -hmm. it's just the way I do it. I think it looks unbalanced. We've got blue, blue, mm -hmm. this corner is too light for me. Okay. So I would just take my ink and put a bit of a wash under the bike. Mm -hmm. And for me, that instantly balances oh, yeah. the whole thing better. Maybe you can see that there. Yeah. Oh, that's a, we're going to continue with this. I just need to give you a recap because our happy hour deal, oh, very busy. Half the I'm stock has gone. Uh, and sorry to keep on going back to it, but it's important because I don't want you to miss out. No. Designed by Tracy Evans, you're getting 17 stamps in total. Beautiful imagery. Uh, and it really does allow you to go in so many different directions. The fact that you've got the wings, you can place those on anything, the connotations the wing have, the beautiful flowers, you've got that heart nestled in that wonderful uh, sort of it's radiating star, the hand ho holding the heart in there too. Just a beautiful set. It really is a very nice set indeed. So the 13.98 your price, saving 10 pounds, over half the stock has gone. Uh, 564, 564 your item number. Do you know, the happy hour deals, very similar, uh, our previous hour, just busy, and I yes. think that for yeah. that, yeah. the saving you're getting, but and these people know the quality, people know, yeah. I mean, Tracy's got such a massive following, mm -hmm. I mean, I followed Tracy's work for years, she's you, good, you know, yeah. she's very good, and such a lovely lady, yeah. I, I mean, again, and this is another one of hers. Now, this comes, we've got a set, a bundle, I should say, the beautiful, mesh. the mesh, is yeah. Yeah. seen it using it earlier on today. Honestly, I just uh -huh. never put it away. Okay. You see, see, Tracy said the same thing. But it's true because we do have stamps that we go to, and again, it's generic male card, You'll female anything, card, yeah. children's card, mm. you know, a mesh background. Again, you could put flowers in front of it, but like I was saying this morning, you could turn it into a 
a net for tennis or for football or fishing nets. Fishing nets. Yeah. So many things. Once your mind starts, you could it have could it be as industrial a if you wanted. It could. Yeah. yeah, and just put sentiment. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do again, I've got areas here. As much as I like mm -hmm. the white, yeah. sometimes we need these little stamps to work in the background. So I'm going to use my distress oxide, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to use it without a block the stamp, so I can almost roll it to just get sort mm -hmm. of a middle section. And I just want to add a little bit of colour here. Now you see it's not overpowering. I mean, I could even do it look over the writing and it doesn't take away from the writing. Mm -hmm. And that's the art of, of making it look like we've built up these layers. Yeah. Again, it's a flat piece of paper, but I want whoever looks at this, like you, to think, oh, yeah. not believe it's flat. Mm. So again, a little bit of a roll. And because I've got some stamp in there, just want to bring some in here to okay. balance it. Nice. And then what I'll do also, the other stamp I love for that is this. The fly high. Yeah, now the fly high comes with uh, the large A4 stamp uh, set as well. The stamp split into two pieces, but it's a really large, dramatic uh, stamp set. So you're getting a lot of design work for your money. Thirty-three ninety-eight your price, saving three pounds. Two three one nine four seven your item number. So again, I've just added the background mm -hmm. stamping of the numbers. Don't want it to take over. I just want it in the background. Yeah, nice. So a couple of other little finishing tricks. We're going to add the pile on. Mm -hmm. I just want to add a little bit of a wash here just to make it stand out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And the same with this one. And yeah. again, I've made put plenty of water with my ink because I don't want it strong. I just want it a little bit of colour, but not too much. Next thing we need to do is out with the black pen. Yeah. So again, if I show you here, these, I've added all these, but I wanted it to look so that you couldn't tell whether they'd actually been stamped mm -hmm. or whether I'd added them. I'll just show you here side by side. Sorry. It's all right. Think. But you can see uh, just what Joe was alluding to. Because you, you can't tell. What was, it no. looks like a whole stamped image. Yeah. Nice. And, and to me, what I'd like to show everyone is mm -hmm. that one looks quite bare in that corner, yeah. doesn't it? So what we'll do is we'll just add some doodling. Okay. And I find the way for me to do it is to just start in the corner, come out once, come out twice, three times. And all I'm going to do is just add some little squiggles, a little bit like a heart monitor. Or you could practice your signature, depending what your signature's like. So we'll just add some little squiggles here and some little dots. And again, don't be afraid of what you're doing. Don't overthink it. So I'm happy with that corner. If I just add some squiggle in here, and then along the bottom, just a little bit more. And that's just adding your own little touch to it. That looks amazing. I mean, what you've done as well, and Joe's showing how achievable it is to create the backgrounds uh, through there. Sorry, I'll let you can finish now. That off. You may want to stand back. Okay. For me, I like to flick. Oh yeah, we won't Put get those. the we won't get the clarity papers. Yeah. So I'm just going to add again, just uh -huh. to bring that blue in. Yeah. Ah. It's almost like. That's going over the white, but not too much. It's layer, layer, yeah, yeah. layer, yeah. but it all looks, it all fuses together and looks like one continuous piece. You see, for me, little things are important. Oh, yeah. Being little, yeah. little things are important. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is yeah. I have stamped the foam, mm -hmm. and I'm going to decoupage that. Okay. But what I like to do, just to make it look 3D, I would normally use charcoal pencils. Yeah but they're in my craft room at home. Okay, I think Eric's right. probably playing with those. Uh -huh. So I have got a water-soluble pencil yeah. here. So it's the same sort of thing, and I'm just going to add some pencil here. Right. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush okay. with some water, and it's the same oh, yeah. as just putting charcoal. And the idea is that then when I decoupage that, nice. It just gives it, and I'm going to do the Would same you, I was going to say, here. that to That's, me, that finishing touch yeah. is what really gives the illusion that it, it yeah. made me actually have to question yeah. whether it had been decoupaged. So, in my head, yeah. I always think, whatever I'm doing, 
the Where's light the is always on my left, I think then, and mm. the dark is always on the right. Okay. And I just do that in my head. Right. Unless, obviously, if I'd got a moon, I'd have to look yeah. at which way that it really was. So I always go on the right hand and the underneath. Mm -hmm. And it's as simple as that. Nice. Now, I would have shade here, wouldn't I? Because this is forward. So again, we had a little bit there. Mm -hmm. But I love doing this, it's one of my favourite things, is just adding that bit of shade to make things look yeah. like they've been decoupaged. Now, but see, just by doing that and from your original colouring work, at home, I'm, I'm looking at a monitor right now, I'm watching, so I'm turning into a viewer, you would be forgiven for thinking, if you had just tuned in, that Joe had decoupaged that on. And it's so easy to do. I mean, everybody can do it. As I say, use yeah. your charcoal or your watercolour pencils. As I say, this is a water-soluble one. And it just gives us, oh, we need a little bit under the bite because it's just floating mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah. So again, if we add some there. Nice, just grounding it. Yeah. See, that looks... And just Joe, that looks it. so good. But when you've seen... Joe shown you from absolute beginning, blank piece of paper, we created the background. So Joe showed you how to do that, achievable. We stamped on that. That is not scary. Don't be scared of a larger stamp. And then just lifted a few details, added some colour, decoupaged the phone, some doodle detail, done. That is it. And imagine giving it, that to somebody. It, imagine putting a frame around it. I'm just going to add that. Uh -huh. I just want that a little bit darker. Okay. You know, one of, when I, I know when to stop, but sometimes, you see that again, Balances it. It, it. You see that three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it just needed. I would love, uh, please, if you do uh, sh copy this or get the stamps home, share. I know that we've got, got an, an all great of, yeah, all group. Well worth Fanatics doing. page, p lovely. Yeah. We get lots of crafters yeah. putting pictures on there. One thing I wanted to Questions, show. Questions if anybody yeah. struggles. Just ask us. I just want to show you something. Now, we have got a deal of the day. So, we, with the deal of the day, any two of these beautiful, and they are absolutely stunning, 12 by 12 clarity, look at this, designer papers. But the reason I picked this up, and I'm just going to go through very, very quickly. You can see how they're double-sided. Really nice. Let me pop that down, because I'm going to go for Shenandoah, which I like. I and just all those designs have been made, and, and they're actually... Yeah printed from the original makes. Well, I know Barbara's made a lot of them with alcohol inks, with different yeah. techniques, with different inks. And she's, obviously, we know what a talented crafter Barbara is. Now, I'm just thinking about your, you know how you mentioned using the acetate? The acetate so yeah. imagine, obviously you trim this down, but adding some of the designs, you've got the backgrounds already there, yeah. and at that price, 12 pounds, actually, yeah. as, a, as a crafter, Joe, so let's just put your crafty hat on, forget yeah. your hero agenda. Yeah. If I was to say a paper pad, 12 pounds 50 yeah. for a 12 yeah. by 12 of this quality, yeah. 48 yeah. sheets, what would you yeah. say to me? And double sided, don't forget. Oh. So actually, you're not getting, you're getting double the sheets, really. So think yeah. about yeah. using your elements coming through. I, I just think that for a deal of the day, and it has been a very busy deal of the and day. And again, us crafters, we, we like everything. You know, if we mm. like stamping, we like papers. Mm. If you want to make your own background like I've done, yeah. if you need a quick background, you've got your paper. I'm you gonna, just need your stamps to go on top of it. You're going to have very quick because we've got to move on. But just, just for anyone who's never seen uh, these papers before, have a look. And it kind of ties in what you were saying, Joe, about yeah. how they've been crafted. They are beautiful paper pads. Effectively, it works out. £12.50 each, £24.98, you're saving £11, but the reason I mention it, just imagine using your All and Create stamps, especially the yes. larger stamps yep. on here. Instant background, done, you're going to create something that looks absolutely smashing. Love it. Okay, that's our deal of the day. Uh, something else that's proved extremely popular is pretty much everything on the show. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to tell you a little bit about Freedom Membership. It's just another way to increase your shopping experience here at Hochanda. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. 
Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family there we go a little bit about freedom membership uh, so what we're going to do quick recap then i promise we're going to get back to joe now you heard me talking about and we actually featured it in our last demonstration this fantastic stamp set so you're getting a large dramatic stamp set. You're getting both of these. We'll focus here first off. Now this is an A4 stamp set. It's split into two separate stamps. So you don't have to, I know if it was one large continuous A4 stamp, something sometimes a little bit scary. Uh, but look at what you're getting. The details in there. You've got the pylons, you've got the verses, you've got all the individual elements. So that's one stamp. And then just below you can see you've got another set in here sort of dealing with, it's got You've got mail, connotations of communication, connecting. So that's one set. And then here, this is our uh, flying high. See, now, Joe, you called this something else this morning that we can't repeat on TV. It's nothing too bad, but um, just in case your mind's worrying. But in my head now, I'm really concentrating. I'm not saying that. <laughs> so uh, 33.98 your price. You are getting all of these stamps. But here's the thing, because we've seen them being used. So get imaginative. What about doing something like this? This is made by Abs himself. Love that. Screen to be decoupaged. You're flying high. Beautiful detail. You kind of got, this is cool, because it looks like a circuit board, but then it's got a vintage feel. It's quite modern. Um, or how about something like this? That's nice. Or maybe. You want to do something like that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. love them all. Great. Okay, so that's uh, one option for you. Thirty-three ninety-eight your price. Two three one nine four seven your item number. We've got some stencils. Um, something Joe was talking about, and I totally agree. Stencils offer so much variety. So when I talk about variety, it's it's techniques, it's the way we use them. Uh, so you can use a little, you can use part, you can use them as a whole, you can create backgrounds, you can use them with your gel press, uh, jelly plates, you can use them, you can add structure paste on there, we can use them with our inks, we can use them for letterpress techniques, you can stamp with them. Uh, effectively, when I say stamp with them, so you create your background, flip it over, and then you're pressing it down and getting the positive and the negative. Extremely versatile. But it's overall, it's the power of a good background. Just showing you here, speaking of techniques, really simple. You know how I mentioned that you can uh, get the most out of it. So Joe did this at eight. So see, literally blended on top with the stencil. And then because there's lots of ink on the stencil, she flipped it over and created another background. Or what you can do is just here, make it spritzing. Uh, oh no, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm going to pop this down. Joe did something with the stencil. I'm going to put her on the spot because she's going to finish some, something off. We might get her this hour to show you it because it's worth seeing again. She used her brayer and uh, showed technique. Now, considering I've been at Hochanda for three years, I've never seen that technique. So uh, I want to share it with you guys. So would that be all right to see that again, yep, Joe? Definitely. Oh, right, thank you. Uh, all right, so there we go. Those are the stencils. Getting busy for our stencils. $14.97 your price, saving three pounds. I just love. The designs, they are stunning. Uh, 313-897, your item number. 
Got to give a mention to our happy hour deal. 60% of the stock has gone. I'm not surprised because what you are getting, I mean, first up with the happy hour deal. So either way, at the end of this hour, whether we sell out or uh, time runs out, the price will go back to 23.98 the next time you see this stamp set. Uh, you're saving 10 pounds here. Great stamps, beautiful designs. I love the wings going on there. You've got that heart nestled into that radiating star. Uh, you've got the hand dangling the heart. You've got the Valentine's flowers. Valentine's Day is coming mm. up, February. Let me just show you some very quick examples. So mixed media, that's Cass. great. That's really, yeah. I mean, yeah. that is a strong piece. And it also allows us to use all the goodies in our stash. Yeah. But, I mean, the beauty, again, of these stamps is, as we've seen, you can stamp the design if you need a quick card, and yeah. it still looks amazing. Or you can spend a long time using mixed media techniques, adding different medium to design. You know, they are so versatile. This is a good example of a card that you can do. It won't take you long to do, but, my goodness, that is a beautiful Isn't card. It? Yeah. And again, I'm thinking, and because I do magazine work, I'm always thinking ahead. So I'm thinking, maybe we've got Valentine's, we've got spring. I mean, again, the vase oh. of flowers, perfect for spring. Yeah. Look at those wings. Yeah. Now, to me, yeah. so personally, I'm a big fan of angels. Yes. Love yeah. angels. Yeah. It's the imagery, yeah. the connotations. So you've got two beautiful wings. You can decoupage. You can add them to existing designs and totally yeah. change the design. So you can have a beautiful figure. Yeah, and you and can add, add the wings. Oh, I tell you, yeah. I tell you what, uh, we had uh, on D. So D had some beautiful clarity uh, designs. Yes, yeah, Imagine yeah. adding the wings onto the characters there, turning yeah, them into yeah, uh, angels, yeah, guardian yeah, angels. Yeah, yeah. There's so much but you can also, do. But also, so many people, you know, at the minute, quite a lot of the ladies are having a rough time, mm. one reason or another. Um, and I think in winter, you know, we all tend to get that cold, the flu, the bugs. Mm -hmm. Well, what about just sending a nice card to a friend Kiss who's a bit run down, saying smile, and sending a little bit of love, a yeah. little bit of wings, like something just to hold them, a hug. Yeah. How lovely nice. is that? Busy for our happy hour deal. Thirteen ninety-eight your price for this hour and this hour only. You are saving ten pounds. Do take advantage. Uh, you've only got fifteen more minutes to take advantage of that price. Five six four five six four your item number. Right. I know you just wanted so, to finish yeah, this off. Just a few finishing tricks yeah, because again for, for me it's not finished and it doesn't look finished. Mm -hmm. If I put that on a white background and again I'm just showing you my thinking, it doesn't pop to me. Right. So I'm Edging. going to take, yes, I'm, I'm going to edge it. I'm not going to blend because mm -hmm. I may come in too far. So I'm just going to do this. Ah. Now, okay. just by flicking, now I actually want the colour more in the corners. So I'm going to angle my pad so I get more of the pad and mm. it comes across. But when I go down the sides, I'm holding it more at that sort yeah. of angle. And you'll see okay. the difference. I'm sure the sound people like this because it's quite noisy, mm -hmm. isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's quite satisfying. Oh, it's a bit like, remember, I don't know, you won't. Yeah. Chalk on blackboards I at school. I remember chalk on blackboards, you? yeah. That noise, if yeah. I record it. Oh, oh. oh. Sends a shiver through it, my spine. Yeah. Yeah. Just thinking about it. So, if I just do that, can you see the difference? That does. Doesn't yeah. it? Just oh. simple that makes it pop. It does. It, and Once again, just makes things. it look like it's raised. Yeah. yeah. Right, white pen. So we tried to make this look 3D. To help it, we just want some highlights. So now this is the reverse. We've this added is, the darker. Yeah. So now uh, the areas the... that we left, we're, we're lifting, we're lightening. And also, if I want some little dots. So I like to do a line, but also just add some dots. Mm. And again, I would just add a few of the little white splatters which I've become rather obsessed with they have to go mm -hmm. on everything and and for me that just takes it Done. to now I'm, I'm happy I'm it's yeah. finished oh, I think that's yeah. fantastic uh, and this is something that you can do uh, we'll we'll crack on we'll just continue so what would you like to share with us next so time? what we'll do is this is the piece of car this I clean my brayer on mm -hmm. and I know we keep saying keep keep the pieces make it so we're going to this isn't planned but we're going to make it into a card nice. and yeah we're going to use that technique that Perfect. we mentioned oh yeah no you got it i think this is very very clever because you kind of had that light bulb moment yeah you know when you just think what if yeah. and so what we're going to do we've got green and a little uh -huh. bit of blue haven't we so let's okay. add let's go for the peacock feathers because we want it to show up 
And can what we're going to... In the background, yeah. I can hear an ice cream van. <laughs> I can. Who Who's is getting the 99? Who, yeah. who eats yeah. ice cream in this weather? It's freezing out there. Sorry. I, to be honest, I could eat ice cream. Really? Any, yeah, what? oh, I love ice cream. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. We've got to nip out and get you an ice cream then. I was going to say, who's going to have one ready for me when <laughs> I've finished? So. That's, a, that's a very ambitious though, ice cream, working all year round. Okay. A lot of ice cream man where mm. I live, they sell coffee as well. Well that's good, that's all right, now I'll take he that. Might be there for yeah, the, maybe. Yeah. So, we've got the ink on the stencil and out comes Billy Breyer. Now you've heard the story why he's called Billy, haven't no, you? No, I haven't. When I started off, I am a very nervous person mm. and I tried to Breyer and it just didn't work, I got mm. lines and I threw it to the back of my cupboard and I wouldn't use it. And my younger son has epilepsy and mm. he just is a very strong person. And he made me think, why am I scared of a brayer? Yeah. So I gave him a name, Billy, so that he's not so scary. Okay. And it means I use him. Well, And I made nice myself story. use him. And now by Billy's doing your, that, and now friends. Billy he is. And Billy can't believe that he's actually on telly with me. <laughs> He's very good player. A lot of ladies I found are the same. Mm. They're scared of making a mistake or if it goes wrong. See, one thing I learned here is you go wrong, what's the worst that's happened? Yeah. It's a bit of paper. And you, sometimes you need to go through that as a learning experience. But a lot of ladies take it, and gentlemen, take it to heart. Yeah. You know, if yeah. somebody just happens to make a, mm. a comment that they don't like something, we take it so personally. Yeah. So it's all about giving confidence. Oh, okay. So I'm going to take got, Billy. Uh, about five and a half yeah. minutes. That's fine. And all we're going to do is roll so it. So can and I look. just show everyone? Yeah. What a lovely. If you impression. have a look here, this is such a clever technique. So what Joe has done effectively is created her own stamp roller. Okay, so I'll hand that back to you. Let's Thank let you. Joe make the magic happen. And then, and I think we'll take it diagonally okay. again. I think if we go this way, it almost looks too forced. Yeah. So because we're just making a background, we'll take him oh, right that's across. So good. And there we go. Do you mind if I pick that up no. and show everyone? So have a look. That's clever. I know there are gonna be a lot of viewers at home right now, got their brayers, got their oxides, their stencils, and like, yes, I am giving this a go. So you've got about five minutes left. Yep, and then all we're gonna do is again because we can't waste that ink. Yeah. We really can't. So another Looking background. Like a true crafter. And what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these lovely stamps. Yeah. Well, actually, do you know what? And this is kind of joke because she hadn't prepared this, but uh, this is our uh, happy hour deal for Ooh, this hour. Look at that. And we will uh, use one of the stamps just to show you them stamped out. So let me pop that down and show you the two. So that's uh, what Joe did there. She just added some water and pressed down just to get another background. Excellent. Okay, so what one would you like to use? Well, should this, we go yeah. for that? Yes, I think so. Okay. And will it fit on that block? Yeah. Okay, we'll just come a bit more this way. Central? In the middle, please, yeah. yeah. Okay, there we go. Something about it being central. So, again, it's a brand new stamp. So I would always ink it up and, and stamp off. Yeah. Give it a few minutes, let the ink soak mm -hmm. in. Now we're stamping on copy paper, which yeah. obviously never stamps perfectly. So, but oh, look at that. I mean, that a, is that a new stamp. Brand new stamp. Now, the reason we say to do this is because the manufacturing process is always a coating. It's just how it is on yeah. any, any stamp when it's produced. So it just makes sure you get a crisp image. If you just to stamp. But in saying yeah. that, look, that's perfect. Yeah. Right, OK. Oh, so that means it probably won't be on here. Yeah, it you know. will. Oh, it will. Come on. <laughs> so, ink it up again. Yeah. So remember, we are using one of the stamps from our Happy Hour deal, our extremely popular Happy Hour deal. And again, I'm just going to turn this. And this is where we have choices. So I think we'll just offset it a little. What I find is if mm -hmm. you stamp something centrally, it has to be perfectly yeah. central. And so for me, I'm better going off centre. So again, nice. give the ink a couple of minutes just to soak in. And if we need to, we can lift. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking, oh, that's look perfect. at that. Can I just lift that yeah. up? Now, what have we done? 
we've created this was uh, literally cleaning our bra brayer for the background we added a bit of detail with the uh, rolling technique with the brayer uh, running over our stencil and then stamped in done sentiment so this is our emergency mm -hmm. um, quick card I love you card yeah so oh, again I love you too. oh thank you yeah. let's just we just happen to have the red ink here which is good because I mm -hmm. only brought a few and look at that but for me I need some more red in that don't I mm. so let's get the fan brush we need a bit more color now again don't put your ink where the water is mm -hmm. let's put it over here just add a few little specks yeah just to tie the color in otherwise mm -hmm. I think you're very brave standing there. Oh, if you get red specks on your shirt, Sorry, it'll be my fault. So Joe Rice original. Exactly. So again, going on that diagonal, I would just we got a sentiment there you would like to add. If we just add some And honestly, this is so easy. Mm. So many ladies and gents are frightened of doing this. And you mentioned this is a really good point. When it comes to doodling, just go for just, it. Because yeah, the more yeah, you think yeah. about it, the more f force yeah. to use the description you used earlier. And I just like to do a few odd little dots. Mm. Do you and know again, what's nice? Frames that, doesn't it? Doodle is like a fingerprint. Everyone yeah, has yeah. their own little signature doodle. I like that. And do you mind if I show everyone? Not at all. As a quick card goes, <coughs> I think we'll agree. That is lovely. Beautiful is that stamp set. Okay, listen, we're just going to focus on uh, giving you a little reminder of the Happy Ideal because this price, that £10 saving, is only around for the next five minutes. If you want to get hold of all 17 of these fantastic stamps designed by Tracy, uh, we haven't got long left. We've got about a minute left, Joe. But for you, what is it about this stamp set that you really connected with? I think the fact it's so versatile. I love the sketchiness, the way yeah. she's drawn the sketchiness. Yeah. But for me, you're getting so much there, and it's the way you can use them. Yeah. Well, All the different occasions you can use them for. I mean, you can see it here when you talk about beautiful, sketchy fill, but it is that versatility, whether we are going from mixed media to truly inspirational cards. Love that. You know, as crafters, when we spend our money, we really do want value for money. Totally and we want agree. stamps that we can use again and again and again. They're not going to date yeah. with time. I mean, this image is just going to live on forever, isn't oh, it? Oh, it is. Yeah, these definitely won't do. Do you know what I like about this uh, inspiration? This is by Janet. She's just added a bit of red as well. Yeah, yeah. It's Glossy not a lot. Glossy accents on yeah. that heart would just be and brilliant, wouldn't one it? From Joe, and then we'll finish. I think it's only fitting we finish another one from you. Joe, can I just say thank you so much? I've really enjoyed it. Thank have you. you had fun? Thank you. Brilliant. I've enjoyed Good. it. Are you going to come back? Uh, next Thursday, actually. Brilliant. 8 o'clock in the morning. Oh, what, what have you got on Thursday? Oh. Some treats. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Looking yeah, forward yeah, to that. Yeah, I really hope yeah. you enjoyed this hour. You can always watch uh, both of Joe's hours back on Rewind, so it's 8 o'clock in this hour. Uh, and also, the group, everyone needs to join. Yeah, all in Create Fanatics. Do have a little look. Thank it's you, such Design a Team, group. as well. Oh, design Team's great. You've been great. And oh, you at home being thank fantastic you everybody. as well. Thank you for Bye. coming. Bye. So, coming up next, we've got a fantastic one-day special. We are having a Clarity Christmas party. Uh, after that, tea with Tilly, and then we've got another fantastic hour with Apple Blossom Craft. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda.
Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. My wife Jackie and I have been running Add Some Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We are both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie is particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. So make sure you don't miss our Add Some Sparkle shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. I'm with Paul again. Hello, Paul. Hello, Alex. We had Hello. a lovely time earlier, didn't we? We did. Nice and chilled. It was very much so. Now this is your penultimate live hour of the one day special. You've got, uh, and it's two thirds of the stock gone of all of these beautiful parchment papers, and you are getting the two folders. But what we want to say is, I, well, for me, I have never seen a, a clarity show where the one day special is half, half price. price. Yeah. No. no. Mm -hmm. Well, it is Christmas, mm. um, so I thought we've got to do something special, um, and so we've thrown Flexi at it as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's a crazy price, for, especially for parchment. And parchment isn't. I mean, we're obviously showcasing it with the groovy plates and stuff like that. But Barb's often sort of stamped on parchment mm -hmm. and then taken the colour off or done some embossing with yeah. it. Yeah. So you, just because it's parchment, don't think oh, I'm, I don't do groovy or parchment craft but I can't buy it because mm -hmm. you can because it's fantastic for matting yeah, and layering absolutely. as well. Beautiful yeah. colour palette there. Yes, yeah, so we have a little read through the colours. There we go. So you've got Wisteria, Iris, Bottle Green, Cranberry Crush, Dusky Pink, um, Rich Plum, Light Turquoise, Turquoise, Willow Green, Meadow Green, Primrose Yellow, Olive Green, Peach, Nutmeg, where are we along here? Somewhere around there. Uh, yeah. uh, pear Green, Apple Green, Petrol Blue, Smoky Blue, Midnight Blue, Sky Blue, Orange Squash, Lime Twist, Pine Needles, <sighs> Sage Green, <laughs> Periwinkle Blue, Very Violet. Very Violet. Yes. Very Violet. I That's know. the last I one. I could have very violent earlier. No, I know it's by accident. No, it's all, all good. So you've got 26 colours, five of each, and you've got 130 sheets. Crazy. Crazy price. Because if you go onto the Ho Chanta website and you look up for Wisteria and Iris, mm. that pack of 10. Yep. Five of each colour is nine ninety nine. Right. Oh, see, there you go. That is an amazing save. Well, now what would you say? Because normally it's a pound each, isn't yes. it? And this, I think, is thirty nine pence from yeah. memory. If you take the twenty five ninety six away from the seventy seven ninety one, yeah. And you broke out down the rest, then that's what that parchment would work out at. Excellent. There we go. Should we see what you do with yours? Ooh, steady. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. So what we're going to do? We'll go to this one first. Um, so I'll let you hold that side. Yeah, yeah. So you've got the the storage folder, and it's great because you, you've spent that money, and even though it's half price, you still want to look after it. Yeah. Um, so you've got all this storage in here to put all the different colours. The turquoise. I'm going to be using the turquoise oh, nice. in the demo. Um, and you've got the beautiful greens in there. Mm. Um, I mean, you could put these in colour coordination if you wanted to. So you've got the peach and the nutmeg. I love that nutmeg. Mm, it's absolutely. really warm. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the pear green and the apple green. And Is it then, stuck? Is it all right? No, it's my fingers. And then we've got the petrol blue and the smoky blue. I there think we is. did the cracker in the smoky blue earlier. Yeah. Or it may have been the um, sky blue. I can't remember now. <laughs> it's a long time ago. I know, it was. And so there we've got some um, the orange squash and the lime twist. Yeah. So that's some of it Very in nice. that one folder because there's more. twelve pockets in there. 
and then we open this one up mm -hmm. and, oh, and then seat. thank you and then we've got the um, pine needles with the sage green yep then in addition to that we've then got the periwinkle blue and the very violet yeah and you've got loads of empty pockets as well so i've got some of my clear parchment in there and then in addition i've got the a4 templates now unfortunately the star one has sold out yeah uh, what have we got the next one? The cracker. Mm -hmm. I think that's just hanging in on the cracker. Literally hanging in, yeah, um, yeah. And then the next one is the Tudor house. Oh, sorry. We've yeah, got we some go. of those on stock, in stock. Yep. Yeah. And then we have the cake slice, which is what I'm going to demo right. in this hour. Gorgeous. In stock. So that is half price and it's on Flexi Buy. Two payments of just £38.96. Two thirds of the stock gone. Please do stock up because at this price, that's the thing. Buy two of them. Yeah. If you not? can afford it, because it's on Flexi, um, yeah. yeah. It, I, we won't be bringing it back at this price. Okay, again. right then. <laughs> 698467. And then we've got our Tudor house and border plates. Um, I just love the look of them. I love 3D items. They're really great, aren't they, for, for all different times of the year. People moving house, you could do one for them. Christmas, um, you could give it to neighbours for Christmas, couldn't it? Because yeah. it's house to, from our house to your house. Mm. Um, absolutely, yeah. So what you're looking at here is you've got the A4 border, uh, A4 plate, mate. Yeah. Um, A4 plate. Yes. And it's got all the instructions engraved on it. Mm -hmm. So it means you're never ever going to lose those instructions. Um, and then in addition to that, you've then got the Swiss cottage and then the gingerbread house borders as yeah. well. So you can change the style of the house. And we've got some samples here. They're so pretty, aren't they? Look at these. So detailed. Are they, are they easy to pop together? Yeah, I yeah. mean, all the instructions come in there because it is one piece and it's all about in the folding and yeah. the, the scoring. And it's the groovy board that does the scoring. Mm. I mean, someone there has adapted that one. It says home tweet home. You've got mm. a little birdhouse. Yeah. That could be a kennel. Absolutely. Um, so you just adapt it. But it's not just for 3D elements because you can also use the elements on your cards as well. Yeah. Just like Josie's done here. Oh, look um, at that. So this would be great for sort of like a wedding card, like for the church. Mm. And use your other plates to decorate it as well. Yeah, look. And then we've got this one here. This one's from Gal. Yeah. Um, so for a new home, and uh, I, I think this is my favourite one, this one. Because of this. Because of the gingerbreads and yeah. also the, the roof mm -hmm. as well. Gorgeous, 24 96 we're over three quarters of the stock gone. Seven pound saving, 832913. Don't forget we've had some sellouts because we've sold out of the box. The box. The Christmas tree. And the star. Yeah, and the, uh, the star went, the did star it? The star went. Oh, I didn't realise. It realize. went just after the end of the oh. uh, nine o'clock show. Oh, okay, there we are. <laughs> uh, so this is it, we've got, we've got the crackers then. Oh, this is a nice display that you've done. Yeah. Really I thought I'd just change it up a bit. We yeah. had a bit more space. Um, so you've got the beautiful cracker on there as well. Mm -hmm. Again, all the instructions on there. And you've got all those different elements as well. Yeah, very nice. So. But, oh, we're limited stock on this one. Ooh. As Yannis <laughs> likes to say, the green's on the screen. And they've got different edges. They're very pretty. 15.98, so this will probably be the next one to go. 778.606. And then, last but not least, we've got the cake. You've made a cake for I've us. I've made a cake. This is a low-fat cake, though. Yes, it is. No <laughs> calories yeah, in the cake. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, again, you've got the... Um, the, the lovely groovy plates for you to make the cake. Yep, so you've got your A4 one, which again has your instructions and um, guide on how to do the folding. Mm. Then underneath that, we then give you the two celebration borders, and this has got a seven pound saving as well. Right. Um, so again, use, I mean, the one at the bottom is sort of like the royal icing effect, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So you can make them really elegant, great for weddings, birthdays, um, and they are no calories involved. Indeed, there you go. Look at all these different ways you can, um, you can um, emboss them and decorate them as well. Beautiful. Twenty-four ninety-six, seven pounds saving. Eight two six four zero five. Uh, here's the deal of the day, which is brilliant. We can see these in a minute as well because I've got them at the table. Um, so the deal of the day is a pick and mix of your two twelve by twelve um, designer paper pads. Well, there's four of them. You choose the two that you like. The it, the usual price is thirty-five pounds and ninety-eight pence. But the deal of the day price is twenty four ninety eight, which means you're saving a uh, whopping eleven pounds. Item number is three seven seven two six six. Really good deal of the day. So the first one is uh, Shenandoah, which we can have a little flick through. So again, um, twelve by twelve. Mm -hmm. They're double sided. They're one hundred and fifty GSM. 
you've got 12 different designs in each pack and you're going to get four sheets of each of them. Yeah. Um, so this is great, especially at this price, um, because what you can do is maybe go for the complete set and then split it with a friend. Yeah, so good have, idea. You could have four of each, um, two of each of the, the different designs. There you won't are. want to though. No, you'll want to do it. You want to keep them. So there we are. Great for scrapbooking. Um, matting and layering. Mm. Um, when we launched these earlier in the year, I did some picture frames with them. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'll show you during this hour, like I did in the nine o'clock hour, nice. how you can use the, the paper yep. on the groovy templates as well to create the shape of the various different um, designs. Um, this one's Rainbow River, just in case you really like the look of this one. Oh, look at this. Oh, Gorgeous that's beautiful. Colorways, aren't they? Yeah. Marvelous. It just goes on and on and on. And it's a real nice colour palette, um, yeah. all four of them. And um, there's so, like for all different seasons in there. Mm, very nice. This one's Northern Lights, the original. This is where it all started. Yeah. Um, eight by eight paper, then into parchment, yeah. then into the petite card toppers, and now in 12 by 12s. I think we were still in the old studio when these for this one first launched, possibly. The Northern Lights. Yeah. Yeah, probably yeah. did. Yeah. Um, and the reason they were created were initially to work with parchment crafts to put a nice backing behind the mm -hmm. pieces of work. Yeah. Um, and then, because what we found, when we first started doing parchment craft, we always found it hard to find a backing. Yeah. So you do it and then you put it maybe on a, just a blue bit of card and it looked a little bit flat. So Barbara had this stash of um, sort of all different backing papers, like where she'd clean the brayer or cleaned her brushes off. Mm. Um, and so she started working with those. And then people say, oh, where did you get the backing paper from? Oh. So she got the alcohol inks out and the UPO paper um, and created them mm. and turned them into paper. Brilliant. So you choose two of your favourites out of there. You could get oh, four if you wanted to. 24.98.377.266. Okay. Right, okay. So I thought we'd make a piece of cake. Okay. There's no good. there's no mess involved and there's no calories. Okay. So I've got my A4 plate. Um, and as we said earlier, for people may not have seen the nine o'clock show. When I put that on top of my um, my parchment on top, then I've got nowhere to attach it. Mm. So I thought well, what we'll do is we'll use the um, this is the A4 square groovy plate mate. But it fits at either end of the A4 plate. Okay. Okay. So what that does is it gives me a larger area to work on. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the light panel on. This is our new panel. We've got this on. Um, freedom. Freedom discount. Yeah. And it's proved really, really popular in the last well, few hours. Well, it's so nice if you've got a discount. Here it is. Uh, the normal price is 62.99, and it's not just the light panel because you get the mat and you also get the case. But on Freedom, it's 56 pounds and 69 pence. 436. 518 is your item number. Uh, two payments of £28.35, if you remember. So, right, and we worked out earlier that if you were decided to, you could go for the one-day special, mm. go for the light panel on Freedom discount if yeah. you was a Freedom Club member, and that first instalment was actually cheaper than the whole price of the one-day special. Mm. Okay, good yeah? stuff, yeah. Okay, so we're going to attach this now to the plate mate because we've got that bigger surface to work on. Right. And I've got the bright sides of the parchment. If I hand you a piece of parchment, Alex, yep. so we can have a look, you'll see one side is nice and shiny, which we're looking at now. And then if you just, that's it, you can see there now it's more of a, a matte finish. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So what that means is that the colour's been applied to the shiny side. So if we want the crisp white lines, then we have the shiny side facing okay. us. Lovely. Okay. So, tumble dry sheet that you just wipe over the um, parchment, and what that does, it allows the tool to glide more easily. Right. Okay. So, all you're going to do is, if you just want the outline of the um, the cake slice, then all you do is just trace out the outside of the box. So, I'm not worrying about the inner part. Because if you want to, you can decorate this with any other plate that you've got mm. that will fit within the design. Okay. So you can see it's nice and easy to follow. If you jump out the groove, it's nothing's right. going to happen. Yeah. It's nice. Wouldn't this be great for kids at Christmas um, for them to sort of just sit there and trace them out? Because all you need is guidance, obviously, with a pair of scissors mm. um, to cut the shapes out. So we're just going to follow that through. 
and you can see you go yeah. at whatever pace you want to. I like that in you've got lots of choice for how to decorate it as well, all the different panels. Yeah, so you've, you've got a selection, so you've got the celebration and then you've got the two borders as well that yeah. come with it. Um, so just moving that out of the way because it's just over the lines. Okay, and then we'll put the inner panels in because again, you could cut these inner panels out with a craft knife or a pair of scissors yeah. and then put a different colour kind of parchment behind Good it idea. so it creates like a window. So we're just going to easily trace that out. Mm -hmm. But you can see you, how crisp and easy it is. If you was doing this traditionally, you'd have to trace this out with um, a white pen or pencil. Then it would be a skill um, of getting the right pressure to get the embossed line up. Yep. But the groovy plate just does everything for you. Marvellous. So I'll hand this over to you, Alex. Okay. So you can hold that up. Thank you. And we can see how quick and easy that is. It's lovely and crisp, isn't it? Okay. Fabulous. So you've got that design there. So mm -hmm. when we look at the actual plate, you've got some flowers here. Um, Different types. If I, maybe if I put that over, that probably helps. Yeah, there we go. So we've got some flowers here and we've got flowers here. So just because they're there doesn't mean that's where they have to stay. Mm. So I'm going to go, I can fill this go back into the slot. So this time I'm going to go to the number two tool and it, this is going to lightly emboss the flowers yeah okay because if I want to do white work and I want more of a, a natural look if I have a softer outer line mm. then it makes the white work look more natural so we just follow through with the design nice to color these in as well on the previous show you were coloring in some yeah of the because designs. I could take the color out and reintroduce it that's one of the special things about our parchment um, so we'll just, I'll show you that on this one actually, because okay. this is just my sort of practice one, because the lovely Karen Jackson, as usual, has prepped all the levels, mm. stages for oh, me. Oh, that's nice, because you're so, so super busy. So, and then I can just slide that over, line that triangle back up, and then repeat that process. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I want to, I could add some more detail to the flowers, so I could maybe sort of, maybe I want to put a line down the middle. So what I could do is look at one of the lines, and then... Oh, nice. Just add a little bit more detail, just by turning it around. Yeah. So it gives another look to the actual style of the flower. So as you get more confident, you'll think, oh yeah, what else can we do? <laughs> you could fill this in with dots using oh, yeah. the piercing grids. That's quite a nice effect. Maybe pico cut it. Yep. Um, so then we're just going to turn that round and just finish that one off as well. So if we, I'll give that to you, Alex, to hold up so you Thank can you. then sort of see. See how different it looks to like the other that. flowers. Yeah. That's it. Very nice. Okay. So if I want to say, change, I want these flowers to be red, for example. Mm -hmm. If I was to put red on the parchment, then it's going to come out like a dirty red. Right. Okay. So let me just show. So I've got a red pen here. So these are the Perga color pens. So if I put some color up here, okay. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, an eraser pencil. And then I'm just going to take out the colour within that petal. Okay, and it's just an ink eraser. Mm. But this is where the magic comes in. Yeah. Okay, so we can see now it's white. So I can then add the red to it. And I could use the pencils, I'm using the Perga colour pens. Mm -hmm. And then if I give that to you to hold up, Alex, yep. we can then see the nice difference. So it's nice and red there where we've removed the colour as opposed yeah. to... So, I mean, if you want that shade of red, then that's mm -hmm. fine. Just leave the colour in. So you've just got those options Absolutely. on doing different things. Thank you. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add some more design to the actual... Um, Style. So if I give that to you to hold sure. up, Thank you, you can see you've got this beautiful grid work mm -hmm. um, in the larger panels. Okay, and this is really easy to do. Yeah, I love that. It's so effective, isn't so it? So what we're going to do, we're going to pop the A4 plate mate to one side and the cake, and then I'm going to bring in the um, word chain um, border plate mate. Right. And also on the show, we've got these two border grids. These are straight. Um, piercing grids. Mm -hmm. So we've got those on the show. So one is plain, 
so you can use it for going around edges and stuff. And then the other one has a nice pattern on it. It's got mm. one, two, three, four, five, at least five different patterns yeah. on there. So all we're going to do is pop that into the plate mate, and then I'll use that little tab there mm -hmm. just to hold it in place. You'll find these on the website as well. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll bring my piece. So if we're going to um, do the embossing, then we do the embossing from the reverse. Okay. And what I can do is I can line up what Karen's done mm -hmm. with the design underneath. Let's make sure I'm going in the right place. Yep. And then my groovy tabs, they always disappear. I'm going to get buried. So attach that one there. And have you look, have you, I don't know where they've gone. No, it could be on my sleeve. They always <laughs> get lost. Walking around with them on yeah. your elbow. So, and then I'll take this time the number two tool. And then all I'm going to do is emboss by pushing into the dots. Okay, and you can see how quick and easy it is to do. And because you've got this pattern in there already, you haven't got to think about counting. Yeah, well, that's because good. Because if you imagine taking the long border one that has just got all the perforations in them, you've got to go one, two, three, four, miss two, one, two, three, four, miss two. Right. And if you miscount or the phone goes or whatever and you come back and then you've sort of got to start again really. So these are great for adding sort of some detail to any of your work really, but I think it works really um, well on um, the cake slice. Yeah, fabulous. Oh look, that plate makes life so easy, doesn't it? Look at that. And again, you can so sort of easy. get into the groove. Okay, so you've, I've done some embossing there. Okay, we'll just finish that one off. And now I want to perforate. So this time I'm going to Use the super foam, and the super foam is thicker translucent foam that comes because you get the five mil. This is a ten mil yep. in depth, and then I'm going to pop that on my light panel. And now I need to turn my parchment over because when you're perforating, you perforate from the front. Okay. So I can find that pattern. Okay, and then all I'm going to do. Where am I going? I'm not going to use this one, I need to use the plain one now, the straight one. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> uh, otherwise I'm just perforating where I've embossed. Okay. And that's not going to help, <laughs> is it? Okay. <laughs> so this is a great set of borders um, because mm. it, it gives it all to you. And then all I'm going to do is just line up the embossed dots with the dots underneath. I'll just put my head over for one moment while I just line it up. And there we go, so that's now oops, in place. And then I'm going to take the one needle bowl tool, and the one needle bowl tool comes in a set where you've got the one needle, the two needle, and the four needle. Yeah. Okay. I could use the two needle, um, but I, it's quite therapeutic just to do one perforation at a time. Okay. So then all I'm going to do is just perforate each of the holes around. Ah the embossed pattern. Is there a uh, top tip for using the tool? Um, you can see, I don't know if, where the parchment is pulling up slightly. Yeah. See where it's just sort of... So I can either use the groovy guard, which comes in the accessory kit, to go around where I'm going. Um, you can take your tumble dry sheet and you can um, just rub the needle on it. Yeah. Or you can put the tumble dry sheet on the um, translucent mat so that every time you ah. perforate. So now, when I perforate, it's not pulling. Fabulous. Okay. Yeah. And the idea is to keep the tool as upright as possible. Yeah, so if that's you go what I was in, thinking. I mean, the grid is actually directing the tool into the correct position because you can't go in at an angle. Whereas if you was doing this without a grid, you're not going to get a uniform design all the way around. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just finish, whoops, finish this bit off here. Mm -hmm. But you can see how easy it is to do. Nice. And you can get quite carried away. And so what you would do is you would then complete that. Should I do a little bit more perforating? Do you want to do a recap? Shall I do that? I can do. Um, now we've got a um, fabulous finished sample uh, video. Uh, I just love seeing this. It, let's give you some inspiration. Thank <laughs> you.
one with the LED lights so that's so beautiful in the boxes you're one day special that was my best waft for today uh, we're approaching how much 70% of the stock gone this is half price clarity I do not believe have done a half price one day special before so you're being absolutely <coughs> spoiled excuse me and it's on flexi buy so you've got all of these beautiful colors you've got 26 colors five of each and you've got a hundred and thirty sheet look at all these colors from wisteria to bottle green you've got pe pear green uh, midnight blue sky blue there's orange periwinkle blue there's so many in here do stock up while it's on this price i mean this is such a lot for you isn't it and then you've also got your folders two folders for you to actually store everything in and even more pockets for you to pop some uh, plates into so this is just 77 pounds and 91 pence but it's on flexi buy which is excellent two payments of 38 pounds and 96 pence your item number is 698467 but that will be going back up at 6 p.m this evening so don't miss out on it Next, we've got our Tudor Rose house and the border plates. Uh, this is so pretty. Now, you don't have to make them 3D, but obviously they do look amazing 3D. You've got your gingerbread house down there. I like that, all your gingerbread. Now, approaching 80% of the stock gone. Isn't this sweet? Dolly Cottage. This one's my favourite one in the middle because I absolutely adore the windows and the doors. And then at the bottom, you've got the one with the home tweet home. So it could be, could be a birdhouse. And you could also, of course, just use elements of it and make them flat. Here are our gingerbread man all the way around in a nice little circle. It's got a roof here. This, I love this one as well because it's like a church. And then one more to show you. Oops, one more to show you. Uh, there we go. Uh, so £24.96, and pence got a big £7 saving. 832913 is your item number. Ah, then we've got our crackers. Aren't they so nice? Not just for Christmas. These could be um, for wedding favours, couldn't they? You can pop a nice little gift in there. You know, the sugared almonds and whatnot. Now, right, this is super limited. I mean, look, who wouldn't want to create gorgeous crackers like this? And they've all got some different ways of, um, what's the word, decorating them, different designs. So this is super limited, um, literally hanging on by a thread. £15.98, 778606. Now the cake slice. So this is the one that um, Paul's using or demonstrating at the moment. Oh, I really like this one. So it's covered in glitter. Are they together? I just don't want to. I don't want to harm them. There we go. Isn't that really pretty? Look at all of those. So nice. Uh, so you're getting the um, plate itself, of course, and you're also getting the extras to to add um, more interest. There's some designs. £24.96, £7 pound saving, 826405. Now we do have the light panel and it's on a freedom discount. Yay! Uh, so this is £56.69 if you're a freedom member and it's on Flexi Freedom. What is that? Yes, two payments of £28.35, 436518. And then we've also got our deal of the day. So you're choosing any two 
um, that you like between, you've got Northern Lights, Shenandoah, or you can go for Indian Summer or Rainbow River. That's the one, that's it. £24.98, £11 saving, which is ever so good. It will be going back up tomorrow at 7pm unless it sells out. So what did I say? PM, sorry, AM. <laughs> uh, 377266. It's quite interesting because um, y y uh, Yanis and I were talking this morning about when we when we swap shifts. So mm. if you are, you've been on a late shift for a while and you you can't help but say sun PM and yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny yeah sunrise and sunset I always get those in the wrong on the well when you're in the studio there's other. no windows is there so no. it could be any time outside Adam said that we actually it's not this studio isn't real it's like a sheet and the car park's just there I don't know why he said that <laughs> random anyway <laughs> we're not really in the attic are no, we no. We're, we're on the same level <laughs> Where have you got to? Okay, so I've finished doing <laughs> all the um, the perforating on there that Karen did for But isn't that effective? Yeah. I mean, it's simple, but it is sort of effective on what you can do with just a, a piece of acrylic with mm. some holes in it. Amazing. Um, and there's no thinking about it. So we can add a little bit more definition um, to these flowers. Um, so again, we've got choices. I prefer the pink mat to work on. Right. Sometimes when you're working with the darker parchments on a pink mat, it's harder to sort of see the outlines, mm -hmm. especially if you've gone round with a number two tool as well. Okay. So a top tip that I picked up on, if you use the um, translucent foam mm. and you take a poly bag, which I don't know, I bet I've tidied it up. Mm -hmm. Best laid, no, there it is, it's hiding. You got hiding. it, brilliant. It's hiding. So if you pop a, a poly bag underneath, I know I've sort of shown this in all the hours, but some people are sort of tuning in at different times, aren't they? Yeah. So then uh, we've got the ball tool bundles. Um, if they're not on the, the show, then they'll be on the website. And I'm going to use the largest tool. And then all I'm going to do is just slently, slently? <laughs> gently and slightly. Gently maybe. and slightly. <laughs> that, was a, that could be a new word, wouldn't it? Yeah. What did I say? It was sl um, slently. Slightly, yeah. Slightly. It's a combination. And I'm just going to flick in. So when you're doing the white work, um, to get a real sort of nice gradual look it's sort of like another way of looking at it I the way I describe it is like a plane taking off so yep. you start at the tip and then as you t the plane yeah. lifts off you sort of get <laughs> and what that does is it gives that nice sort of shadowed effect okay some people prefer to sort of flick away from themselves some people prefer to flick towards them so you'll find whatever's more comfortable for you Okay, so I'm using the, this is a 4.5 mil ball tool, mm -hmm. so, and then we're just going to go around, and I, you'll notice that I'm actually turning my work, yeah. um, because my hand is comfortable in the position. And it's, it, it's quite clever that the coloured parchment, mm. you can still get the beautiful white um, work. Absolutely. Now I'm leaning on this, and it's a little bit um, prickly because I've perforated, so I can use my um, groovy guard just underneath, just to protect all those perforations. Have a look on the website for the Groovy Guard because it also comes with the tabs, Groovy tabs, and I know there's something else. A5 parchment. Ah, thank you, Paul. So you get Neither a nice something. refill as well. Yep, uh, 11.99, 211682 is your item number. Okay, so then you go around and sort of just slowly build it up. Okay, and then you move down to the next size ball tool, so I'm then going down to the three mil. And by going down again, I can put a little bit more pressure on, and it will just slowly start to. We'll turn it over in a minute. Yeah, and we'll no, sort no. Of see. I find it difference. fascinating building it, up. It, yeah. See, I'm impatient. I want it to go white straight away. Mm. So I can, I can make it go white straight away by taking the colour out, and Perfect. then it will go back to a clear parchment. Yeah. Um, and then I could use a white pencil if I wanted to. Um, or, I could, as we showed earlier, you could reintroduce colour with the pens or the mm. pencils. I learned the hard way. Do you remember when we were crafting together that one time for the whole day? And yes. I was with you literally. It was on a Pergamano uh, show, wasn't that's it? That's it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, oh, I've, I've, put, I've gone through the parchment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is a skill getting yeah. the, this white work. And it, you know what? It's also, it, it makes you slow down mm. as well. Yeah. Um, because you're sort of you getting involved in what you're doing. Absolutely. Okay. So then, what we're going to do? I'm going to. I'll turn this over to you, Alex. In a way, where I'll just okay, do this last right. one. 
just so that we can have a look at the difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I pass it over to you now, and then it's the one at the top up here yep. where you can see it's Ooh, starting yeah. to be a lot more whiter. Mm, building up okay. now, isn't it? And because you've got that the colour of the parchment underneath it as well, that green, it sort of it gives more of a, a 3D effect, you, I think. Yeah, you can totally see that. It looks like it's it is bowed, if you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. So if you're using one of the other 26 colours <laughs> for mm. the one day special, because you've got 26 to choose from. Yeah. Um, then I mean, you could cut that out. Oh yeah. That panel out and put a different colour underneath. Yeah. Why so not? So you could do one that's sort of in contrast or in com combination with it. Very that. nice. So then the next step would be to cut this out. Right. Um, lots of nice straight lines on it. Um, you could use a ruler and a craft knife or you can use scissors. So let me show you the, I'll turn the light panel off. And I, whoop, one, two, three, there we go. Um, and I'll show you the Perga ruler. Because for me, the Perga ruler is, is fantastic. It comes with the groovy grip, so you get two A4 sheets of groovy grip. Good stuff. Um, and basically, when that's on there, if I push yeah. on there, it's not sliding on the parchment. Lovely. But if I take that off, and I pop that on there, same it's amount of pressure, be, but it's yeah, just sliding. Yeah. And then, like you said, you were on air, was it? And then yeah, you, I was on air, oh. and I was cutting with a knife um, through my to cut my because I couldn't pico cut back then. Mm. Um, and so I, the easiest thing was everything went in a square frame. Yeah, so it was yeah. easy to cut out with a ruler. And as I went like that, the ruler the, the ruler slipped, and I cut straight into the Aww. work that I did. Heartbreaking. Um, so. Yeah, there was. Luckily, I was on air, so I didn't say anything that I shouldn't have said. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to take my craft knife, and then again, if people are unsure, just very, very lightly, just mm -hmm. go over it a couple. Of, I'm not putting any pressure on here at all. Um, and what will happen is that you just go over it several times, and the glass mat makes a big difference. Mm. Here we there go. You go. Precision. So what was that, five, six times? Maybe, yeah. Um, but then I've got a really nice, crisp finish Absolutely, to it as well. Absolutely, yeah. But again, it's a really nice, easy one that you can cut out with scissors. Okay. So that was just showing that element. Mm -hmm. Blue and Peter then I've got one. Yep, here we go. So here's one that Karen's completed for me, just to show you how to assemble it now. So what Karen's also done, uh, did you do any of the shows where we launched the Pico Flowers? I Tina's don't think I, I did. I think it was at the beginning of um, October. It was a one-day special. I don't think I did. Um, no, so we've got no. these on the show. There's various different ones. This, you've got Stella Blooms. You've got Heart Blossom. Oh, nice. You've got Pretty Posy. And I think this is the Petals one. Um, and it comes with the coordinating groovy plate oh, as well. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. So all you're going to do is you're just going to fold very gently along all those score lines. Okay, and then you do that, and then um, you then fold in all the little flat. And because the parchment's so robust, and the groovy plate's done all the scoring, mm. it's, it doesn't crack. That's great. Okay, now for this one, for the cake slice, if you want to be able to get inside it, then all you need to do is just put tape just down one that strip. one long edge. Yeah. Um, and it says that on the instructions that are engraved on there. So I'm going to take my one needle tool because then I find that works really well for taking off the backing mm -hmm. okay and then I need another piece on there just remember that I need to put a bit on there so it holds it together oh yeah so just pop that on there if you can go as closely up to the edge as possible mm. and get a nicer finish Ooh. Come on, cut. I need a new pair of scissors. scissors. Yeah. I was naughty last night. I used my ring lock scissors. Because <gasps> I couldn't find them. Um, I didn't get told off, though. Not that I know of. You will now. Barbara's <laughs> watching. <laughs> Barbara was watching last night. Oh, fair enough. So, um, <laughs> so then all we're going to do is just to assemble. So it's easy if you do the that part there. Mm -hmm. Just gently fold it. And then what will happen is that then folds into place like that and then just gently apply the pressure there and then all I'm going to do is just take um, one of my 
tool and then I could just push on the inside just to make sure mm. that it's stuck down and then I've now got my little cake piece. Fabulous, it's so cute. Good. Do you know what you could also put in here as a gift? Cheese. Cheese? Slice of cheese. Okay. I Chocolate, oh, no right. cheese. Well, I was thinking of the slices it, it, of cheese. It does look like a, a, a <laughs> slice of cheese, doesn't it? But what you could do also is you could put a bit of ribbon. Oh yeah. And then it, you could hang it so like Aww. for confetti and stuff like that oh, for weddings, nice. like a little posy. Like when you give the bride and groom yeah. the wooden spoons, you could do something like that with something in there. I like that idea a lot. Uh, mm. Thank you, Paul. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Have a look at the website. You can shop by brand. You can find clarity and groovy of course um have a look at the reviews we've got some great five star reviews of course we have it's clarity we know and love clarity so it's such a great brand but we've got lots of we've also got fresh cut dies that have been released obviously lots and lots of groovy plates and stamps of course i've got um some of Barbara's lovely uh, fairy stamps and it's got a toadstool, I adore those. I made a friend coasters with those on and she really liked them. But they're somewhere on the website if you, if you um, have a look under brands. Okay, so this is your one day special. Half price, I do want you to get this before it goes up. You're getting 26 colours of your parchment, five of each colour and that's 130 sheets in total. Now, if you take the cost of this away from the one-day special, because you are getting these, and then you break it down, each sheet uh, works out at 39 pence. Now, normally it's about a pound per sheet, so that is incredible value. As I just said, you are getting the folders, so you can fill these folders with your gorgeous array of parchment. It's so good because you've got it on Flexi by two payments of 38.96. We are 70% of the stock gone. 698.467 is your item number. Then the next thing that we've got is the beautiful Tudor house. You're getting the panel. And also what's so cool is that the instructions are actually on the plate. So you're not going to have to worry about, you know, where have I put my instructions? Have I lost them? No, nope. it's all on the plate. And then, of course, you can see how you pop the boxes together or the little houses. But these are so adorable. Advent calendars, you can get them in time to make your advent calendars. They'd be really sweet, nice uh, size for your chockies. £24, uh, or it could be, inside. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Ada said, but you'll have to be quick, though, to make 25 before, before December. Um, well, what was I going to say? But you could even do put little pieces of makeup in if somebody's not a chocolate lover. You know, oh, gingerbread's in there. You could indeed. Only mini ones, though. £24.96, £7 saving, 832913. Then we've got our crackers. Love these. They're so pretty, not just for Christmas, weddings, birthdays, any celebration really, but it's super duper limited. 1598-778-606. Which one do you like, lovely? The one with the M. That one is a real focal point, isn't it? Liking that, the red one. Um, 778-606. And then we've got our cake slices that Paul is working on. Love this. You could do an advent calendar of cake slices, but again, you'd have to get a wriggle on. <laughs> uh, absolutely stunning. So you can make these. You've got the plates and also you've got the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the ways to embellish it as well. Uh, £24.96. pence. That is £7 saving. 826405. All you need to do is give us a call 01733602000 or check out on the website at hachanda.com and we've got more inspiration coming right now.
now with the one day special we just thought we'd show you the colors in more detail I think that, yeah, yeah if we do on the overhead you can get another because obviously where you've got that sort of kaleidoscope of colors on the front you yeah can go, Ooh, sort of yeah. so we can go through them sort of in a little bit more detail okay and the names of these um, colors came up were Barbara and Linda Williams came oh, up with these names they were stuck nice. on a runway they were going to Slovenia for a craft <laughs> event this is random. and <laughs> these have gone into production yeah. um, and obviously we had to give them names rather than yeah. blue light blue Blue, yeah. mid blue, dark blue. So they had great fun coming up with their, well, their colour. By the time while well, they're waiting for so, their flight. So we'll start off. We've got um, wisteria. Mm. Then we've got iris. Then turning it over, we've got the beautiful bottle green, really rich in colour. Then we've got the cranberry crush. That's really nice. Um, then we've got the um, dusky pink. No, that's the dusky pink, and then I've got them in there and cranberry crush. I've put them in the wrong order in my folder. <laughs> um, I've then got the turquoise and the light turquoise. Yeah. Um, turning it over again, there's so much. Then we've got the. Have I got the folder upside down? No. Um, then we've got the um, meadow green and the willow green. Yeah. Okay. And then I've got the. I'm not. I've got a list in front of me. I just want to say to people at home, I'm, I'm good, but I'm not that good. <laughs> um, we've got the primrose yellow and then the olive green. Yep. I love this colour. So this is the peach colour yep. with the nutmeg. I the bet you look really good in those colours. In those colours? Yeah. Never really thought about mm. it. Um, we've then got the pear green and the apple green. Yep. Followed by um, the beautiful petrol blue and the smoky blue. Then turning it, I love this one. This is the midnight blue. It's mm. nearly sort of black, yeah, yeah. really nice. So the midnight blue and the sky blue. And then really fresh and zesty, we've got the orange squash and the lime twist. So that's all in one folder. Yeah. Okay, so there's one. And you're getting the folders as well. Of course, okay. yeah. So pop that over there. And then following on, we've then got the, um, the lovely pine needles mm -hmm. with the sage green. Then we've got the periwinkle blue and then like the very violet. Yeah. And as I said earlier, I've then got loads of extra pockets that I can fill up. And Or if you're working on something mm -hmm. so if you, and you want to keep it safe, because yeah. it's the same size, it's not going to get crushed. Yeah. Um, I've got some of my clear parchment in there. Then I've got my A4 templates in here as well, mm. because that will add stability That's to great. the folder. So the Christmas cracker, just about hanging in there. The Tudor house the cake slice um, and then the cube that, that sold out earlier as well so it's really nice and then when you have these on your shelf yeah. on your bookshelf or where you're working it's like you could just put colored parchment on Absolutely. there and then you know exactly then what to what you're looking for excellent and remember this is half, half price. price half price which oh. we've not seen before from clarity on and a, I think a lot of people are putting two in their bar i know i say yeah. it but i think they are mm -hmm. um, yeah. because of the way that the sales are going absolutely so. yeah Split it amongst your friends. That's a good idea, crafty Christmas. group. Uh, two payments of £38.96, pence, but it's going to be going back up. You don't want to pay double that. No. <laughs> uh, you go, it's going to be going back up at 6 o'clock, 598467. And would you also, like to, oh, sorry. Oh. the weight of that yeah. is quite heavy. So if, to you're ship freedom, that out, so if you're watching from the States yeah. or... Um, it is heavy. Europe as well, mm. um, especially if you're a Freedom Club member, yeah. it's free standard delivery. It is. And I know that would be quite expensive for it to be sent out mm. because obviously you need to keep it nice and secure. Yeah, so there we go. So, so I thought we'd stick with the cake slice mm -hmm. and we'll use the deal of the day Yay. to show how you can use the template because you can't normally use a groovy plate with paper or paper because of obviously the detail but I yep. just want the shape of the cake okay okay so which design rainbow should rainbow river okay. <laughs> Alex has already decided right rainbow river well you can choose what you like no 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 that's fine it's all about Wait. being unprepared right so <laughs> unprepared. have you have you got um have you got a color um, or oh oh that one was nice which one right okay, we'll come uh, if I haven't used it already we'll come to it again because okay. they're in blocks of 12. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Mm. Oh. Charlotte, do you want to pick? Oh, that's unusual, that one. That one? Yeah, should we the do that the one? The pinky one, should we do yeah, this one? Yeah, because it's all okay. So, we just easily tear that out from the pad. Okay. So, do we want that as the outside of the cake? Yes. Or do we want the reverse? As outside of the cake. Outside of the cake. See, look, Thank you've you. Got 
choices. That's one of the great things, it's mm. because it's double-sided. Okay, so I, I've got options. If I don't have a light panel, yeah. it's not really a problem. Even though I can't see through it, I know roughly where mm -hmm. I need to start. And what I mean by that, if I just tape it down in one side, okay, and I'm still going to use the tumble dry sheet yes. to wipe over, and it doesn't um, transfer anything onto the paper. No. Because what I'm going to do is use my groovy number two tool. So the only thing I need to do first is just work out roughly underneath this 12 by 12 where the edge of the, the cake is. So if I lift that up, I can see that it's in this area here. Mm -hmm. So if I just put a little bit of pressure on the tool and then come down, and then all I'm going to do, so now I can slowly follow the design. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to follow the design. So not sure where I need to go now. I think I need to come down. So again, I can lift it up. Yep. And then I know that I do. Aha. See, and then all of a sudden it will start to just follow the design. Okay. Yep. And then I can lift it up. I know I've got a little tab there. See, and I've just gone out the, the groove, but it's not going to damage the paper. It's the same with like the parchment. Yeah. It will only mark where the grooves are. See, and I know that's going to come in there. So I know somewhere along here, I've got the, let's just have a sneaky peek. I've got to <laughs> go over there and then come down. Ah, I see. So it can take a little bit of a time just to you sort of find your way in the groove. And I know I've got a, a panel in there as well. Okay. Mm. But you can see it is achievable. Absolutely. Even though I can't see yeah. where those grooves are because I just want the outside. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have taken advantage of the, the light panel or mm -hmm. you've already got one, when ah. I pop that on, you can just about see, depending, oh, that's good. depending on the design. I mean, this is quite a dark one, so I can see now can just about a see lot it. more easily yeah. where that is. That's great. Um, so the light panel, it is on Freedom, sixty two ninety nine. But if you're a Freedom member, I think it's ten percent off. It uh, is fifty six pounds and sixty nine pence. It does come with the cover and the piercing mat. Uh, it's also on Flexi Buy. Two payments if you're a Freedom member of twenty eight pounds and thirty five pence. Uh, four, three, six, oh, sorry, sorry, no, go on. Come no, on four, three, six, five, one, eight. And it's also that type, I can never remember what it's called. You're actually saving more. Um, why not deal? Why not deal, that's it. Yeah. Um, because of what you're saving if you pay the membership to become a Freedom member if you're not already one. Yeah. Okay. So I think I've got everything covered now. Mm -hmm. um, so let's lift that up and have a look. I reckon... We're there. Okay. <laughs> so it's like a sneaky peek. But if I have missed a bit, it's easy for me to go back on. Mm. So I'll we'll turn the light panel off. So I don't, if you want to hold that up, so that we can just catch where we can see the emboss. Like we managed to pick it up earlier, didn't uh, we? Yeah, there it is, possibly. There we go. There we go. You can see those embossed lines. Yeah. Yeah. So any any faint. Oh no, there, no, there you. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Okay, so again, I've got options. I can use um, scissors or a craft knife. So I'm just going to go with the scissors, which is very quicker, very quicker, very quick. Yeah. And then we're just going to cut this out. Lovely. Um, and don't forget about your um, deal of the day. You've got your pick and mix. Obviously, this is a lovely piece of paper from the deal of the day, or one of them. You pick two of your favourites um, from the designer paper pads, that's what I was trying to say. They're 12 by 12 now. Because, was it that um, customers asked? They actually Yeah, they yeah. wanted um, it in the bigger designs. Mm -hmm. um, so we decided to go with four to see how they were done, and they've proven really popular. Yeah. Um, and I just thought, since I'm doing templates, mm -hmm. um, and because they're groovy, people will automatically think that you can only use them with parchment. Right. Um, so I thought this, because you need, obviously, um, big pieces of paper to do that. Yeah. Um, and because we do the 12 by 12s, then this is great because obviously the bits that I'm cutting off, you can use for tags, um, you can use, I mean, by using the paper as 